IP, submitted S, please P, the instant matter. On this file relates to conducting of inquiry regarding XCWC. Members in R, Ohanville Delhi High Court Matter WPC 5331-2015. In the matter of Honorata Vishish Dine and R versus GNCTD. In this connection, it is S that be this office letter dated the 16th of November 2017, page. No. 520 C, a committee was constituted with Ms. Barty Alley, member SLSC, and asked Director CPU for conducting inquiry into the allegation made against SMT, Honorata Bashist and SMT, Dr. Barty Meta, XCWC members. On dated the 12th of November 2017, Ms. Barty Alley was again communicated to take up the aforementioned matter at the earliest and to submit the report before NDOHIE. The 19th of December 2017, page. No. 524 C. Furthermore, it is informed that certain queries concerns were being raised by Ms. Barty Alley through email, page no. 525C. 527C, in response to this department letter dated the 12th of November 2017 and the same were discussed with the additional standing counsel who informed in his email dated the 22nd of February 2018 that this inquiry can be held under JJ Act 2015 and also does not need to be by a multi-member committee, page no. 544C, and the same was again communicated. To Ms. Barty Alley, read this office letter dated the 23rd of February 2018, page no. 546C, to go ahead with the inquiry process. In this series, as per the suggestion of Govet, counsel again on the 22nd of June 2018, page no. 561C, Ms. Barty Alley was requested to continue the inquiry as the Honble. High Court has not granted stay on the same. Then on the 16th of August 2018, an email was received from Ms. Barty Alley, page no. 598C, intimating. About reply received from XCWC member SMT, Honorata Vashisht, requesting to withdraw the show cause notice. In continuation to this, COVID, counsel through email, page no. 600 C, had given her version, advising that the inquiry officer should go ahead with the inquiry. Proceedings in this matter since non-completion of the inquiry can adversely affect the stand of the department in the instant matter. In view of above submissions, it is important to submit here that Ms. Barty Alley, inquiring officer is not getting ahead with the inquiry. Process citing reasons that both SMT, Honorata Bashist and SMT, Barty, Mara have declined to participate in the inquiry process. As per telephonic conversion held with Govet, Council, Ms. Viva Mahajan, today, this inquiry process has to be concluded otherwise it would affect the stand of the department and the department should either change the inquiry officer or to give ex-party decision in the aforementioned matter. In this connection, as per the discussion held in the office of DI, Director, CPU, along with AD, CPU, the inquiry. Officer, committee to be replaced with a new one consisting of following for conducting inquiry in the matter of XCWC members. Mrs. Manju Barshni, D. O. Northwest, I. Chairperson Shish. Subhash Gautam, Superintendent, DDO, Who, CHB, Alipur. Member Shish, Avinash Kumar Singh, Senior. Manager, Save the Children. India, Member, State Level Selection Committee, Member A Draft. Order to this effect is placed alongside for perusal. In view of above, submissions, if agreed and approved, we may apprise the Govet. Council about the same for apprising the Honorable Court. A draft. Status report is also placed alongside for perusal. S for perusal. And approval of draft order and draft status report to be S before. Honorable Court, NDOH, the 21st of February 2019. May peruse the copy of the email placed at page no. 620, C, which was sent to Ms. Viva. Mahajan, Advocate, Delhi High Court for her comments in the matter WPC 5331-2015s titled Honorata Bashish and ANR versus GNCTD listed for the 21st of February 2019 before the Honble High Court of Delhi. In response to above stated email, may see page no. 621 C. She had replied through email stating that there is no need to file the status report. However, the Honble Court may be orally informed about the constitution of new committee for conducting inquiry in the matter of XCWC members. S for perusal and information P. May peruse the order of the Honble High Court dated the 15th of February 2019. Placed at page no. 17, C18, C in the matter of CRL. Rev. P. 283-2016. Titled Delhi State Legal Services Authority versus State and ORS. The relevant part of the order dated the 15th of February 2019 is reproduced below for reference 7. The Child Welfare Committee, respondent no. 2 is directed to cooperate with DCP in the conduct of inquiry and tracing. These 11 children, CWC shall also file its report with regard to the status of the said 11 children. In this regard, it is asked that the matter directly concerns with the Child Welfare Committee 2, Lodpot. Nagar and Mr. Salam Khan, the officiating chairperson, is also aware about this case and is in touch with Mr. Amit Chada, App 4. Government, in view of above submissions, if agreed and approved, we may forward the order the Honble High Court dated the 15th of February 2019. 
to the officiating chairperson, CWC2, Rajpat Nagar, for compliance. At his end in filing the status report directly in the Honbal High Court of Delhi before the next date of hearing, i.e., the 4th of October 2019. Accordingly, a draft to this effect is prepared and placed at page no. 19, C for perusal and approval P. As per direction at prepage the present status in WPCRL 2805-2018 titled Farman versus the State. COVID. Of NCT of Delhi and ORS is given as under 1. Undated. The 1st of September 2019. May see page no. 118. C 119. C. The Honbal High. Court of Delhi had given directions for issuance of notifications for filling up of vacant posts of chairpersons and members child welfare. Committees and member social worker for JJB. The said vacant posts includes appointment of 02 chairpersons against 05 vacant posts and 12 members for the CWC and 01 member social worker. For the JJB along with a panel of 05 members for CWC and 02 members for JJB, NDOH was fixed for the 22nd of January 2019. 2. Mr. Rahul, Mara Sr., Standing Council, CRL, apprised the Honble Court on the next date, i.e., the 22nd of January 2019, page no. 121, C, that the notifications in. The present case has been approved by the concerned minister, WCD, and sent to Secretary, WCD, on the 21st of January 2019, and the same shall be. Issued within one week, the Honble Court directed to place the notification before the NDOH, which was fixed as the 2nd of July 2019. 3. In. Compliance of the directions of the Honbal Court of Status Report, along with copies of two separate notifications dated the 22nd of January 2019. May see page no. 108 C 109 C and 110 C 113 C was S before the court on the 2nd of June 2019 consisting notification of 01 member social worker for JJB and 01 chairperson and 12 members for CWCs. 4. On the next date of hearing i.e. the 2nd of July 2019 order placed at page no. 122. C-123, C, the Honbal Court had given directions for Delhi. Complying with the previous directions as given in the order dated. The 1st of September 2019, as mentioned in point no. 1, well before the next date of hearing which has been fixed as the 26th of March 2019. 5, in this context, now it is asked that the file is under submission with the competent authority. Seeking approval for notification of remaining 01 post of chairperson. For CWC as a part of appointment of 02 chairpersons against 05. Vacant posts. 6. Furthermore, the list consisting a panel of 05 members for CWC and 02 members for JJB, as also desired by the Honble Court Beat Order dated the 1st of September 2019, as approved by the State Level Selection Committee on the 17th of December 2019, is placed at page No. 125 C. 124 C for perusal, and the same could be apprised to the Honble Court before the next date of hearing, along with notification of 01 remaining chairperson for CWC. S for perusal of status placed above. And further directions, P. May peruse the order of the Honble High. Court dated the 21st of February 2019, placed at page No. 622. C. In the matter of WPC 5331 2015 and CMA PPL 46283 2017, titled Honorata Vishisht. And ANR versus GNCT of Delhi and ORS. The order of the court is also reproduced below for reference in view of the reasons stated in the Instant application, delay in filing rejoinder is condoned. Consequently, rejoinder is taken on record. At request of the petitioner, renotify on the 24th of April 2019. In this reference, it is asked that the above said court hearing was attended by W. O. C. P. U. along with W. O. litigation, and after the hearing Ms. Viva Mahajan, advocate. Delhi High Court suggested to conclude the inquiry by the newly constituted inquiry committee of the department well before the next date of hearing in the instant matter, i.e. the 24th of April 2019, in view of Above, as discussed and directed by DD, CPU, we may inform the committee members about the same in order to conclude their inquiry and submit the findings by the end of March 2019 without any fail. Accordingly, a draft email to this effect is prepared in, placed at page no, 623, C in a draft letter along with relevant enclosures addressed to the members of the inquiry committee is, placed at page no, 624, C 629, C, S for perusal and approval of, draft email and draft letter is stated above, SP. May peruse the two PUCs placed at page no. 65C and 66C68C. The first put placed at page no. 65C is a court order dated the 2nd of January 2019 passed by Honbal. High Court of Delhi in the matter WPCRO. 2069-2005 titled Save the Childhood Foundation versus Union of India and ORS. The second puck placed at page no. 66C to 68C is copy of minutes of the meeting. Held on the 2nd of July 2019 in the conference room of PR. Secretary, Revenue Cum Divisional Commissioner, Shamnath Mark, Delhi. The details of both the PUCs are given under Puck I may peruse the 
Copy of the Honbo High Court order dated the 2nd of January 2019 placed at page no. 65C in the matter WPCRL 2069-2005 titled Save the Childhood Foundation vs. Union of India and ORS. The copy of the same is reproduced as under CRL MA 35002-2018 so short affidavit. On behalf of government of NCT of Delhi indicating the action taken is being filed during the course of the day. Copy of the same is supplied to the council representing petitioner. He may go through the same and file his response. Two weeks time is granted to do so. List on the 3rd of July 2019. Puck 2 may peruse the copy of minutes of the meeting held on the 2nd of July 2019 in the conference room of PR. Secretary Revenue Pum Divisional Commissioner Shamnath Mark Delhi. Wherein PR Secretary Revenue directed all the DMs to conduct a meeting in coordination with Child Welfare Committee, Police and Labor Department and to reconcile the figures of action taken for the last 10 years since 2009. The report to also carry the data of challenge by Police Department. It was also directed in the meeting to that Labor Department to provide the data in our O Child Labors to the concerned DM through email and the labor officers and representatives of Child Welfare Committees to join the meeting on the 2nd of August 2019 in the meeting of District Task Force for reconciling the figures of child labor data. In view of both the PUCs as detailed, Above and in light of court matter WPCRL 2069-2005 titled Save the Childhood Foundation vs. Union of India and ORS Fixed for the 3rd of July 2019 it is S that the Labor Department is the main party to Submit the reply before the Honorable High Court and on the part of Department CWCs have directly coordinated with the Labor Department as per the directions given by PR Secretary Revenue in The meeting held on the 2nd of July 2019 S for perusal of both the PUCs and Further directions P May peruse the copy of email along with enclosures placed at page no. 360 C to 402 C received from Ministry of Women and Child Development GOI. In this connection, it is S that MWCD has sought action taken on the social audit reports conducted by NCPCR. In this context, it is S staff social audit report had detailed about various shortcomings in the working of child care institutions, observation homes, special homes, place of safety shelter homes, open shelter, special adoption agency. In View of above, if agreed, we may circulate the shortcomings mentioned in the social audit report to the concerned CCI's, SAS, OHB's, shelter homes, open shelters for submission of their action. Taken report within two days to the department for compiling of the same and thereafter for onward submission to MWCD, GOI and to send an interim reply to the undersecretary, CW2, MWCD about the same. Accordingly, a letter addressed to undersecretary, CW2, MWCD and letters addressed to the suit in charges of CCI's. Shelter Home, Open Shelter and Special Adoption Agency, SAW, have been prepared and placed alongside and file for perusal and approval P. The matter on this file relates to submission of status. Report before the Honble High Court of Delhi and WP, CRL 2728-2018. Titled Suku Lal Sunar vs. the State of NCT of Delhi and ORS. In this regard, it is asked that in light of the last court order, may see page no. 205C to 207C, a fresh status report is prepared and placed alongside. In file for perusal and approval P. The next date in the instant matter is the 3rd of June 2019. May peruse the copy of email along with court orders. Dated the 1st of September 2019 and the 2nd of July 2019 placed at page no. 135C 139C. Received from Senior Standing Council CRL GNCTD Delhi High. Court in the matter WP CRL 2805-2018 in the case titled Farman versus the State NCT of Delhi and ORS. The senior, standing counsel, CRL, GNCTD through his email had asked for ensuring compliance of the court order dated the 1st of September 2019 and to submit the status report well. Before the next date of hearing I, he fixed on the 26th of March 2019. In this context, it is S that as per the directions of the Honbo High Court, dated the 1st of September 2019 with regard to issuance of notification for appointment of a vote two chairpersons against the O5 vacant posts and 12 members for child welfare committee and O1 member social worker. For Juvenile Justice Board, the said vacant posts now have been filed up via three separate notifications as given under 1. F. No. 61. 869. CWC. Excel. And JJB. DD. CPU. DWCD. 38244284. Dated the 22nd of January 2019. Annexure. Uh, 2. F. No. 61. 869. CWC. Excel. And JJB. DD. CPU. DWCD. 3828531. Dated the 1st of February 2019. Annexure B. 3. F. No. 61. 869. CWC. Excel. And JJB. DD. CPU. DWCD. 4167470. Dated the 3rd of January 2019. Annexure C. Furthermore, it is also S that as per 
Court order dated the 1st of September 2019, a panel consisting recommendations of 05 members for Child Welfare Committee and 02 member social worker for Juvenile Justice Board is also to be as before the Honorable Court. The same panel has been recommended by the state level. Selection Committee on the 17th of December 2018, May see annexure, deep page. No, 125C, 124C. Accordingly, a draft status report is prepared. Along with relevant annexures for submitting the same in the Honorable High Court of Delhi through Senior Standing Council, CRL, GNCTD, S. For perusal and approval of draft status report along with annexures. May peruse the court order dated the 2nd of November 2019, place it at page no. 507. C 509 C in the matter WPC 11187 2017 title court on its own. Motion versus Govet of NCT of Delhi and ORS. WPC 2495 2018 since CM. APPL 6835 2019 since WPC 4689 2018 since CM APPL 47123 2018 The same order is also reproduced below, list after three weeks is. Prayed for by learned counsel for the parties as most of the. Suggestions given by the learned amicus curiae have been accepted by the respondents, but with regard to certain issues, they need further discussion, and it is indicated that the parties would discuss the same and come back to this court after three weeks. List on the 26th of March 2019, CMA PPL 6385 2019 for employment of Ms. Samplert of Bahor as intervener in this petition in WP C 2495 2018 issue notice. Ms. Avnaj Alawat learned standing counsel for GNCTD accepts. Notice on behalf of the respondents. For the reasons stated in the application, the same is allowed. The applicant is permitted to assist this court with regard to compliance of the directions in Samplerda. The Hora case and effective implementation of Juvenile Justice Act. 2015, WP, C 2495 2018. Respondents have not filed any status. Report with regard to the action taken after orders passed on the 15th of March 2018, particularly as to how the direction issued by the Supreme Court and WP, C. 473 2005 titled Samplerna Bahora V. Union of India and ORS has been complied with and how the 16 directions as issued by the Supreme Court have been complied with, particularly with regard to filling up a vacancies and appointment of child welfare committees in various districts as are indicated by the applicant and CM No. 6385 2019 and various other deficiencies pointed out therein. All these be answered by way of an affidavit of a competent officer by the next date. Let a copy of the status report filed by the government of NCT of Delhi on the 25th of September 2018 available in the record of WP C 2495 2018 be served on the amicus curiae assisting us in the matter during the course of the day learned amicus curiae may go through the same and give his say by the next date list on the 26th of March 2019 in view of above court order with regard to CMA PPL 6385 2019 and W P C 2495 2018 and affidavit has to be S in the Honorable High Court showing how the 16 directions issued by the Honorable Supreme Court of India in W. P. C. 473 2005 titled Samplarna Barua vs. Union of India and ORS have been complied with particularly with regard to filling up a vacancies in appointment of child welfare committees in various districts is pointed out CM No. 6385 2019 may see page 492 C. 503 C. It is also S here that the 16 directions passed by the Honorable Supreme Court of India and W. P. C. 473 2005 titled Samplarna Barua vs. Union of India and ORS, and is mentioned in the CM. No. 6385 of 2018 filed by the Applicants Council Ms. Propsahe Kaur and Kriti Naring in. W. P. C. 2495-2018 are mentioned at point no. 5 of the CMA PPL, which is placed at page no. 495 C. 497 C at the correspondence side. In the file for reference. In this context, it is S here that if agreed in. Approve the point-wise reply on the 16 directions passed by the Honorable Supreme Court of India INW, PC 473-2005 titled Samplerna. Barua vs. Union of India and ORS may be asked to the Standing Council in the form of an affidavit for apprising the Honorable High Court of Delhi by the next date. The draft affidavit is prepared and placed alongside at page no. 511, C 515, C and the same is also reproduced. Below for perusal, affidavit on behalf of Department of Women and Child Development GOVT, of NCT of Delhi I. Shuchi Sagal Dai. Director, CPU, ICPS, aged about underscore. YRS, Department of Woman and Child Development, Government of NCT of Delhi, 1A Canning Lane, KG. Mark, New Delhi 110001. Do hereby solemnly affirm and state as under, 1, that I am the Dai. Director, CPU, in the above noted case and am well conversant with. 
the facts of the case based on records available and competent to swear this affidavit. Two, that with regard to the 16 directions passed by the Honorable Supreme Court of India in W. P.C. 473-205 titled Sampurna Verua versus Union of India and Oars. The point wise, information in tabular format is given under directions given by the Honval Apex Court in its judgment in WPC W. PC 473-205. Titled Sampurna Verua versus Union of India and Oars. Status report in RO. Department of Women and Child Development, GNCT of Delhi, the Ministry of Women and Child Development in the Government of India and the state governments should ensure that all positions in the NCPCR and SCPCR are filled up well in time and adequate staff is provided to these statutory bodies so that they can function effectively and meaningfully for the benefit of children. At present, all the vacancies of chairperson and members are filled in Delhi. Commission for Protection of Child Rights, DCPCR, the grant in aid to DCPCR has also been enhanced from two crores to five crores per annum to enable the commission function effectively. The NCPCR and SCPCR should take their duties, functions, and responsibilities with great earnestness keeping in mind the faith reposed in them by Parliament, a position in these Statutory bodies is not sinecure. These bodies have a very significant and proactive role to play in improving the lives of children across the country. The state government provides adequate support to Delhi Commission for Protection of Child Rights, DCPCR, for effective implementation of their objectives. The state-level child protection societies and the district-level child protection units have an enormous responsibility in ensuring that the JJ Act is effectively implemented and child care institutions are managed and maintained in a manner that is conducive to the well-being of Children in all respects including nutrition, education, medical, benefits, skill development and general living conditions. These two bodies would be well advised to take the assistance of NGOs and civil society to ensure that the JJ Act serves the purpose for which it is enacted by Parliament. The State Child Protection Society, SCPS, of Delhi provides grant and aid to eight CCIs, shelter homes, ten open shelters and three special adoption agencies for implementation of Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children Act 2015 and Integrated Child Protection Scheme, ICPS, through NGOs. The District Child Protection Units, DCPUs, conduct regular inspections and monitoring of the CCIs for effective implementation of the Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children Act 2015. The state governments must ensure that all positions in the JJBs and CWCs are filled up expeditiously and in accordance with the model. Rules are the rules framed by the state government. Any delay in filling up the positions might adversely impact on children and this should be avoided. In the 10 Child Welfare Committees, CWCs, functional in Delhi, out of 50 positions, 46 are filled. Process has been initiated for filling up of remaining positions. In six juvenile, justice boards, JJBs, all positions of LD, principal magistrates and member social workers are filled as on date. The JJBs and CWCs must appreciate that it is necessary to have sittings on a regular basis so that a minimal number of inquiries are pending at any given point of time and justice is given to all juveniles in conflict with law and Social justice to children in need of care and protection. This is a constitutional obligation the Child Welfare Committees, CWCs, function five days a week from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and the Juvenile Justice Boards function six days a week from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The NCPCR and the SCPCRs must carry out time-bound studies on various issues as deemed appropriate under the JJ Act. Based on these studies, the state governments and the union territories must take remedial steps. The remedial actions based on recommendations of national Commission for Protection of Child Rights, NCPCR, and Delhi. Commission for Protection of Child Rights, DCPCR, are undertaken by the Department of Women and Child Development, GNCTD. In particular, the NCPCR and the SCPCRs must carry out a study for estimating the number of probation officers required for the effective implementation of the JJ Act. Based on this study, the state government must appoint the necessary number of probation officers. It must be emphasized that the role of a probation officer is critical for the rehabilitation and social reintegration of a juvenile in conflict with law and due importance must be given to their duties is postulated in the model rules and rules, if any, framed by the state governments in the union territories relates to NCPCR and DCPCR. The MWCD must continue to make creative use of information and communication technology not only for the purpose of collecting data and information but also for other issues connected with the JJ Act such as having a database of missing children traffic children and for follow-up of adoption cases, etc. With the utilization of technology to the fullest extent, administrative efficiency will improve considerably, which in turn will have a positive impact on the lives of children. Relates to Ministry of WCD, COVID, of India. It is important for the police to appreciate their role as the first responder on issues pertaining to offenses allegedly committed by children as well as offenses committed against children. 
There is therefore a need to set up meaningful special juvenile police units and appoint child welfare police officers in terms of the JJ Act at the earliest and not only on paper. In this context, it is necessary to clearly identify the duties and responsibilities of such units and officers and wherever necessary. Guidance from the available expertise, either the National Police Academy or the Bureau of Police Research and Development or NGOs must be taken for the benefit of children relates to Delhi. Police, the National Police Academy and State Police Academies must consider including child rights as a part of their curriculum on a regular basis and not as an isolated or sporadic event relates to National Police Academy and Delhi Police. The management of child care institutions is extremely important in state. Governments and union territories would be well advised to ensure that all such institutions are registered so that children can live a dignified life in these institutions and issues of missing children and trafficking are also addressed. At present, there are 85 child care institutions, CCIs, in Delhi, out of which 49 are registered, licensed. Under Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children Act 2015 and the Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children model, rules 2016 and renewal of registration for 36 CCIs is under process. State governments and union territories would be well advised to Appoint eminent persons from civil society as visitors to monitor and supervise the child care institutions in all the districts. This will ensure that the management and maintenance of these institutions are addressed. We have no doubt that the state legal service authorities and the district legal service authorities will extend full assistance and cooperation to the government authorities in this venture as well as to the visitors. District Inspection Committee, constituted by Department of Women and Child Development, Govet, of NCT of Delhi under Rule 41 of the Juvenile Justice Karen. Protection of Children Model Rules 2016 have been notified, wherein eminent persons from NGOs, civil society are also a part of the said committee. The JJ Fund is a bit of an embarrassment within absence of an effective response from the state governments and the union territories. If financial resources are not made available for the welfare of the children, we shudder to think what could be better. Utilization of the funds. The Department of Women and Child Development GNCT of Delhi had opened an account in State Bank of India, IP Estate Branch VDA, CNO. 30,269,984,245 in the name of Delhi Child Welfare Fund. The Delhi Child Welfare Fund rules 2016 have also been notified by the Department of WCD, GNCT of Delhi VED notification dated the 7th of August 2016. NALSA has done a remarkable job in collecting data and information relating to the JJ Act as evidenced by the three-part report prepared by it. We request NALSA to carry forward the exercise and complete a similar report preferably before the 30th of April 2018 to assist all the policy-making and decision-taking authorities to plan out their affairs relates to NALSA. The importance of training cannot be overemphasized. It is vital for understanding and appreciating child rights and for the effective implementation of the JJ Act. All authorities such as JJBs and CWCs, probation officers, members of the child protection societies and district child protection units, special juvenile police units, child welfare police officers and managerial staff of child Care institutions must be sensitized and given adequate training relating to their position. A very positive step has been taken in this regard by NALSA and we expect the NCPCR with the assistance of the SCPCRs to carry forward this initiative so that there is meaningful implementation of the JJ Act, regular trainings of JJBs, CWCs, probation officers, district child protection officers, staff of child care institutions are conducted through NALSA, DSLSA. NIPCCD, Delhi Judicial Academy, NCPCR, DCPCR. Since the involvement of the state governments and the union territories is critical to child rights and the effective implementation of the JJ Act, it would be appropriate if each high court in the juvenile justice committee of each high court continues its proactive role in the welfare of children in their state to make the involvement and process more meaningful. We request the Chief Justice of every high court to register proceedings on its own motion for the effective implementation of the juvenile justice care and protection of Children Act 2015 so that roadblocks, if any, encountered by statutory authorities in the Juvenile Justice Committee of the High Court are meaningfully addressed after hearing the concerned governmental authorities does not pertain to this department. As for perusal and approval of draft affidavit is placed above. Sub regarding installation of video conferencing facilities is directed by the Honorable Supreme Court of India in the matter. W P C 749 2018 Sin Ray Speedy Trial of Under Trial. The matter on this file relates to installation of video conferencing facilities in. Juvenile Justice Board's observation homes is directed by the Honorable Supreme Court of India in the court matter WPC 749-2018. In Ray, speedy trail of under trial. In this regard, it is asked that in response to this office letter dated the 28th of December 2018, PG. No, 130, C. Regarding above cited subject matter Department of Information Technology, Delhi Secretariat has replied by letter dated the 1st of August 2019. 
May see page no. 152 C informing the following requirements for installation of a video conferencing VC facility at any given location. One VC equipment along with necessary accessories including mic and camera. Two least line connectivity. Three display screen 40 inches or above. Four suitable room for installing and conducting the video conferencing. In this connection, it is also asked that a proposal has been moved by souped DDO who have special home for boys place of safety OHBNX after obtaining. Necessary preliminary budget estimates and technical specification of IT equipments required for installation of video conferencing facilities in the institution, the copies of preliminary budget, estimates and technical specifications required for installation of video conferencing facilities at POS, SHB, OHB, NX is provided by PWD Electrical Department or placed at page no. 198C to 200C and file for perusal. Furthermore, as discussed with DD, CPU, and AD, CPU, a letter is required to be sent to SUPT. DDO, who? Juvenile Justice Boards, IP, Observation Home for Boys, IN2. Delegate and Sewa Kudir Complex, SUPT. DDO, who? POS, SHB, OHB, NX, and Observation Home for Girls, Nirmal Chaya, for taking necessary steps so that video conferencing facilities are installed in above mentioned JJB's institutions at the earliest. Accordingly, a draft has been prepared and placed at page no. 201, C. 202, C for perusal and approval, P. May peruse the draft minutes of the meeting placed at page no. 61 C 68 C which was held on the 3rd of August 2019 at 5 p.m. in the second floor bar room at Delhi High Court under the conventorship of Shish Rahul Mera Sr. Standing Council Criminal in W P C R L 1560 2017 titled Sodden Helder versus the State N C T of Delhi and Ors. In this connection, it is S that as per Para X point no 21 of the minutes it was decided that all the C W C's and W C D officials will have a meeting with Mr. Bagat D C P. Crime Crow on the 16th of March 2019 at Delhi Police Headquarters for streamlining the internal process PG. No. 63 C. In compliance of the directions as mentioned at para 37 above, a meeting was attended by the CWC chairpersons, member along with two officials from DWCD. Headquarters, CPU, ICPS branch on the 16th of March 2019 at Delhi Police Headquarters, as discussed and decided in the meeting held on the 16th of March 2019 at Delhi Police Headquarters, Shish. K. C. Bermani. Chairperson CWC3 will prepare the minutes of the meeting. In this, reference P find the draft of the minutes of the said meeting prepared. By Chairperson CWC3 placed at page no. 69, C to 75, C for perusal. However, these minutes will be later on issued from the police. Department. Furthermore, it is S here that is discussed in the last. Meeting held on the 3rd of August 2019 at Bar Room Delhi High Court in the matter, Sodden Helder versus the State NCT of Delhi and is reiterated. By Shish, Rahul Mera Sr. Standing Council, CRL, the next meeting, scheduled to be held on the 28th of March 2019 at 5 p.m. in the bar room at the second floor, Delhi High Court has to be attended by a senior officer from the depth of WCD, GNCTD, S for perusal and information P, welfare officer AD, CPU, in the court matter, may kindly see the minutes of last meeting held on the 3rd of August 2019, as placed at page 61, C69, C, as per point no, 21 at page 63, C, CWC and WCD had a meeting with Mr. Bagot on the 16th of March 2019. The draft. Minutes are placed at 69, C74, C. The next meeting in this matter is scheduled for the 28th of March 2019 at 5 p.m. as per point 21 at page 63, C. And 64, C. If agreed, we may request the director, WCD, to be present. In this meeting, in view of earlier court directions, as senior officers from all other departments are present in the meetings of this court matter, this was also insisted by the senior. Standing Counsel, Mr. Rahul, Mara, S for perusal and necessary directions in the matter P. AD, CPU, DD, CPU, may peruse the order dated the 25th of February 2019 placed at page no. 270, C 275, C of the Registrar's Court no. 1, Supreme, Court of India, in W. P. C. 503, 2018, titled Polami Pavini Shukla vs. Union of India and ORS. As per the directions of the Registrar's Court, last opportunity was granted to various respondents including the Respondent no. 39I. E the government of NCT of Delhi. Page no. 273C. In view of this order, an email was sent to the advocate on record AOR Shish. Chirag M. Shroff on the 3rd of June 2019. Copy placed it. Page no. 277C. Requesting to guide the department in the above. Stated court matters so that compliances could be made before the Honble Court. In this connection, again on the 18th of March 2019. W. O. Litigation. DWCDH. Q had a telephonic conversion with advocate Ms. Neha, Jr. of Shish. Chirag M. Shroff requesting her to guide the 
Department in this matter is all the prayers made in the writ petition. Or for Government of India, page no. 155C, 160C. After waiting for response from the Govit. Council, again on 22.03.19, Welfare. Officer, CPU, had a telephonic conversation on the mobile of Ms. Neha I. He on 9,671,509,977 requesting her to give inputs on the prayer. Made by the petitioner on which she informed that she will reply. Once she goes through the writ petition is the same as to obtained. From the Supreme Court, it is further s here that in the evening of 23.03.19 Saturday, a call was received from Ms. Neha, Advocate O. Oshish, Chirag M. Shorf, wherein it was informed that it will take two to three more days to get the said writ petition due holidays falling in. Between and she also stated that as the present matter is next listed on the 4th of August 2019 in the registrar's court so the counter affidavit can also BS after 8th of April 2019 as the matter is yet to be listed in the main court. S for perusal and further directions P. Subject. Professional fees bills in R. O. Ms. Propsahay Court. Advocate Govit. Of NCT of Delhi. The matter on this file relates to payment of fee to Ms. Propsahay Court. Advocate Govit. Of NCT of Delhi in the matter. Of Anand Kumar Astana versus Union of India and ANR. The details of the bills are placed at para 58 at page 16, N. Further in this context, it is S. That as per para 80 at page 21, N Finance Department had stated that the Administrative Secretary of the Department has been delegated full powers to make payment of advocates, etc. Subject to guiding principles and rates laid down by the Law Department. Hence, in the instant case, the Administrative Secretary of the Department is the competent authority for the proposed expenditure. The payment proposed to be made has been noted in FD. As per PR, Secretary, Finance, S order dated the 1st of May 2018. S for approval of competent authority. May peruse the order of the Honble High Court dated the 3rd of June 2019 placed at page no. 229, C 231, C in the matter W. P, C R L. 2728-2018's titled Suku Lal Sunar versus the state NCT of Delhi and ORS. The point no. 5 the said order on which action is required is reproduced under for ready reference. The present status report is not mention as to whether the inspections conducted in 25 child care institutions, women institutions showed any irregularities and, if so, the remedial steps taken in that regard. The next status report to be filed by the Department of Women and Child Development, GNCTD, shall throw light on the above aspect besides clarifying as to whether the office order dated the 19th of February 2019 has been implemented. In view of above directions, a draft status report along with relevant annexure has been prepared and placed alongside and filed for perusal and approval P. May peruse the copy of the email along with enclosure. Placed at page no. 69, C70, C received from Dai, Secretary, Litigation, Department of Law, Justice and LA, GNCTD, which is regarding providing list of defunct tribunals in Govit, of NCT of Delhi and the status of filling of the vacancies therein. In view of, above, as directed by DD, CPU, a reply has been prepared addressed. To Dai, Secretary, Litigation, Department of Law, Justice and LA, GNCTD for further necessary action at their end. Status report on behalf of Department of Women and Child Development, GNCTD, may peruse the copy of email DT, 31.03.19 received from Senior, Standing Council, CRL, GNCTD, Delhi High Court in the matter, WP, CRL, 2805-2018's titled, Farman vs. the State NCT of Delhi and, or is placed at 162, C, the court order DT, 26.03.19 has also been, received by email and is placed at 160, C to 161, C, the Senior, Standing, Council, CRL, GNCTD through his email had asked for ensuring compliance of the court order dated 26.03.19 and to file an affidavit and submit the status report well before the next date of hearing, i.e. fixed on the 16th of April 2019. In this context, it is asked that as per the directions of the Honville High Court dated 26.03.19 as to whether any steps have been initiated to fill up the aforesaid 03 vacant posts. He states that he may be permitted to file an affidavit in this regard. Affidavit shall be filed within two weeks by the Principal Secretary, Department of Women and Child Development, GNCTD, indicating inter alia the steps taken to fill up the remaining O3 vacancies. In this regard, the following is S1, that in compliance to the Honble High Court order dated the 26th of March 2019 with respect to steps taken to fill up the O3 vacant posts of chairpersons in child welfare committees. It is stated that advertisement in this regard will be published as in when clearance, no objection certificate is received from the Election Commission of India in order to invite applications for the said vacant posts. 2. In this regard, it is further stated that the Department has SA request letter to the Secretary, Screening, Committee for MCC Matter, General Administrative Department, Covid, of NCT of Delhi on the 4th of March 2019 so that a reference can go from 
There to the Election Commission of India for obtaining NOC from them while the operation of the model code of conduct is in vogue. The request has been asked to obtain NOC for the following I. Publication of advertisement for the post of chairperson in child. Welfare committees eat to conduct the interviews for filling the post of chairpersons of child welfare committee and member social workers at juvenile justice boards and e issuance of notification for appointment in child welfare committees and juvenile justice boards. Three, the Department of Women and Child Development will publish advertisement subject to the receipt of clearance NOC from the Election Commission of India to invite applications for the said vacant posts. Further efforts will be made to conduct interviews and subsequently notifications will be issued regarding appointment of chairpersons for various child welfare committee. Four, it is further stated that filling up the vacant posts is an ongoing process and in recent past an advertisement was published in January 2019 to invite applications for filling up the two posts of member social workers. Juvenile Justice Board 3, in response to the said advertisement, the department has received 101 applications for the same. The screening of applications has already been completed by a sub committee constituted by the Director, Department of Women and Child Development, GNCTD, but for the model code of conduct. Coming into operation, the interviews of the candidates earlier proposed to be held in the month of April 2019 have been put on hold until clearance from the Election Commission of India is received for which reference is mentioned above in Para 2 has been made. 5. It is also stated that at present there are 10 child welfare committee operational in Delhi. Each child welfare committee comprises of one chairperson and four members, as stated above in Para 4, that filling up the vacant posts is an ongoing process and 7 chairpersons have already been appointed in various child welfare committees. The department assures the Honorable High Court to make best efforts for not keeping these vacancies unfilled. Accordingly, as per the directions of Director WCD a draft status, report is prepared for perusal, approval and signature for onward. Submission in the Honorable High Court of Delhi through Senior Standing Council CRL GNCTD Status in the matter of W P C 7342017 Titled Light Life Freedom vs. GNCTD The matter on this file relates to W P C 7342017 Titled Light Life Freedom vs. GNCTD Next Listed for hearing on the 23rd of April 2019 in the High Court of Delhi In this connection, it is asked that on the last two dates of hearing i.e. The 25th of October 2018 and the 28th of January 2019 may see court orders on page 1048C and 1049C. The matter was not taken up by the Honorable Court. On the 9th of October 2018 in this matter the status of department was given to Govit. Council Ms. Propsahay Corps via email may see PG. No. 1008C. Informing her that the NGO Light Life Freedom has not been complying with the provisions of the Juvenile Justice Karen. Protection of Children Act 2015 and the Honorable Juvenile Justice. Committee, Delhi High Court has already filed a report with regard to the Light Life Freedom Home on the 15th of May 2018. Again on the 25th of January 2019, an email was sent to the Govit. Council copy placed it. Page no. 1036 C, informing her about the various deficiencies found during the inspection of Jody Home for Girls and Boys, C, O Light Life. Freedom, E minus 3 thirds, Malvia Nagar, New Delhi, conducted by the District Officer, South on 17.12.18 and 18.01.19, copy of inspection. Report placed at page no. 1015, C 1033, C. In addition to the facts mentioned above, it is also S here that certificate registration of the home was valid up to the 28th of February 2017 and the same is lying pending for cancellation in view of deficiencies found from time to time. The cancellation of registration is still pending as the matter is subjudice. Before the Honorable High Court, in view of the submissions made, above the file is S for perusal and further directions P. The next date, appearing in the instant matter is the 23rd of April 2019. Payment of professional charges in our O Ms. Propsahe Court Council GNCTD. Matter is regarding payment of professional charges to Ms. Propsahe Court Council GNCTD for amounting of ours. 25,200. Rupees 25,200 only in the case no. WPC 2600 2017 titled Salat Chant Jain vs. Covid of NCT of Delhi and ANR. It is asked that as per the OM dated the 26th of June 2008 issued by the Law Department GNCTD ours. 1,200 per day for appearance for effective hearing in ours. 1,000 for drafting of written statement is fee is allowed to the adult public council. In addition to this 10%, clerkage subject to maximum 2,400 is also allowed. Copy of the OM is placed at page no. 56C, bill no. 2017 minus 18, 0391, GNCTD at page 93, CS. No, particulars amount 1, professional fee for Effective hearing on dated the 17th of July 28th, the 17th of August 16th, the 17th of September 13th, the 17th of November 23.
The 18th of January 17th, the 18th of January 18th, the 18th of February 20th, the 18th of March 20th, the 5th of September 18th, the 8th of January 18th, and 23 date. 2018 22002. Clerkage at 10% 2203. MISC. Expenses. Including typing, photocopying of judgments, courier, speed post. For service, postage, etc. On actual basis, 1000, total 25200. Puck. IIDY. No. 264 DDCPU dated the 27th of November 2018. Page no. 60 C. Subject. Payment of professional charges in R. Oh, Mr. Ashok Popley, advocate. GNCTD. Matter is regarding payment of professional charges to Mr. Ashoki Popley, advocate, GNCTD for amounting of R's. 300. Rupees 300 only in the suit. No. Appeal no. 32,018. Titled Shri Manas Mahajan versus. Covet. Of NCT of Delhi and others for obtaining the certified copy of the judgment, keeping in view of above Puck I and two, if agreed, the file may be routed through account functionaries DWCD for taking approval for payment of fees of ours. Twenty five thousand two hundred to Ms. Propsahe Court Council GNCTD SP sub submission of inquiry report in the matter OFW PC five thousand three hundred thirty one two thousand fifteen titled Honorata Bashist and ANR versus GNCTD and ORS. The matter on this file. Relates to submission of inquiry report in the Honble High Court of Delhi and W. PC 5331-2015 titled Honorata Bashist and ANR versus GNCTD and ORS next listed for hearing on the 24th of April 2019 in the High Court of Delhi. In this connection, it is asked that with the approval of Director WCD, an order was issued on the 15th of February 2019 constituting a new committee for conducting inquiry in the matter of XCWC. Members Ms. Honorata Bashist and Ms. Ardi Mehta in view of the Court matter pending before the Honble High Court. It is further s. Here that the committee, after making their efforts, had concluded the inquiry and the inquiry report via letter dated the 18th of April 2019 is received today through email in the above mentioned subject matter. In view of above, a draft status report is prepared and placed alongside it. Page underscore C underscore C for perusal. The same is also reproduced below for reference. Status report on behalf of women and child development GOBT of NCT of Delhi that, in compliance to the Honble High Court of Delhi orders dated. Underscore, a committee was constituted to conduct an inquiry in the matter of Ms. Honorata Bashist and Dr. Arti Mehta, XCWC. Members, on the 16th of November 2017, Ms. Barty Ali, member state level. Selection committee, Hawk Center for Child Rights, Delhi was appointed for the said inquiry. The inquiry process could not proceed, as both the XCWC members declined to participate in the inquiry. Despite repeated efforts by the inquiry officer, it is further stated that another committee was constituted via order dated the 15th of February 2019 for Conducting inquiry in the matter of Ms. Honorata Bashist and Dr. Artie Mehta, XCWC members. Copy of the order of committee. Constituted as annexed as annexure, I. That the inquiry committee held its meeting and letters were sent to Ms. Honorata Bashist and Dr. Artie Mehta on the 22nd of March 2019 providing them opportunity to furnish their explanation and to visit in person in the office of district. Officer, Northwest 2, Chairperson Inquiry Committee. Department of Women and Child Development, Government of NCT. Of Delhi on the 28th of March 2019. However, both the letters were returned back from the postal department with reasons mentioned as no receiver is present after repeated delivery attempts from Ms. Honorata. Fascist's address and no such person at Dr. Artie Mehta's address. That again on the 16th of April 2019, a meeting notice scheduled for the 18th of April 2019 at 11 a.m. to be held in the office of the district officer, Northwest. Two, Chairperson Inquiry Committee, Department of Women and Child Development, Govet, of NCT of Delhi was issued to Ms. Honorata Bashisht and Dr. Artie Mehta mentioning that this would be Considered a final opportunity for attending the meeting scheduled and furnishing their explanation views that the meeting notice stated above in point no four was sent through a special messenger through emails and telephonic calls were also made on their mobile numbers in response a reply via email was received from Ms. Honorata Vashish declining to take part in the inquiry and Dr. Artie Meta did not respond to the communications made to her copy of the email received from Ms. Honorata Vashish is annexed is annexure two that the committee constituted for conducting inquiry in the matter of Ms. Honorata Bashist and Dr. Artie Mehta, XCWC. Members had asked their inquiry report via letter dated the 18th of April 2019. Copy of the inquiry report is annexed as annexure 3, if approved, and agreed the same may be S in the Honble High Court of Delhi. Through Govet, Council Ms. Viva Mahajan, the matter is next listed. For hearing on the 24th of April 2019, SP, may peruse the two PUCs placed at page no. 286 C 289 C and 289 C 2290 C in the court matter W P C 503 2018 titled Polomi Pavini Shukla versus UOI and ORS pending the before the Honorable Supreme Court of India the next date in the 
Instant matter is the 5th of October 2019. 96. The first pup placed at page no. 286. C 289. C is received from O. O J T. Director D W C D, which is a copy of office report of assistant registrar dated the 4th of June 2019 in the above stated matter. 97. The second pup placed at page no. 290. C 291. C is copy of the court order dated the 4th of August 2019 of the Registrar Court 1, Honville Supreme Court of India. The Registrar Court, one order dated the 4th of August 2019. Is also reproduced below for reference. Order Respondent knows 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 19, 22, 24, 29, 30, and 35 have filed counter affidavit. Respondent no. One is granted four weeks' time as last opportunity for filing counter affidavit. Respondent knows 9, 11, 21, 23, 27, 32, 33, 34, 39, and 40 have failed to file counter affidavit despite last opportunity. Having been granted, as such, further opportunity is declined. Respondent, no. 16 is granted two weeks' time for filing counter. Affidavit. Service is complete on the remaining respondents, but none. Has entered appearance. Registry to process the matter for listing. Before the Honble Court after completion of period of four weeks. Whether counter affidavit is filed or not is further opportunity to file. Counter affidavit stands declined. 98. As per the above stated court. Order respondent, no. 1. Ministry of WCD has been granted for. Week's time is last opportunity for filing counter affidavit in. Respondent no. 39. GNCT of Delhi, along with other 09 others have. Not been provided further opportunity to file counter affidavit. 99. In. This regard it is S that a short counter affidavit may see page no. 285. C. Was S on the 4th of May 2019 but it seems the same was not taken on. Record on the next date of hearing I. E on the 4th of August 2019. 100. It is. Further S here that AD, CPU, and W. O, CPU, are continuously trying to fix a meeting with the advocate on record shish. Chirag M. Croft, but the same has not been possible so far. 101. S4. Perusal of above facts and directions P. May peruse the court order. Dated the 4th of November 2019 passed by the Honble High Court of Delhi in the matter WP. CRL. 2728-2018 titled Suku Lal Sunar vs. The State NCT. Of Delhi placed at page no. 272. C274. C. 99. In this regard, it is asked that the actionable point on the part of department is mentioned. In the point no, three of the said court order. The point no, three of the order, dated the 4th of November 2018 is also reproduced below for reference we have. Peruse the compilation filed as ANNXURE1 and find that suggestions. Shortcomings have been pointed out in respect of each of the institutions that need to be dealt with and deficiencies made good. Mr. Mara states that there are several deficiencies in respect of work required to be undertaken by PWD that have been pointed out by Sanskar Ashram for boys, but no steps have been taken so far. The Principal Secretary, PWD, is directed to ensure that appropriate orders are passed that wherever the department is called upon to undertake repairs, additions, alterations, etc. In respect of any of the covet run child care homes, the said work is attended to within a reasonable time, preferably one week from the date of receiving such a complaint. 100. It is also S here that is directed on the puck. May see page 274. C. A letter has to be put up accordingly for. Concerned Department I, EPWD for ensuring the compliance of the directions of the Honble Court, 101, accordingly a draft, letter addressed to PR, Secretary PWD is prepared and placed in file. At page no, 275C for perusal and approval, PUC IDY, no, 1306 DDCPU dated the 14th of February 2019, page no, 68C, subject, payment of professional charges in R, Omis Propsahay Court, Council, GNCTD, 36. The matter is regarding payment of professional charges to Ms. Propsahay Court Council GNCTD amounting to Rs. 14,200, rupees 14,200 only in the case no. CM, M, no. 11-40-2018 titled Didanali Dagra vs. State of NCT of Delhi and Ors. 37. The details of Bill No. 2018-19-00405 GNCTD dated the 30th of January 2019 sent by Council Ms. Propsahay Court is placed at page no. 68C and the same is also given below s no particulars amount one professional fee for effective hearing on dated 20.09.18 page 64 c 10.10.18 page 61 c 22.10.18 page 60 c 20.11.18 page 59 c 20.12.18 page 58 c and the first of september 2019 page 57 c 12002 clerkage at 10 percent 1203 misc expenses including typing photocopying of Judgments, courier, speed post for service, postage, etc. On actual basis, 1,000, total 14,238. Further, it is asked that Department of Law, Justice and Legislative Affairs, Govet, of NCT of Delhi has 
Issue dome dated the 12th of March 2015 regarding revision of terms and conditions and fees payable to standing counsel, civil criminal, additional standing counsel, civil criminal panel advocates, apps in the Delhi High Court, 39, as per the OM dated the 12th of March 2015, the revised remunerations fees details as is under nature of work revised remunerations fees hearing suit writ petition and appeals including oral application for leave to appeal in WP revision petition special civil application in high court R's. 2000 per case per day of effective hearing subject to a maximum of R's. 10,000 per case in case on non-effective hearing R's. 500 per case per day subject to a maximum of 05 hearing drafting of writ petitions appeal revision pleading suits written statement rejoinder arbitration matter etc R's. 2000 per case drafting of misc application other petitions including interim motions notices leave application arbitration company matter and other land acquisition references application for leave to appeal in writ petitions Affidavits R's, 1,000 per case per application, max, R's, 5,000 per case clerkage, secretariat charges 10% of fees subject to maximum, of R's, 2,400 per case, 39, in view of above, if agreed the file may, be forwarded to accounts branch DWCD for soliciting their opinion, on the bill raised by the council Ms. Propsahe Kaurand making, payment of the same, 39, S for perusal P, may peruse the court, order dated the 16th of April 2019 passed by the Honble High Court of Delhi in, the matter WP, CRL, 2805-2018's titled Farman versus the State Govet of NCT of Delhi and ORS placed at page no. 175C-176C-112, C, ready reference, order the 16th of April 2019-1, an affidavit has been filed. The order of the Honble Court is also reproduced below for, by the Department of Women and Child Development Govet of NCT of Delhi stating inter alia that the department has approached the Election Commission of India through proper channel for obtaining a no objection certificate for taking steps to fill up three vacant posts of chairpersons in the child welfare committees. Two, learn standing. Council, CRL, states that immediately after the permission is granted, steps will be taken to publish in WP, CRL 2805-2018's page one of two. Advertisement inviting applications for the subject post conducting interviews through a committee already in place and finally issuing a notification for the appointment. Three, list on the 17th of July 2019 to await the Action taken report, 113, S for perusal and information P, may, peruse the two PUCs placed at page no, 100, C, 104, C, and 105, C, 129, C received from DEPT, of Law Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD and DEPT, of Social Welfare, GNCTD, the details of both, the PUCs are given under PUC I-91, the first PUC placed at page no, 100, C, 104, C received from DEPT, of Law Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD is regarding verifying the two bills for payment of professional charges to Mr. Mrs. for Mega Second R. K. Rathor, Advocate Honble Supreme Court of India, 92. In this regard, it is S that the advocate has appeared in W. P. C. No. 473 2005 titled Sampurna Barua vs. UOI on dated the 29th of August 2016 and the 23rd of September 2016 for Department of WCD, GNCTD, Puck 293, the second Puck placed at page No. 105C 129C is a letter received from DEPT of Social Welfare GNCTD along with enclosures which is regarding verifying two bills as per the details given below, one bill of Ms. Pinky Anand ASG Honble Supreme Court of India for appearing in WPC 473-2005 titled Sampurna Barua vs. UOI and ORS on the 22nd of March 2018 for DEPT of WCD GNCTD, nine bills of Mr. Ajay Amrit Raj, Advocate, Honble Supreme Court of India for appearing in W. P. C. 473-2005 on different dates 17.02.17, 504.17, 11.07.17, 18 .08 .17, 22.08.17, the 10th of November 2017, 15.11.17, 20.11.17, and 22.03.18, in view of the both the PUCs as per detailed above, if Agreed and approved the bills and original may be returned back to Theft of Law Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD with a Covering letter, 95, accordingly, a draft to this effect is prepared And placed in file at page 130, C for perusal, approval and signature P 47, may peruse the copy of email along with copy of the minutes Placed at page no, 111, C 117, C of second meeting of steering Committee on Child Labor held on the 19th of March 2019 at 3 o'clock P M under the Chairmanship of Divisional Commissioner, Govet, of NCT of Delhi, 48. In this regard, it is asked that the ATR on the points pertaining to this department is mentioned in the minutes of the 
meeting dated the 19th of March 2019 have to be sent by the 30th of April 2019. 49. Reference point no. 7. The jurisdiction of CWCs are not aligned to. The points pertaining to this department are given under for the district task force DTF and it would be better if the same are aligned. This matter need to be examined so that the jurisdiction of CWCs is aligned with the jurisdiction of DTF to avoid any difficulty in coordination and compilation of data. Point no. AWCD2. Endorse the copy of order of restoration, repatriation of child labor rescued by DTF to the OO respected DLC of districts of that labor. Department can verify the information such as addresses, parent, details, etc. given by the child at the time of rescue operation by DTF and DWCD to ensure that the list of child labor rescued along with its address is provided to OO resident commissioner of the concerned state for monitoring the rehabilitation, restoration by labor department. Point no. Nine, the data pertaining to children rescued from child labor and later on repatriating them to the native states to be shared by CWC with local DM of the concerned state in order to ensure that the rehabilitation amount reached to the family of the child labor. 50. It is S here that since the point no, 8 and 9 seem to be directly related to the CWCs and therefore, if agreed, we may forward the minutes of the meeting for compliance on the two points at their end. Accordingly, a draft forwarding letter has been prepared and placed in file for perusal. Approval and signature P. 51. S for signature of draft letter for CWCs. And for perusal and directions in R. 0.0. 7 of the minutes of the meeting. 52. SP. 47. May peruse the copy of email. Along with copy of the minutes placed at page no. 111. C. 117. C of. Second meeting of steering committee on child labor held on. The 19th of March 2019 at 3 o'clock P. M. Under the chairmanship of divisional. Commissioner. Govett. Of NCT of Delhi. 48. In this regard, it is S that. The ATR on the points pertaining to this department is mentioned in the minutes of the meeting dated the 19th of March 2019 have to be sent by the 30th of April 2019. 49. The points pertaining to this department are given under for reference point no. 7. The jurisdiction of CWCs are not aligned to the district task force DTF and it would be better if the same are aligned. This matter need to be examined so that the jurisdiction of CWCs is aligned with the jurisdiction of DTF to avoid any difficulty in coordination and compilation of data. Point no. 8. WCD to endorse the copy of order of restoration, repatriation of child. Labor rescued by DTF to the OO respected DLC of districts of that. Labor department can verify the information such as addresses, parent details, etc. given by the child at the time of rescue operation. By DTF and DWCD to ensure that the list of child labor rescued. Along with its address is provided to OO resident commissioner of. The concerned state for monitoring the rehabilitation, restoration by. Labor department. Point no. 9. The data pertaining to children rescued from child labor and later on repatriating them to the native states to be shared by CWC with local DM of the concerned state in order to ensure that the rehabilitation amount reached to the family of the child labor. 50. It is S here that since the point no, 8 and 9 seem to be directly related to the CWCs and therefore if agreed, we may forward the minutes of the meeting for compliance on the two points at their end. Accordingly, a draft forwarding letter has been prepared and placed in file for perusal, approval and signature P. 51. S4. Signature of draft letter for CWCs and for perusal and directions in R. 0.0. 7 of the minutes of the meeting. 47. May peruse the court order dated the 26th of April 2019 passed by the Honble High Court of Delhi in the matter WP. CRO. 1560 2017 titled Sodden Helder vs. the State NCT of Delhi and ORS placed at page no. 76. C82. C. 48. As. Per last pair of page no. 76. C. Of the Honble High Court order dated. The 26th of April 2019 directions have been given top standing council, CRL, GNCTD, MWCD, and BBA for making compliances. 49. S4. Perusal and information P. 49. May peruse the puck placed at page no. 112. C. 115. C. Received from Under Secretary to the Govet of India, Ministry of Women and Child Development regarding providing information is on the 30th of April 2019 with respect to the number of cases of unnatural death of children, if any, in child care. Institutions. 50. In this regard, it is asked that the same information was earlier sent to MWCD on the 16th of March 2018, page no. 100. C. Wherein. Details of two cases of unnatural deaths were informed. Now, again, after collecting information from DCPOs and as per available office, records it is asked that one more case of unnatural death was reported on. The 8th of February 2018 at Sarapshad Bhakpan Open Shelter, Carol Bagas. Informed through email by Ms. Vashida Singh, DCPO 11, may see. Page no. 123 C. 51. In view of above, if approved and agreed, the information available is on the 30th of April 2019 may be sent to MWCD in the 
Prescribed format. Accordingly, a draft letter has been prepared and placed in file for perusal and approval. 23. May peruse the copy of email dated the 29th of April 2019 along with enclosures placed at page no. 61C. 67C received from Ms. Mina Bardwatch, Deputy Registrar. Honble Juvenile Justice Committee, which is regarding implementation of the judgment passed by Honble Supreme Court of India on the 12th of November 2018 and WP. C. 565 2012 titled as Nippon Saxena versus UOI and ORS. 24. In this regard, it is asked that the Deputy Registrar, Honble JJC, has forwarded the copy of Core Agendum No. F. 3. Ed. BJ 105 2018 stated the 27th of February 2019 and judgment dated the 12th of November 2018 in the above mentioned writ petition may see page no 61 C 25 as directed by director WCD on the pup the copy of core agendum had to be endorsed to home department GNCTD accordingly a draft to this effect is prepared and placed in file for perusal and approval P may peruse the copy of email dated the 5th of August 2019 placed at page no slash C. C. Received from Mr. Chaitanya Gosain, Advocate Office of the Standing Council, CRO, Chish, Rahul Mera, which is regarding attending a web meeting on the 5th of September 2019 at 3.30 p.m. at the Telepresence Facility, 3rd floor at Delhi High Court and WP. C. 1560-2017 titled as Sodden Helder vs. State NCT of Delhi and Ors. In this regard, it is asked that as discussed yesterday with DD, CPU, and AD, CPU, since the CWCs are already attending the meetings in the Above mentioned court matter, therefore, the chairpersons of all the child welfare committees have been informed to attend the today's meeting also. It is also as here that the undersigned had a telephonic conversation yesterday evening with Mr. Chaitanya Gosain, ADB, wherein he stated that Director WCD to also attend the today's meeting at Delhi High Court since the senior officers from MWCD will also be present in the said meeting. As for perusal and information, P. May peruse two PUCs placed at page no. 20, C and 22, C to 24, C which is regarding two different court matters. The details of both the PUCs are given under PUP I the first PUP placed at page no. 20 C is a court order dated the 4th of October 2019 in the matter CRL. Rev. P. 283-2016. Titled Delhi State Legal Services Authority versus State and ORS. In this regard, it is asked that this matter has been dealt by the chairperson. CWC2 and in the same matter in reference to court order dated the 15th of February 2019 PG. 17 C 18 C a letter was sent to the chairperson officiating CWC 2 page no 19 C to comply with para no 7 of the order dated the 15th of February 2019 in view of above if agreed the court order dated the 4th of October 2019 may be forwarded to chairperson officiating CWC 2 for making compliance if any at his end accordingly a draft letter is prepared and placed in file at page no 25 C for perusal up to the second pub placed at page no 22 C 2 24 C is a copy of email along with court order dated the 29th of April 2019 in the matter WP CRL 1191 2019 titled Samadhi or and Ors versus Child Welfare Committee 7 and ANR in this regard it is asked that the said matter was disposed of on the 29th of April 2019 with directing that the applications made by the parents of the children to the child welfare committee seeking their restoration are now scheduled for hearing at 4 p.m. today in the premises of the child welfare committee aided Kalkaji New Delhi Learned counsel appearing on behalf of petitioners does not press this petition at this stage. It is also asked that, as directed by worthy director WCD and updated status in the matter, is to be sought from concerned CWCI, ECWC8. Accordingly, a draft letter is prepared and placed in file at page 26, C for perusal. S. For perusal and approval of drafts placed at page no. 25C and 26C in. View of Puck, I and 2 respectively. May peruse the meeting notice. Placed at page no. 122 C-125 C received from Inspecting Officer HQ, Labor Department, GNCTD. The meeting notice is for third meeting of State Level Steering Committee on Child Labor, scheduled to be held under the chairmanship of the Divisional Commissioner on the 15th of May 2019 at 3 o'clock p.m. in the conference room of O.O. Divisional Commissioner at 5 Sham Nathmark, New Delhi. It is mentioned in the meeting notice that a senior officer well conversant with the subject to attend the meeting along with the action taken report concerning to the department. In this regard, it is asked that an action taken report in our Ohanbal High Court judgment dated the 15th of July 2009 in the matter WP C 9767-2009's titled court on its own motion versus Govet of NCT of Delhi had already been sent through email to Labor Department on the 3rd of December 2019 and the same was again sent on the 26th of April 2019 copy of email placed at page no 126 C as per telephonic conversation held with Shish 
Manish Thacker, IO, H, Q, Labor Department, GNCTD. It is also S here that an action taken. Report on the points pertaining to this department is mentioned in the minutes of the meeting held on the 19th of March 2019, second meeting of steering. Committee on Child Labor is also sent to Labor Department for further necessary action, PG, no, 121C, S for perusal in information P, may peruse two PUCs placed at page no, 92, C94, C, and 95, C99, C which are in the matter W, P, C, 15, 60, 2017 titled, Sodden Helder versus the State NCT of Delhi and Ors. The details of both. The PUCs are given under Puck I the first Puck placed at page no. 92, C94, C is copy of letter issued by Ms. Suman now with DCP. Specialized Training Center, New Delhi's regarding organizing. Workshops on missing children at STC Rajinder Navarin. Compliance to the directions of the Hanbal High Court of Delhi in. The matter of Sodden Helder versus GNCTD. In this regard, it is S that. ACP, STC had a meeting with Dai. Director, CPU, on 605.19 on the issue of conducting training program of Delhi police on missing children by faculty from CWC and DSLSA and in continuation to the meeting held nominations of two chairpersons and one member were sent through email for including them as instructor for the training program copy of email sent is placed at page no 94 C the second puck placed at page no 95 C 99 C is a court order dated the 5th of September 2019 in the matter Sodden Helder versus GNCT of Delhi the Honville High Court bead point no 12 had directed as under, on the next date already fixed. I.e. on the 24th of May 2019, the court would require the presence of only the learned counsel for the petitioner and the learned standing counsel, CRL, for taking up the main matter. S for perusal and information P. May peruse the letter along with enclosures placed at page no. 71, C. 74, C received from Special Secretary 3, Home, Department of Home, GNCTD, which is regarding compliance of the resolution. Passed in the meeting of Honville Juvenile Justice Committee. Allahabad High Court held on the 2nd of May 2019. In this regard, it is S that. One of the agenda of the meeting held on the 2nd of May 2019 at Hanbal. Juvenile Justice Committee, Allahabad High Court was took on cider. The matter for compliance of directions given in the judgment dated. The 12th of November 2018 of the Hanbal Supreme Court of India in the matter. W. P. C. 565-2012 titled Nipun Saxena vs. UOI and ORS. On the above. Mentioned agenda the Hanbal JJC Allahabad High Court had passed. Resolution on the above mentioned agenda as it is resolved that the copy of directions given in the judgment dated the 12th of November 2018 of Honville Apex Court in the case of Nippon Saxon and another, etc., should be circulated to the Department of Home and Department of Women and Child Development for its compliance in the true spirit. The POCSO Act 2012 had already circulated the judgment dated the 12th of November 2018 of the Honville. In this regard, it is asked that the Honville JJC, Delhi High Court, Apex Court to all the LD. District and Sessions Judges, LD, Principal, Magistrates of JJB's IB and other stakeholders. Judgment dated the 12th of November 2018 of Honville Apex Court in the matter of. In view of above, if agreed, we may also circulate the. Nippon Saxena versus UOI and ORS to all the Child Welfare Committees for. Ensuring effective implementation of the judgment in the best interest. Of children in need of care and protection. Placed at page no. 75 C for perusal and approval P. Accordingly, a draft to this effect has been prepared in. May peruse two PUCs placed at page no. 100 C 101 C and 102 C. 103 C which are in the matter W. P C 15 60 2017 titled Sodden. Helder versus the state NCT of Delhi and Ors. The details of both the PUCs are given under. Puck I. The first puck placed at page no. 100 C 101 C is copy of email. Dated the 5th of July 2019 along with a letter dated the 5th of June 2019 received from. Ministry of Women and Child Development, GOI, is regarding furnishing information on the success rate of facial recognition, software data provided on the track child portal, and also the number of children matched and united with the family using FRS technology. In this regard, it is informed that on the above issue reply was sent to MWCD from ICPS unit DWCD on the 5th of August 2019, copy placed at page no 91C, and as per directions of the Honville High Court v. Point, no. 7 of the order dated the 5th of September 2019, PG No. 95C, Delhi Police had been directed for doing needful regarding providing password of the FRS to all the CWCs to enable them to upload photographs of the missing children found and housed in various shelter homes for restoring children to their parents. Further, as directed by Director, WCD information in our O success rate of FRS is required to be obtained from Home Depth, Delhi Police. Accordingly, a draft letter addressed to Home Depth, Delhi Police is Prepared and placed in file for perusal. Puck 2. The second puck placed at page no. 102. C103. C is copy of email. 
Received from O. Bodishish. Rahul Mera, Standing Council, CRL. GNCTD, Delhi High Court is on the issue of appointment of Para. Legal volunteers at each police station in the Delhi as per the directions of the Honorable High Court order dated the 26th of April 2019. In this regard, it is asked that the issue of appointment of paralegal <laughs> volunteers directly pertains to Delhi State Legal Services Authority <laughs> and Home Department GNCTD and the Home Department GNCTD had been directed be point no. Four of the order dated the 5th of September 2019 of the Honorable High Court Delhi PG no. 97C to file a compliance report with respect to appointment of paralegal volunteers as for perusal and approval of two drafts in light of PUC I and 4. Perusal and information of PUC 2. May peruse the court order dated the 17th of May 2019 placed at page no. 295. See wherein the Honorable Court had given the 7th of May 2019 as next date of hearing in the matter W. P.C. 5011-2017's titled Rena Ja and A.N.R. versus U.O.I. and Ors. His junior advocate in the court, in addition to the last affidavit S on in this regard, it is S that is discussed with Govett. Counsel N. The 2nd of June 2019, May C.P.G. No. 293-C. They need some clarifications in. The matter before the next date of hearing, the advocate has given following points in writing needing clarification from the department. What are the discrepancies between the model guidelines 2013 and POCSO Act? What is the status of adoption of 2013 model guidelines? S for perusal and further directions P. Professional fees bills in R. O. Ms. Propsahay Court, Advocate Govett. Of NCT of Delhi. The matter on this file relates to payment of fee to Ms. Propsahay. Court, Advocate Govett. Of NCT of Delhi in the matter of Gitanjali. Dabra versus State of NCT of Delhi and Ors. The details of the bills are placed at para 37 at page 7 N. Further in this context, it is S that as per para 47 at page 10 N. Finance Department has stated that the Administrative Secretary of the Department has been delegated full powers to make payment of advocates, etc., subject to guiding principles and rates laid down by the Law Department. Hence, in the instant case, the Administrative Secretary of the Department is the competent authority for the proposed expenditure. The payment proposed to be made has been noted in FD. As per PR, Secretary Finance, S. Order dated the 1st of May 2018. In view of above, if agreed, we may send the file to the competent authority for according approval of ours. 12,000 towards payment of professional fee. Proposal for collaboration, life skills program, Tim Tim Tear. From Aparajita Foundations, page no. 92, C 104, C received from senior. Manager implementation. May peruse the copy of email along with enclosures placed at. And reach Aparajita Foundations, which is a proposal regarding. Collaboration, life skill program, Tim Tim Care. Arm of Aparajita Corporate Services dedicated to the cause of. In this regard, it is S that Aparajita Foundation is the CSR. Transforming youth by imparting training for right attitude and greater awareness about their life. The foundation has offered their program for the children homes, CCIs of Delhi on a no cost basis. Teachers and familiarization of program of Aparajita Foundation. The tentative sequences, methodology and steps for training is given under requirements from the department. Signing of Mo. Issuance of circulars for teacher training by the department. Arranging for training place with audio, visual facility and public address system. Allocating two hours in the morning session in case their training is combined with any other departmental training, preferably two teachers for training from each CCI school who will handle their project afterwards. The DCPOs and the block level officers to be present for the meeting and be the nodal officers. During training, arrangement for 25 to 30 students can be both boys and girls from 6th to 8th standard. This will enable them to have a representative live program for the teachers. What a Parajita will do, provide resource persons, trainers, distribution of, one, DVDs to each school. Two, a short note on life skills, its importance, need and benefits. Three, feedback collection through mobile apps or in person. Four, providing details of contact persons for any hand holding is, may be required. Goals, outcomes including short term, mid term and long term. The proposal of a Parajita Foundation along with its specific methodology and approach, etc. is detailed in the enclosures placed at. Page may peruse the court order dated the 23rd of May 2019 placed at page no. 534, C to 537, C in the matter W. PC 11187-2017's titled Court on its own motion versus Govet of NCT of Delhi and Ors W. PC 2495-2018's titled Court on its own motion versus Govet of NCT of Delhi and Ors and W. PC 4689-2018's C. M 47123-2018's titled Court on its own motion versus State. The Honorable High Court of Delhi passed the Following order, one, at request of Mr. H. S. Fulka, Mr. Anand Kumar Asthana and Ms. Bardi Ali, for the reasons explained, we implead, one, Union of India, Ministry of Women and Child Development, two, National Commission for Protection of Child Rights, NCPCR, through its chairman, three, Delhi Commission for Protection of Child Rights, 
DCPCR through its chairman, four Delhi Legal Services Authority, DOSA through its member secretary and five Delhi Polices. Parties to the petitions, two, court notice be issued to the newly implanted respondents, returnable on the 17th of July 2019, three, Mr. Rahul Mera, standing counsel for the state accepts notice on behalf of Delhi Police, Mr. Anurag Aluwalia, standing counsel, accepts notice for UOI and Mr. A.K. Singh, advocate accepts notice on behalf of NCPCR, four, Mr. Fulka points out that in writ petition no, 2495-2018, the court has taken note of 16 issues highlighted by the Supreme Court of India. He submits that pursuant to the directions issued, the Delhi government has filed their response on the 25th of March 2019. He submits that some of the issues are to be addressed by the Delhi police for which Mr. Mara submits that affidavit would be filed. Mr. Fulka further points out that parties implanted today may also be called to file their response on 16 issues highlighted by the Supreme Court of India in the judgment of Saparna Bahora versus UOI and others reported in 20183 SCC 433. The first page in para 94 of the said judgment be annexed along with the court notice to enable the parties to appreciate and to file a response before the next date of hearing. Mr. Mara has pointed out that during the pendency of the writ petition, the Delhi government has taken various measures to ensure that all the children homes, 84 in all, including 21 government run homes are complying with the act and the rules framed under the Juvenile Justice Act. He further submits that the Delhi government would be willing to address any other issue, which is either incomplete or requires attention to ensure that all the homes run in conformity with the act and rules framed thereunder. We request the learned amicus curiae who have been appointed in this matter to prepare a checklist of all the homes and supply an advance copy to Mr. Mara. Mr. Mara assures that in case of any shortfall, every endeavor would be made to address the same. Five, attention of this court is drawn to the order dated the 31st of July, 2018. More particularly, paragraphs 9 to 13, which we reproduce below, is an aspect of the failure of the respondents to conduct a cadre. 9. Another important issue flagged in WP. C. No. 11,187-2017. Review in the Department of Women and Child Development. Government of NCT of Delhi. Astana LD. Amicus curiae to the absolutely vague and evasive. 10. In this regard, our attention is drawn by Mr. Anand Kumar. The vermins made in Paris 6 and 7 of the status report filed by Shish. G.C. Lahani, Dai, Director, ADMN, Department of Women and Child, Development, Govet, of NCT of Delhi under a cover of index dated the 27th of July 2018, pages 159 and 160. Passing of our order dated the 9th of April 2018, a committee was 11. A perusal of this status report would show that after constituted to suggest the suitable restructuring and creation of new posts in the department, it appears that despite the recommendation having been made by the committee, no action has been taken at all. Council, CRL. For GNCT of Delhi, the two departments would be. 12. We are informed by Mr. Rahul Mera, learned standing, involved in carrying out the cadre review, one of which is the Department of Women and Child Development and another is the Department of Social Welfare, Secretary of Department of Social Welfare placing before this court. 13. Let an affidavit be filed under the signatures of the the steps taken on the recommendations of the committee and the timeline within which the cadre review would be completed. Such affidavit shall be filed within a period of four weeks from today. 6. Mrs. Avnish Alawat, Standing Counsel Appearing for Women in Child Welfare Department, submits that in compliance of this order, a status report was filed. Mr. Astana contends that the cadre review is yet to take place and most of the officers are working in diverting capacity and in view thereof, the work is suffering. 7. We direct that a specific affidavit be filed by the government of NCT of Delhi in compliance with paragraphs 9 to 13 of the order. Dated the 13th of July 2018, which we have reproduced here and above. In case, for any reason, this order is not complied, the concerned officer is directed to remain present in court with reasons for the same. Connected record be also called in court. 8. Attention of the court is also drawn to para 4 of the order dated. The 15th of May 2018 pertaining to institutions not complying with requirements of the rights of the Persons with Disabilities Act 2016. Mr. Nipun Malhotra, a physically challenged person who filed a writ. Petition with regard to disabled persons was requested to conduct a disability audit of the child care institutions and submit a report to Mr. Satyakam. While we are informed that the audit has been completed but no report has been S. 9. Let a court notice be issued to Mr. Nipun Malhotra also. Returnable on the 17th of July 2019. Additionally, Mr. Satyakam, standing, counsel for NCT of Delhi, shall also inform him and request him to submit the report by the 7th of March 2019. Upon receipt of the report, in case of any shortcomings, the Delhi government is requested to ensure compliance of the same. Reports of the inspections carried out in the last one year be supplied to the amicus curiae. 10. The Delhi government has very fairly offered that an honorarium be fixed for both the amicus curiae who have worked tirelessly in 
assisting the court. Accordingly, honorarium of ours. Two bucks each is fixed for the amicus curiae appointed in the matter. Learned amicus. Curiae assured the court that guidelines for inspection would be finalized by the 29th of May 2019. Copies shall be supplied to Mr. Marianne, Deputy Director of Women and Child Department, GNCTD. 11. Copy of the order be given Dasty to all the parties under signatures of the court master. G. May peruse the copy of the third meeting minutes of steering. Committee on Child Labor placed at page no. 127 C to 135 C. Received from Inspecting Officer H. Q. Labor Department. GNCTD. Chairmanship of Divisional Commissioner, Labor Department. The. The meeting was held on the 15th of May 2019 under the. Point no. Eight of the minutes PG no. 132 C is reproduced below. The jurisdiction of CWC is aligned with the jurisdiction of DTF so. The chair asked the representative of WCD to ensure that. That there is no overlap in coordination and compilation of data. The. Representative from WCD informed that majority of CWC are in alignment with the revenue district only in few cases there is overlapping. The chair directed representative of WCD to give information regarding CWC jurisdiction wise that before the next meeting all departments should send ATR in. It was also directed by the chairman steering committee. Respective decision taken in the third steering committee meeting is well as previous meeting and on their role and responsibilities prescribed by the Honville High Court through its judgment dated the 15th of July 2009.0 no. 7 PG 132 C responsibilities prescribed by the Honville High Court through its in this regard it is asked that comments on the role in judgment dated the 15th of July 2009 and our ODEPT of WCD GNCTD had already been sent through email to labor Dept on the 26th of April 2019 and ATR on the minutes of second steering committee meeting was also sent to labor department on the 14th of May 2019 may seek status from all CWCs on point no Eight of the third meeting. In view of above submissions, if agreed and approved, we. Minutes of Steering Committee on Child Labor. Accordingly, a draft. Letter to this effect is prepared and placed in file at page no. 136 C4. Perusal and approval P. Subject, payment of professional fees bills in R. O. Ms. Propsahay. Court, Advocate Govett, of NCT of Delhi. The matter on this file relates to payment of fee to Ms. Propsahay. Court, Advocate Govett, of NCT of Delhi in the matter CM, M, no. 11-40-2018 titled Gitanjali Dabra versus State of NCT of Delhi and Ors. The details of the bills are placed at para 37 at page 7 N. In this regard, it is asked that as per para 47 at page 10 N finance. Expenditure B. Department had already noted the payment. Proposed to be made towards government council and had further. Had stated that the administrative secretary of the department has. Been delegated full powers to make payment of advocates, etc. Subject to guiding principles and rates laid down by the law. Department. Hence, in the instant case, the administrative secretary. Of the department is the competent authority for the proposed expenditure. The payment proposed to be made has been noted in FD, as per PR, Secretary Finance, S order dated the 1st of May 2018. In view of above, if agreed, we may send the file to the competent authority I, be worthy Secretary WCD for according approval of ours. 12,000 towards payment of professional fee to Ms. Propsahay. Core, may peruse the court order dated the 29th of May 2019, placed at page no. 1. C. Passed by the Honville High Court of Delhi in the matter W. PCRL 1639-2019 titled Avalashid Wabedi v. S. Department of Women in Child Development, NCT of Delhi and ANR. The next date in the instant matter is the 12th of July 2019. In this regard, it is S. that die. Director, WEC, DWCD has forwarded the above-mentioned court order with remarks as Ms. Avalasha was working in MHU, OHB, Kingsway Camp, hence the matter pertains to CPU. As mentioned in the court order, a reply affidavit to the petition is to be filed but till date the copy of petition has not been received and it is not clear by going through the court order dated the 29th of May 2019 as to what are the concerns subject of the writ petition to which reply has to be filed in view of above if agreed and approved we may forward the file to litigation branch for providing the copy of petition details of the case so that further necessary action in the matter could be done may peruse the copy of email dated the 20th of June 2019 along with enclosures placed at page no 370 C 372 C received from Under Secretary to Covet of India Ministry of WCD GOI seeking information in RO data of CWCs JJBs and CCIs up to the 19th of June 2019 on the enclosed performa latest by the 21st of June 2019 in this regard it is asked that the reply required to be sent to the Under Secretary to GOI MWCD has been prepared on the basis of available information in CPU and ICPS units and placed at page no. 373 C for perusal and approval P. Submission of counter affidavit in the matter W. P. C. 503 2018 titled. Before the Honorable Supreme Court of India. 
Colony Pavini Shukla versus Union of India endorse pending. As per the instructions from the LD, Standing Council, the draft. Comments to be incorporated in the counter affidavit were sent to the Office of Govet. Council after the same were approved by the Director, WCD V. Para 111 at page 22 N. It is S here that, in continuation to the approved draft comments sent to the Office of Shish, Chirag M. Shroff Govet, Council on the 7th of May, 2019, the draft counter affidavit to be filed in the Honorable Supreme Court of India has been received back from the Council wherein the comments of the Department have been incorporated in the draft counter affidavit. The same is placed at page no. 341, C347, C4. Perusal. It is also S here that the counter affidavit received back from the council were without index to be placed above the affidavit. The index required has been prepared and attached with the counter affidavit. The fair copy of the final counter affidavit is placed alongside in file. For perusal, approval and signature P. The next date in the instant. Matter is tentatively fixed for the 15th of July 2019. May peruse the puck placed at page no. 120, C 121, C received from Shish, S, C Sinha, Head Bok Pan Bachao and Olan and Global Policy. Institute for Children which is regarding pending rehabilitation of rescued bonded laborers due to delay in issuance of release. Certificate, for issuance of release certificates by the concerned district. In this regard, it is S that through his letter he has requested. Magistrates from which the child laborers were rescued by the Bok Pan Bachao and Olan during the period October 2017 to September 2018. The labor department as the subject matter pertains to them. Further, as directed on the PUC, the letter has to be forwarded. Accordingly, a draft forwarding letter has been prepared and placed. At page no. 122. C for perusal and approval P. Sub. Regarding contract extension WEF the 4th of May 2019 to the 31st of March 2020. Contractual welfare officers working in CPU branch along with other. The matter on this file relates to the four days gap given to the. Contractual employees. F. 648 DWCD ADMN JJ Act 2013 6067-77 dated the 24th of June 2019 had. In this regard, it is asked that the department veed order no. Issued extension order WEF the 4th of May 2019 to the 31st of March 2020 in RO. Contractual employees working in the department of WCD GNCTD. With a gap of four days. Information regarding this gap of four days in their extension order in. Welfare officers posted in CPU branch have given. The remarks given by the ADMN branch that they are given. Compensatory leaves from the 1st of July to the 4th of July 2019 to set off the four. Days gap period. May kindly refer the order issued by ADMN. Branch placed in file from 43C to 48C along with letters from two. Welfare officers posted in Child Protection Unit. 2019 IE on 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 9th Yuli 2019 the meetings of state. It is important to mention here that in the first week of July. Level Selection Committee have been convened to select candidates. For the post of Member Social Worker, Juvenile Justice Board. This matter is being dealt by the undersigned along with Ms. Fatima. W. O. Services of Ms. Fatima will be required as she has been. Handling all the correspondences related to the meetings of SLSC. Resume. It is further informed that Mr. Beneath W. O. is looking after. It is also informed that W. E. F. the 1st of July 2019 the courts will. The court matters and various meetings with Govet. Councils have to. Be attended for the cases coming in the first week of July. Services of. Mr. Vanit will also be required to coordinate with Govet. Council is. Well attending high court for the matters listed during first week of. July 2019 is the undersigned and I. Director will be busy in the. Meeting of SLSC. Request the director WCD competent authority to exempt above. In view of submissions made above, if agreed, we may. Mention two welfare officers from availing their compensatory. Leaves during the period the 1st of July to the 4th of July 2019 both the above. Mentioned welfare officers are privy of all files and records related. To SLSC and court matters respectively. First week of July 2019 in the child protection unit they may be. It is thus as that considering the urgency of work during the. Allow to avail compensatory leaves during some other time. May peruse the letter along with copy of writ petition placed at page. S for perusal and approval P. No. 1. C to 129. Received from Die. Director. Litigation. Litigation. Branch. Department of Social Welfare. GNCTD in the matter W. P. CRL. 1165-2019 titled Nirmal Garana vs. State of NCT of Delhi and ANR. The instant matter is fixed for hearing in the Honble High. Court of Delhi on the 16th of July 2019. Respondents in depth of social welfare, GNCTD is respondent no. In this regard, it is asked that in this petition there are total 10. 8. It is further informed that Child Welfare Committee, Lodge Padnagar, through its chairperson is respondent no. 9. May CPG, no. 121, C. 122, C. After going through the prayers made in the petition which is placed at page no. 71, C. 72, C. It is observed that the present case has been filed for proper implementation of the provisions of central 
Sector Scheme for Rehabilitation of Bonded Laborer 2016 and Prayer No. 3 PG 71 C states for providing adequate rehabilitation of the three rescued minor girls in accordance with the provisions of the said scheme is the main party in the present writ petition as Labor Department is. In view of the prayers made, it seems that Labor Department, the nodal department for implementation of bonded labor system, Abolition Act 1976, hearing on the 16th of July 2019 along with already pending W. P. C. R. L. It is also S here that the present writ petition is listed for. 10-11-2018 titled Nirmal Garana vs. Govet of NCT of Delhi and Ors. May C. Court order dated the 29th of April 2019 placed at page no. 131 C. Attached along with file of W. P. C. R. L. 11-65-2019 is both the matters. The court matter file of W. P. C. R. L. 10-11-2018 is being. Are related to bonded laborers and both are jointly listed for. Hearing on the 16th of July 2019. As per para 48 to 49 at page 8 and in the court. Matter file of W. P. C. R. L. 10 11 2018. The Govet. Council had informed that the case pertains to labor debt. And if required, the Govet. Council will contact Department of W. C. D. G. N. C. T. D. May peruse the copy of writ petition along with Honble High Court. As for perusal and information, P. Of Delhi order dated the 25th of February 2019, placed at page no. 1. C. 2. 163. C. N. The matter W. PC 1950 2019 titled Shri Salakshant Jain vs. Union of India and Ors. The next date of hearing in the instant matter is the 31st of July 2019. Respondents in depth of Women and Child Development GNCTD. In this regard, it is asked that in this petition there are total 09. Is respondent no. 5. Placed at page no. 145 C 147 C. It is observed that the petition, after going through the prayers made in the petition, which is mainly pertains to implementation of RTE Act 2009 and the prayer. At SL, no, E pertains to this department as it points out about making proper infrastructure like shelter homes, rehabilitation center, orphanage, women and children protection center so that the children and women cannot be bullied by the unwanted and unsocial elements and criminals, women and children in accordance with the law. If agreed in, the department is already running various shelter homes for approved we may forward the details of our institutions being run for women and children to the director, education, directorate of education, GNCT of Delhi to incorporate this information in their Reply to be filed in the Honble High Court of Delhi and also to watch the interest of this department, WEC branch for providing the details of services related to women. The draft U, O is prepared and placed in file at page 164, C4, so that the same could be forwarded to the Director, Education, Directorate of Education along with the details of services pertaining to this branch, S for perusal and approval P, undersigned today at 3.30 p.m. from Vigilance Branch, DWCD. The, the file with detailed affidavit has been received by the Affidavit placed in file seems to be drafted hurriedly as it contains factual, typographical errors and some of the same errors, mistakes, could be easily seen at page no. 13, para not in chronology, and 17, dates in R, O suspension of woes needs to be checked. Hearing on tomorrow I, E the 7th of December 2019 and the time for filing of. It is also pertinent to mention here that the matter is fixed for. Counter affidavit had already lapsed. This matter may be directed to attend the court proceedings tomorrow. Hence, it is requested that the officers already dealing with and the undersigned is ready to provide help to the concerned. Officers as and when required in the instant court matter may peruse the court order dated the 16th of April 2019 placed at page no. 175, C 176, C passed in the matter W. P. C. R. L. 2805-2018's title Farman versus the state govet of NCT of Delhi and Ors. As per the directions of the Honble Court at point no. Three of the said order and action taken. Report is to be filed in R. O. Filling up of three vacant posts of chairpersons. In Child Welfare Committee, Analyst I, T Branch DWCD had been instructed to prepare online. In this regard, it is asked that the Mr. Anarud Sony system form so that applications for the said vacant posts could be invited through online mode. It is also added here that for selection of O2 member social workers for Juvenile Justice Board 3, Sewa Kudir meetings of the state level selection committee were held on the 7th of February 2019, the 7th of March 2019, the 7th of April 2019, and the 7th of September 2019 to interact with the Candidates shortlisted. The minutes of the meetings have been issued. On the 7th of December 2019, Honble High Court of Delhi is prepared and placed alongside in file. Accordingly, a draft action taken report to be filed in the for perusal and approval. The next date in the instant matter is the 17th of July 2019. May peruse copy of email placed alongside received from Child Welfare Section 2, Ministry of Women and Child Development, COVID, of India, which is regarding providing comments in the matter. W. P. C. No. 503-2018's titled Polomi Pavini Shukla vs. Union of India and Ors. Matter had been S on the 7th of February 2019 in the office of Shish. 
Chirag M. In this regard, it is asked that a counter affidavit in this court. Shroff Govett. Counsel to be filed before the Honorable Supreme Court of India before the next date of hearing. Counter affidavit filed in the Honorable Supreme Court of India may be. In view of above, if approved and agreed, the copy of the forwarded to Child Welfare Section 2 MWCD for information. Alongside and file for perusal and approval P. Accordingly, a draft forwarding letter is prepared and placed. Sub, regarding providing honorarium of ours. Two blocks each to the Amicus Curiae, page 63, end point no. 10, in R, O, providing honorarium of ours. Two blocks. Reference to the query raised by additional director, WCD it. Each to the Amicus Curiae by the Delhi government. The 23rd of May 2019 in the matter W. PC 11187-2017's title court on its. In this regard, it is asked that during the course of hearing on Motion versus Govet, of NCT of Delhi and Ors, the above stated subject Matter aroused in the court wherein firstly it was suggested by one of The advocates to fix ours Five locks each for the amicus curiae but Finally the honorarium was decided as ours Two locks each by the Honble court itself to be provided by the Delhi government to the Amicus curiae namely Mr. Anand Kumar Astana and Ms. Barty Ali, file to litigation branch for examining this matter and further in view of the above, if agreed and approved, we may send the processing the issue of payment of honorarium to be provided to the Amicus Curiae, Puck IDY, no, 358 DDCPU dated the 12th of May 18, page no, 93C, subject, payment of professional charges in our, oh, Ms. Propsahay, Court Council, GNCTD, Propsahay Court Council, GNCTD for amounting of ours, 25200, matter is regarding payment of professional charges to Ms. Rupees 25200 only, in the case no, W. P. C. 2600-2017's titled Salat Chan Jane vs. Covet. Of NCT of Delhi. And ANR. Issued by the Law Department, GNCTD, Rs. 2000, per case per day. In this regard it is S that, as per the O. M. Dated the 12th of March 2015. Had been fixed for panel advocates for appearance of effective. Hearing. In addition to this 10% clerkage charge subject to. Maximum 2400 is also allowed. Copy of the O. M. Is placed at page. No. 16. C. 20. C. Bill No. 2017 minus 18. 0391. GNCTD at page 93. C. S. No. Particulars. Amount. 1. Professional fee for effective hearing on dated. The 17th of July 28. The 17th of August 16. The 17th of September 13. The 17th of November 23. The 18th of January 17. The 18th of January 18. The 18th of February 20. The 18th of March 20. The 5th of September 18. The 8th of January 18. And the 23rd of August 2018. 22,000, 2, clerkage at 10%, 2,200, 3, misc, expenses, including typing, photocopying of judgments, courier, speed post, for service, postage, etc., on actual basis, 1,000, total, 25,200, Puck IIDY, no, 264, DDCPU dated the 27th of November 2018, page no, 60, C, subject, payment of professional charges in R, O Mr. Ashok Popley, advocate, GNCTD, Ashoki Popley, advocate, GNCTD, amounting to ours. 300 rupees. Matter is regarding payment of professional charges to Mr. 300 only, in the suit, no. Appeal, no. 32,018's title, Shri. Manas Mahajan versus Covet, of NCT of Delhi and others for obtaining the certified copy of the judgment. The file may be routed through account functionaries, DWCD4. Keeping in view of above mentioned Puck I and 2, if agreed. Taking approval for payment of fees of ours. 25,200 to Ms. Props ahead, core in ours. 300 to Mr. Ashok Popley, Advocate, GNCT of Delhi. Submission of counter affidavit in the matter W. P. C. R. L. 1639-2019. Titled Avalashid Wabedi vs. Department of Women and Child. Development, NCT of Delhi and ANR. The above mentioned subject matter. The draft affidavit had already. The matter on this file relates to filing of counter affidavit in. Been received from Govet. Counsel with para wise comments in the. Comments of this branch have also been incorporated in para 14 and. 22, 11, N in file F. 32, 68 W. P. C. R. L. 1639, 2019, H. C. Lit. D. W. C. D. 2019. In this regard, additional director, W. C. D. V'd his noted page. Had directed to provide the counter affidavit to Govet. Council for. Filing the same before the Honble High Court of Delhi. Copy of. Note is placed at page no. Underscore. Prepared and placed alongside and file for perusal and approval. The. The final draft of counter affidavit along with four annexures is. Next date in the instant matter is the 19th of November 2019, but the counter affidavit is to provide it to Govet. Counsel at the earliest for filing the same in the Honble High Court of Delhi. No. 195C passed by the Honble High Court of Delhi in the matter. May peruse the court order dated the 17th of July 2019 placed at page W. P. C. R. L. 
2805-2018's titled Farman vs. the State Govet. Of NCT of Delhi and ORS. The directions of the Honorable Court are also reproduced under for reference. Department of Women and Child Development Govet. Of NCT of Keeping in view the said action taken report the Delhi is directed to complete the process of appointment of three chairpersons to the Child Welfare Committee within three months. However, list the present matter for compliance on the 30th of October. With the aforesaid direction, present writ petition is closed. 2019. Appointed before the next date of hearing, the Secretary, Department. It is made clear that in the event the three chairpersons are not of Women and Child Development, Govet, of NCT of Delhi shall be personally present in court on the 30th of October 2019. May peruse the court order dated the 17th of July 2019 placed at page no. Underscore. S for perusal and information P. C to underscore. C in letter received from CEO NIPMAN Foundation. Placed at page no. Underscore. C to underscore. C in the matter W. PC 11187-2017. Title court on its motion versus GNCTD and ORS. The 17th of July 2019 had directed the NIPMAN Foundation to conduct the. In this regard, it is asked that the Honorable Court be order dated. Audit at the places wherein audits could not be conducted on previous occasions and had further directed the concerned authorities to allow the organization to complete the audit process. Be done at JJB2, Delegate and CWC, IV, Mayor Beher. As per the letter of CEO, NIPMAN Foundation audits have to concern to extend cooperation to NIPMAN Foundation in order to. In view of this, if agreed, we may inform the officers. Complete the audit process. IV in souped. DD, who, JJB2 have been prepared and placed. Accordingly, draft letters addressed to Chairperson, CWC, alongside and file for perusal and approval P, may peruse the puck placed at page no. 156, C to 164, C received. From member, Delhi Commission for Protection of Child Rights. Regarding providing action taken report on the compliance of order of Honble High Court of Delhi and W, P, C, no. 9767, 2009, in the matter. Of court on its own motion versus Govet, of NCT of Delhi. Taken report along with relevant enclosures on the points pertaining to in this regard, it is informed that on the same issue in action. This department had been sent through email on the 3rd of December 2019-00. Divisional Commissioner, Revenue Department, GNCTD. The same. Is placed at page no. 90, C to 96, C. Same information to member, DCPCR for information and further. In view of above, if agreed and approved, we may forward the necessary action. Accordingly, a forwarding letter is prepared in. Placed alongside and file for perusal, may peruse the puck placed at page no. 129, C 130, C which is a copy of the letter addressed to the DDO, Superintendent CWC 8. Kasturba Nikodin, Lodge Padnagar under the signatures of Chairperson. CWC 8. 8 had requested for providing 4 megapixels seals camera for. In this regard, it is asked that through his letter Chairperson, CWC. Capturing photographs of missing and found children in light of the directions of Honble High Court of Delhi passed in the matter of W. P. C. R. L. 1560-2017 titled Sodden Helder vs. the State NCT of Delhi and ORS regarding timelines for completing the selection process for appointment of chairpersons in child welfare committees fixed for completing the selection process for appointment of three as directed by worthy secretary WCD a timeline had to be chairpersons in child welfare committees entire selection process needs be divided in following four parts in this regard it is as that is discussed with AD CPU the along with the timeline for each bifurcated part publication of advertisement in Calling of applications 15 days WEF the 20th of August 2019. The 9th of April 2019. Scrutiny of applications 15 days WEF the 9th of May 2019. The 20th of September 2019. Selection process 15 days WEF the 21st of September 2019. The 10th of May 2019. Issuance of notification second week of October 2019. Appointment of chairpersons third week of October 2019. Be conveyed to Shish, Rahul Mera Sr., Standing Council, GNCTD4. If agreed and approved, the above-mentioned timelines may. Information. May peruse the puck placed at page no. Underscore. C to underscore. C received. From the Registrar General, Delhi High Court, New Delhi, which is. Regarding writ petition, civil, no. 11,382-2017 since CM, no. 4,873-2018. titled Foundation for Social Empowerment versus Union of. India and ORS. For directions passed by the Honble High Court, beat order dated. In this regard, it is S that is directed by Director WCD and is the 15th of July 2019 action taken report as per Paris 17 of the order dated. The 4th of December 2019 has to be S in the Honble Court. The Paris 17 of the Court. Order dated the 4th of December 2019 is reproduced below for reference. Government of NCT of Delhi through the Chief Secretary calling. In these circumstances, we issue notice to respondent no. 2. Upon the said respondent to address the court on the following. Queries. 
of whether there is any law, rule, or regulation that governs institutions that are operating privately in Delhi providing lodging and boarding on indiscriminate basis styled as paying guests, accommodations, hostels, lodging houses, etc. B. If answer to above query is in the affirmative whether the paying guest accommodations, hostels, and lodging houses, etc. operating privately at an informal level from residential buildings or otherwise are registered and or licensed under such law, rule, or regulation and the number of such establishments in Delhi that are so registered and or licensed department is not having any law, rule, or regulation governing as per above mentioned point no that it is asked that this institutions which are operating privately in Delhi and providing lodging and boarding on indiscriminate basis styled as paying guests accommodations, hostels, lodging houses, etc. Standing Council, Govit, of NCT of Delhi for apprising the same. If agreed, the same reply may be conveyed to the additional. Before the Honorable High Court of Delhi, SP, has been S by Chairperson, CWC3, Sewa Kudir Complex through. May peruse the copy of the affidavit placed alongside which, Shish, Rahul Mera Sr., Standing Council, CRL, GNCTD in the matter, W, P, CRL, 1560-2017 titled Sodden Helder versus the State NCT of Delhi and Ors. The said affidavit had been filed in compliance to the directions passed by the Honorable High Court of Delhi v. Order, dated the 25th of July 2019. Smooth and beneficial use of facial recognition software, FRS. As per Parano, eight of the above mentioned affidavit for, there is a need of two colored high pixel web cameras and two. Overcome the problem of internet, one Android tablet, mobile phone. With 4G connection is also required in all the 10 child welfare committees. The 13th of August 2019, all the DDO, who of the 10 CWCs have been directed to. In this connection, it is stated that this office order dated. Make arrangements for availability of one web camera along with high-speed internet if not done already, may CPG. No. 138 C 139. C. It is also S here that since there is demand for two colored high pixel web camera and one Android tablet mobile phone with 4G connection in all the 10 child welfare committees, if agreed, we may send the file to competent authority for obtaining approval of colored high pixel web camera and Android tablet mobile phone with 4G connection, one each for all the 10 child welfare committees in order to ensure effective use of facial recognition. Software, FRS, may peruse the copy of email placed at page no. 215 C225 C. Received from the O. O. Godam Narayan, additional St. Nating Causal. GNCTD in the matter W. PC 466 2012 titled Bakpan Pachau. Andolan versus UOI and ORS next listed for hearing on the 6th of September 2019 at High Court of Delhi. Instructions from this department on SL. No. 5 and 6 PG. No. 216 C. Of. In this connection, the Govit. Council has sought written. The attachment, a note handed over by the petitioner to the Council raising various issues of trial, investigation, and compensation in POCSO cases attached with the email which is in relation to the responsibilities of Child Welfare Committee and support person falling under the purview of POCSO Act and rules. To all the Child Welfare Committee seeking their comments on the in view of above, if agreed, we may forward these two points. Same so that the same may be conveyed to the Govit, Council for apprising the Honorable Court, alongside and file for perusal and approval P. Accordingly, a draft to this effect is prepared and placed. The instant matter on this file relates to putting in place and expected timelines in our O completion of selection process of three chairpersons in child welfare committees. The file seeking approval for publication of advertisement for selection of three chairpersons is under submission to the competent authority and same is likely to be approved within two to three days, completed as per following timelines. Thus, it is as that the entire selection process is expected to be publication of advertisement and calling of applications 12 days WEFO4, the 9th of May 2019. 1617.09.2019. Scrutiny of applications 10 days WEF the 16th of September 2019. The 27th of September 2019. Selection process 12 days WEF the 30th of September 2019. The 10th of November 2019. Issuance of notification 3RD week of October 2019. Appointment of chairpersons 4th week of October 2019. Be conveyed to Shish, Rahul Mera Sr., Standing Council, GNCTD4. If agreed and approved, the above mentioned timelines may. Information regarding providing honorarium of ours. Two locks each to the amicus. Curiae. Ours. Two locks each to the amicus curiae by the Delhi government is. The matter on this file relates to payment of honorarium of. Mentioned in the Honorable High Court of Delhi order dated. The 23rd of May 2019. May see para 10 of the court order placed at PG. No. 8C. In this regard, it is asked that the above stated matter was put up. In the main court matter file on the 22nd of July 2019 and the same was sent to. Litigation branch for examination and further processing. Copy of the note sheet placed at PG. No. 13. C. The 26th of July 2019 from litigation branch from which it is observed that the it is further as that in this context a note was put up on.
draft matter to be forwarded to law departments seeking their views in RO. Payment of amicus curiae, namely Ms. Barty Alley and Mr. Anant. Kumar Astana. The file was then finally sent to accounts branch. Through proper channel on the 18th of August 2019, copy of the note sheet is placed at page no. 12th C 14 C. The 28th of August 2019 and this being a serious court matter, the main file was as the next date of hearing in the instant matter was withdrawn from accounts branch on the 26th of August 2019 for want of documents required to be taken to Honble High Court. A part file of this court matter on the issue of payment of ours. Two locks. In view of submissions made above, if agreed, we may create each to amicus curiae, namely Ms. Barty Ali and Mr. Anand Kumar. Astana and send the file to accounts branch for further processing it. Their end and the main file to be kept in this branch in RO. Compliances to be made further. Relevant note sheet from main file and relevant court orders have. Accordingly, a part file is being created wherein copies have been put in place and at the correspondence side, the main file to be kept in branch in RO. Compliances to be made further. May peruse the copy of the letter placed at page no. 227, C230, C. S for perusal and approval P. Received from Chairperson, Child Welfare Committee 2, 8, XN. X in response to this office letter dated the 29th of August 2019 in respective. Providing comments required to be forwarded to Govet. Council in. The matter W. P. C. 466, 2016, titled Bhakpan Bachao on Olan versus Union of India and ORS. Of CWC and support persons in cases falling under POCSO Act. In this regard, it is S that on the two points I. E. Responsibilities. Following comments have been received. S. No. Name of the CWC. Comments of Child Welfare Committee. 1. CWC 2. 8. Lot Padnagar and Kalkaji. Chairperson has informed the Directorate of Education, School. Branch Old Secretary of Delhi Bead Circular No. Death. 23-363. SCH. PR. 2018-2151 stated the 29th of March 2019 for non-plan. Admission in classes V2X for the year 2019-20 has taken. Following decision. All the odds of Govet. School under Doe have been directed to consider all the admission cases forwarded by CWC at the school level and to forward the admission cases recommended by other committees to the school branch Doe for timely processing. It has also been informed by the chairperson that as per new rules notified now, schools are bound to admit the child declared child in need of care and protection be the CWC irrespective of age. 2. CWC X goal market. On the issue of support persons it has been informed by CWC that CWCX is assigning all the cases to Hawk Center for Child. Writes Malvia Nagar, Delhi is their experience with other support. Person has not been satisfactory and to further get comments from. Support person for effective implementation. On the issue of responsibilities of CWC, the child welfare. Committee X agrees to most of the points and had further given. Suggestions on following points. 3. The time limit to be extended from 72 hours to 5 days for taking first. Report from support person. 3. B. Report should be fortnightly in place of weekly. 3. C. After three months, monthly report is feasible. 3. D. Report to specifically address health and education of child. 8. CWC is ready to forward letter to DSLSA provided the application for interim compensation is moved by the victim or his, her dependent or the show of the case concerned. 3. CWC X L4. The responsibilities of CWC and support person are agreeable is mentioned in the note but without payment of any expenses to the support person, they are not able to work effectively in multi- Support person should be removed I. E first support person. Appointed by CWC and trial court POCSO court also recognizes those advocates who are appointed by Delhi Commission for Women. DCW as support person in the children's court POCSO court and DCW appointed advocate posted in each POCSO court in Delhi are not having grass root information of the child or its case. In R. O point no. Six need of the child to be shifted from school. It is informed that if the child feels uncomfortable from his per existing School among other children or teaching staff, in such circumstances, the CWC may pass an order of transfer of the child from the school, and the same order to be considered by the DI, Director, Education, Principal of the School Concerned, in R. O. Point no. Aid to find out if the child has received compensation and to write to DSLSA, CWC has informed that writing to DSLSA for interim compensation will be a lengthy process, as DSLSA will appoint advocate who will then move an application before trial court as the compensation is decided by the judge of the Trial court hence, it would be better that CWC may direct its legal service advocate being appointed by DSLSA in each CWC to work on the issue of providing compensation to the child victim. In R. O. Point no. 9. Not to assign more than 10 support persons. It has been informed by CWC that each district child protection officer, DCPO, is the nodal officer of each district and he may maintain a list of support persons and to share copy of list to CWC for bifurcation of assigning of cases. 
The above table, if agreed, we may forward the same to Govit. Council, in view of the comments provided by CWC as mentioned in, for apprising the Honble High Court of Delhi on the next date of hearing I, E the 9th of June 2019, S for perusal and approval P, as received from Child Welfare Committee, May CPG, no, 227C, as per the directions of DD, CPU, the final draft comments, 230C, on the issue of responsibilities of CWC and support persons, is given below for perusal, responsibilities of CWC, the Child Welfare Committee agrees to most of the points in R, O, its responsibilities in cases of POCSO cases, however, CWC had also given few suggestions as mentioned under, point no, three, time limit to be extended from 72 hours to five days for taking first, report from support person, for first two weeks report should be weekly and then fortnightly, for a month and then after three months, report to specifically address health and education of child, point no, six, if the child feels uncomfortable from his or her existing school, among other children or teaching staff, in such circumstances the CWC may pass an order of transfer of the child from the school in the same order to be considered by the DI, Director, Education, Principal of the School Concerned. Point no. 8. CWC is ready to forward letter to DSLSA provided the application for interim compensation is moved by the victim or his or her dependent or the show of the case concerned. CWC has informed that writing to DSLSA for interim Compensation will be a lengthy process as DSLSA will appoint advocate who will then move an application before trial court as the compensation is decided by the judge of the trial court hence it would be better that CWC may direct its legal service advocate being appointed by DSLSA and each CWC to work on the issue of providing compensation to the child victim. Point no. 9. It has been informed by CWC that each district child protection officer DCPO is the nodal officer of each district and he may Maintain a list of support persons and to share copy of list to CWC for bifurcation of assigning of cases and it is also suggested that Delhi Commission for Protection of Child Rights DCPCR could also provide a list of support persons to all the CWC. Support person, multi-support persons should not be allowed i.e. first support. First support person appointed by CWC and trial court POCSO. Court also recognizes those advocates who are appointed by Delhi Commission for Women DCW as support person in the children's. Court POCSO court and DCW appointed advocate posted in each. POCSO court and Delhi are not having grassroot information of the child or its case. Support persons should be given some payment as without it. They will not be able to work effectively. The legal service advocate present in CWC could also help in facilitating the matter with DSLSA on the directions of concerned. CWC in respect of compensation, interim relief to be given to the victims falling under POCSO Act for filing the same in the Honble High Court of Delhi. Accordingly, if agreed, we may forward this information to Govit. Council, a draft forwarding letter is prepared along with enclosure comments to be sent to the O.O. Govit. Council, at page no. 178 C. 179 C. In the matter CMAPPL. No. 35,002-2018 Sin. May peruse the copy of court order dated the 23rd of August 2019 placed. W. P. C. R. L. 2069-2005 titled Save the Childhood Foundation vs. UOI. And ORS. The next date in the instant matter is the 20th of September 2019. That this matter will be disposed of finally on the next date of hearing. The Honble Court on the last date of hearing has mentioned, i.e., the 20th of September 2019. In this connection, a telephonic message was received yesterday from O. O. Senior, Standing Counsel, GNCTD2. Provide comments on the work done by the department in this matter. We have already provided our comments to O. O. Divisional. In this regard, it is asked that in connection with this court matter, Commissioner, Revenue Dept, and Delhi Commission for Protection of Child Rights DCPCR after receiving correspondences from their office PG. No. 96 C and 172 C. Same comments to the O. O. Senior. Standing Council GNCTD4. In view of above, if agreed and approved, we may forward the apprising the Honble Court and placed in file for perusal and approval. Accordingly, a draft letter along with enclosures is prepared. SP F 611065 W. PC 3269-2014 DD CPU DWCD 2017 PT File I 19N to Delhi Development Authority in response to their letter dated. As per the directions given by AD CPU, a letter is to be sent. The 7th of May 2019, May CPG. No. 115 C intimating them to provide this. Department the plot measuring 940 SQM available in Sec 28 Brahini. For the purpose of construction of an observation home for boys. Along with a juvenile justice board. Page no. 118. C for perusal and approval. Accordingly, a draft to this effect is prepared and placed it. May peruse the puck placed at page no. 50. C60. C received from. Superintendent CHGI. Nirmal Chaya complex in the matter W. 
P. C. R. L. 2454-2019's title Rinka Devi and ANR versus State and Ors. Pending. Before the Honble High Court of Delhi. Matter on the 9th of May 2019 has appointed Chish. Arvind Jain is amicus curiae. In this regard, it is asked that the Honble Court while hearing the in the matter and permitted him to visit the institution, Nirmal Chaya, in order to assist the court in formulating guidelines for securing the rights, interests, and welfare of minors who are victims in alleged criminal offenses in relation to their care and protection. I, the pregnant victim, shall be taken for regular checkups to the the court had directed the official respondents as under head of depth, gynecology and obstetrics, DDU Hospital. E, the Nirmal Chaya shelter home shall immediately engage services of an experienced full-time nurse, nurses, to ensure that Requisite medical assistance is provided to the pregnant girl and others similarly situated as her round the clock. E, the GNCT of Delhi shall ensure that the special diet, as may be, prescribed by an expert dietitian, as well as necessities such as proper and clean clothes, requirements for the maintenance of proper hygiene, medicines, recommended physical exercise, and facilities for counseling, meditation are provided to the pregnant. Minors housed in the Nirmal Chaya shelter home, as well as other homes charged with the statutory responsibility of affording care and protection to minor children. Complex had requested to provide below mentioned staff to comply. It is further s here that suft CHGI Nirmal Chaya, with the directions of Honble High Court dated the 9th of May 2019. One, an experienced full-time nurse, nurses for providing requisite medical assistance to the pregnant girl and other similarly situated as her round the clock. Two, an expert dietitian for ensuring balanced diet, special diet. Three, round the clock caretakers for ensuring maintenance of proper hygiene and providing recommended physical exercises to the pregnant minors housed in CHG. The posting of staff on emergent basis to admin branch is the same. In view of above, if agreed, we may forward the matter. Pertains to them. Accordingly, a draft U. O is prepared and placed in. File for perusal and approval P. The next date in the instant matter is the 24th of September 2019. May peruse the copy of the email along with enclosures placed at page no. Underscore C to underscore C with remarks of the worthy director. WCD in relation to the status regarding procurement of Android. Tablet, mobile phone with 4 grams connectivity to be provided in all the 10. Child Welfare Committees. Honvo Court was apprised that all the CWCs have web cameras. In this regard, it is asked that on the last date of hearing the. Along with internet facility for the purpose of FRS. Information in relation to availability of web camera and hi. Today, after receipt of above mentioned puck afresh. Speed internet was sewed from O souped. DDO respective child. Welfare Committees wherein information received from 3 souped. Slash. DDoS is given under. One camera is already working and the other one will be installed today. A letter has been sent to MTNL for providing high-speed internet, which will be done by tomorrow. 2. Chish. Praveen Kumar. CWC 3. Sewa Kudir. V. Avantika. And X. Alapur. In all the three CWCs, O2 web cameras have been installed in high. Speed internet connection is functional. 3. Chish. Purple. CWC B. Web camera is installed and internet is also properly working. Availability of web cameras and internet connection is still awaited. Information from rest of the souped DDOs in respective facility of web cameras and internet for uploading of photographs of. It is also s here that since the CWCs are already using the children on FRS then the need of Android tablet mobile phone for the same purpose is not properly justified. Sub proposal regarding providing Android tablet mobile phone in all the 10 child welfare committees. Ref W P C R L 1560 2017 titled Sodden Helder versus the state NCT of Delhi and Ors. Tablet mobile phone in all the 10 child welfare committees is per. The matter on this file relates to providing Android. The directions of the Honble High Court of Delhi contained in the order dated the 23rd of August 2019. PG, no, 177 C. While hearing the above mentioned court matter on the 23rd of August 2019 had. In this regard, it is asked that the Honble High Court of Delhi directed to provide an Android tablet mobile phone with 4G connectivity in all the 10 child welfare committees to overcome the problem of internet. The file was moved to accounts branch on this matter and is for the comments of accounts branch at page 22 and a proposal in this regard is required specifying the technical specifications estimated cost to be forwarded to finance department towards according approval for procurement of Android tablet mobile phone with 4G connection may send the file to I T branch for providing technical in view of the comments of the accounts branch if agreed we specifications estimated cost etc in our own procurement of 10 Android tablet mobile phones with 4G connection to be provided in all the 10 child welfare committees for complying the directions of Honble High Court of Delhi. Android tablet mobile phone in all the 10 child welfare. S for perusal and approval P. Proposal regarding providing committees. Ref W. P. C. R. L. 1560 2017 titled Sodden Helder versus the state NCT of Delhi and Ors. Tablet mobile phone in all the 10 child welfare committees is per. The matter on this file relates to providing Android. 
the directions of the Honble High Court of Delhi contained in the order dated the 23rd of August 2019, PG, no, 177C, while hearing the above mentioned court matter on the 23rd of August 2019 had. In this regard, it is asked that the Honble High Court of Delhi directed to provide an Android tablet mobile phone with 4G connectivity in all the 10 child welfare committees to overcome the problem of internet. The file was moved to accounts branch on this matter and is for the comments of accounts branch at page 22 and a proposal in this regard is required specifying the technical specifications estimated cost to be forwarded to finance department for according approval for procurement of Android tablet mobile phone with 4G connection. It is to further inform that some smart tabs are available between approximately ours 7,999 to ours 15,499 on internet websites. Details of tabs are placed opposite it. C. It is also informed that 4G internet cost for three months is approximately ours. 500. Ours. 2000. P. A. The tablet by Samsung has 8 megapixel cameras, which would be able to take clear picture for facilitating face recognition. The cost of the same is ours. 11,990. Hence, 10 tablets. And 4G internet connection as mentioned above will cost around ours. 119,900 for tablets and ours. 20,000 for 4G connection. Finance. Department may concurrence the proposal for ours. 139,904. Tablets and 4G connection. May peruse the copy of vetted affidavit received back from OO. Standing counsel in response to this office email dated the 10th of April 2019. Through which draft affidavit was sent for his perusal. Dully signed affidavit for onward submission before the Honble. The standing counsel has desired to send five copies of the High Court of Delhi. File for perusal, approval and signature of worthy director WCD. The two sets of affidavit and original are placed alongside in. May peruse the letter along with enclosures placed at page no. Underscore C. Underscore C received from PR. Secretary, Deft, of Law, Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD in the matter Suomoto writ petition. Criminal, no. 1-2019 pending before the Honble Supreme Court of India on the issue of alarming rise in the number of reported child rape incidents. Forwarded the copy of court orders dated the 25th of July 2019 and the 10th of January 2019. PR, Secretary, Law, Justice, and L, that through his letter had passed by the Honble Apex Court in the aforementioned court. Matter along with D, O letter dated the 9th of May 2019 of Secretary, Ministry of Law and Justice, Dept of Justice, GOI regarding formulation of a scheme for setting up a fast track special courts for expeditious trial and disposal of rape and POCSO Act pending cases. States and Registrar Generals of all high courts have been directed. As per the order of Honble Apex Court dated the 10th of January 2019, the to file affidavits on or before the 11th of July 2019 including following information 1 number of districts in the state 2 number of districts in which POCSO cases are more than 100 3 number of districts where POCSO cases are more than 200 or multiples of 200 ie 400 600 800 etc 4 number of exclusive POCSO courts already functioning if any 5 number of POCSO courts actually notified 6 Number of special public prosecutors, if any, exclusively assigned for POCSO courts. GNCTD has requested to provide the information pertaining to this. In this connection, PR, Secretary, Law, Justice, and L. A. Department in order to enable them to file the compliance affidavit in the Honble Apex Court. It is also S here that another D. O letter dated 18.09.2019 inches. The same court matter is received from Secretary, Ministry of WCD. GOI with request to comply with the directions of the Honble. Supreme Court of India, PG, no, 614, C, information pertaining to this department to depth, of law of justice, in view of above, if agreed and approved, we may provide the, NL, A, G, N, C, T, D, to enable them file the compliance affidavit, accordingly, a draft to this effect is prepared and placed alongside in, file for perusal and approval, P, may peruse the letter along with enclosures placed at page no, 672, C, 678, C, received from district officer, N, W, 2, D, W, C, D, which, Regarding ex party decision given by the inquiry committee in the matter of XCWC members, namely Ms. Honorata Vishisht and Dr. Party Meta, on the last date of hearing, i.e., the 19th of August 2019, the final report of the. In this regard, it is asked that as instructed by the Govet Council, inquiry committee is required so that the same could be apprised. Before the Honble High Court, as the earlier report asked by the committee was not final, members were given opportunities to appear before the inquiry. In this connection, it is informed that both the XCWC committee to present their matter but both of them refused to take part in the inquiry process. Therefore, the inquiry committee could not proceed further with its inquiry in this matter. Placed at page no. 677C has taken a view that both the petitioners, the department in view of the report of the committee copy, have nothing to say against the respondent in this matter as they did. 
Not turn up to take part in the inquiry process despite being given sufficient opportunities. Fact for apprising the same to the Honble High Court. The next date. Thus, if approved, the Govet. Council may be briefed with this. Appearing in the instant matter is the 22nd of October 2019. May peruse the copy of email meeting notice received from OO. S for perusal and approval P. Standing Council GNCTD regarding meeting to be held today at 5 p.m. in the Chamber No. 422, Lawyers Chamber Block I, Delhi High. Court to discuss the issues and compliance pertaining to W. P.C. 1480 2015, 1481 2015, and 1482 2015 titled Court on its own motion versus Union of India and ORS. The undersigned inquired about this matter from OO Chief Probation. In this regard, it is asked that as per the directions of AD, CPU, Officer, Dept of Social Welfare, GNCTD, wherein it was informed by the CPO himself that last year an affidavit has been filed by the Dept of Social Welfare indicating various points. The affidavit S included following points. Reason behind not extending the benefit of the said scheme to those who does not belong to Delhi. Reason behind not extending the benefit to people, spouse of the under trial or the convict, his aged or infirm parents or any other person who may have been maintained under his care like a handicapped relative or a foster child other than children. Last meeting held at DSLSA, it was also suggested to transfer this. In addition to this, it was also informed by CPO that in the scheme, scheme of financial assistance, education and welfare of children of incarcerated parents to home department, F. 61, 1145, fee of standing counsel, DD, CPU, DWCD, 2018 minus 19. S for perusal and information, P. 25 N and 157 C 174 C received from Dept of Law Justice N may peruse the two PUCs placed at page No 131 C 156 C Legislative Affairs GNCTD. The details of both the PUCs are given under Puck I from Dept of Law Justice and Legislative Affairs GNCTD is the first Puck placed at page No 131 C 156 C received regarding verifying the 13 bills for payment of professional charges. To Mr. Mrs. Permega Second Rashmi Malhotra, Advocate Honble Supreme Court of India, W. P. C. R. L. No. 102 2007 titled Exploitation of Children in the. In this regard, it is S that the advocate has appeared in. Orphanage of Tamil Nadu versus UOI and ORS. And SMW C. R. L. No. 3 2015. In W. P. C. No. 3 2015. In Prajwala letter dated the 18th of February 2015. Videos of. Sexual Violence and Recommendations for Department of WCD, GNCTD, Puck 2, received from Dept of Law Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD. The second Puck placed at page No. 157, C 174, C is the letter, which is regarding verifying 07 bills for payment of professional charges to Mr. Mrs. Permega Second Rashmi Malhotra, Advocate Honble, Supreme Court of India, CRL, No. 102 2007, titled Exploitation of Children in the Orphanage. In this regard, it is S that the advocate has appeared in W. P. of Tamil Nadu versus UOI and ORS and SMW, CRL, No. 3 2015 Simprajwala. Letter dated the 18th of February 2015. Videos of sexual violence and recommendations for Department of WCD, GNCTD. Approve the bills and original may be returned back to Dept. of Law. In view of the both the PUCs mentioned above, if agreed in. Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD with a covering letter. Alongside and file for perusal, approval and signature P. Accordingly, a draft to this effect is prepared and placed. As per the directions given at pre-page, in continuation to this office. Letter dated the 18th of September 2019, a draft letter is prepared requesting DDA to conduct a joint inspection of the available 940 SQM land in Sec 28. Rahini for the purpose of child care institution. Land in the area of Karkarduma for construction of an observation. Through this letter, it has also been requested to provide a Home for boys as there are three juvenile justice boards already functional in that area from Vishwas Nagar while the OHBs are located at Sewa Kudir Complex and Delegate, placed alongside and file. S for perusal and approval of above mentioned draft letter. May peruse the copy of the email along with enclosures placed at page no. 102, C 106, C received from OO Supt. CHG, Nirmal. Chaya, which is regarding the visit report of Shish. Arving Jane, Amicus Curiae appointed in the matter W. P. C. R. L. 2454-2019's titled, Rekha Devi vs. State, NCT of Delhi, and ORS. Along with the remarks of the director, WCD directing action to be taken on point no. 4, 7, and 8 of the said report. It is also S here that the Honble Court on the last date of hearing, i.e., the 14th of October 2019, had directed Shish, Rahul Mera Sr., standing, counsel, GNCTD to file a response, if any, within a period of 10 days on the interim report of LD, Amicus Curiae, court order placed. At page no. 107 C. Response of LD. Amicus Curiae has been received from Supt. 
In this connection, a compliance report on the preliminary Children Home for Girls Normal Chaya Complex, which is placed at page no 109 C 111 C. Respect to the provision of separate room for mother and child after. In respect of point no four of the report of Amicus Curiae with delivery in order to avoid any infection or complication, it has been informed by the suit that there is already a provision in place for separate room for newborn child and mother after delivery, but in the case referred by Amicus Curiae, the in-house doctor had advised that the child should be kept in non-AC room for a few days due to medical reasons. The Amicus Curiae in his report has been kept in children home for in relation to point no. Six, it is state that the girl mentioned by girls by the orders of Rahini Court and the visiting council Ms. Zenib from DSLSA had moved an application in the concerned court for her restoration which is pending in court for issuance of orders for the same services available for the inmates in the institution they are also with regard to point no seven it is estimated besides the in-house referred to govet hospitals and ihbas for ensuring that they are given proper treatment and care as short stay home for women is concerned the women housed in relation to point no eight of the report of amicus curiae is far they are basically destitute homeless having mental adjustment problems or even run away from their home due to domestic violence etc it is the prime duty of the superintendent concerned to make efforts for identification of their native place and send them back to their native states after having counseling through mental health units set up in the complex were previously transferred to halfway homes run by department with regards to females who are suffering from mental illness of social welfare gnctd however at present the strength is full in the said institution hence the mentally ill patients are living in short stay home these females are being regularly given treatment through ihbas and if required get them admitted after seeking court order has been posted in short stay home for taking care of the basic it is also informed that one paramedic staff ie female nurse medical issues related to women minor ailments are treated from the government dispensary within the complex and are also referred to pt dean de alapadie hospital for treatment tests medical examination etc chaya complex to attend the emergencies related to women in previously cat ambulance was situated in the normal children however recently due to some strike of workers of cat ambulance the services became irregular children home for girls are made involved in various activities in addition to above it is also added here that the inmates of which includes classes of music stitching and tailoring computer art and craft non-formal education beauty culture the inmates are also provided football coaching by trained coaches coming from delhi football academy send the above status to the standing council gnctd for apprising in view of the submissions made above if approved we may the honorable court accordingly a draft to this effect is prepared and placed in file at page no 108 c 109 c for perusal and approval the next date of hearing in the instant matter is the 11th of january 2019 as per directions at paris 60 on pre page the undersigned today met the chief probation officer dept of social welfare in his office wherein he informed that as per the discussions held in the meetings at dslsa and chamber of shish rahul mera standing council gnctd it has been decided that the scheme of financial assistance education and welfare of children of incarcerated parents along with with another scheme of social welfare dept is to be transferred to home department gnctd for effective implementation and wide coverage of the scheme it is also informed that file in this connection will also be moved for approval of competent authority from oo chief probation officer dsw so that the schemes are transferred to home department s for ipp the joint inspection report of the visit conducted by p m s c p s n officials from delhi development authority of the land at sec 28 rahini is placed at page no 121 c the court order dated the 21st of october 2019 and the instant matter is placed at page no 122 c 123 c for perusal points about supplying a detailed plan for accommodation of 11 in this regard it is asked that the court order dated the 21st of october 2019 cwc's 6 jjbs and 21 gubit run ccis the department is already running these offices institutions from various places and the requirement is actually of constructing a child care institution observation home for boys in the areas of rohini and karkarduma respectively odd cpu a letter is required to be sent to dda informing about the in this connection as discussed along with ad cpu in the o requirements of the department accordingly a draft address to die director il dda is prepared and placed alongside in file for perusal and approval p the matter on this file relates to discussion on the final guidelines for state and district inspection committees received from shish anant kumar astana and ms bardi ali a mic i curia in the matter w p c 11187 2017 titled court on its own motion versus gnctd in ors DD CPU a meeting is required to be fixed with both the MIC in this regard as discussed along with AD CPU in the OO 
Interior to have a final round of discussion on the guidelines for state and district inspection committees so that the same could be apprised. Before the Honorable Court on the next date of hearing I, see the 20th of November 2019, time for the proposed meeting with the Mike I Curie so that a formal. In view of above, it is requested to provide a suitable date in. Meeting notice could be issued for the same purpose. May peruse the copy of email dated the 9th of July 2019 received from S for perusal P. Additional standing counsel, GNCTD informing that the matter was listed for hearing on the 9th of June 2019 and was subsequently adjourned to the 24th of September 2019 by the Honorable Court, 133, prior to last date of hearing, i.e., the 9th of June 2019, as desired by the COVID counsel, the department has already provided its comments on the note of the petitioner in relation to the responsibilities of the Child Welfare Committees and Support Person falling under the purview of POCSO Act and rules to enable the council to apprise the Honorable Court accordingly, 134. The matter was again heard by the Honorable Court on the 24th of September 2019. May see court order placed at page no. 237 C and following orders were passed. We have heard counsels for both the parties at length. The 12th of December 2019 for final hearing. List in the category of after notice misc. Matters on 135. In this regard, as discussed, we may confirm from OO. Additional standing counsel whether any action is pending on the part of this department in continuation to the comments already provided to him. Accordingly, an email has been sent to OO. Additional standing counsel for the same. Copy of email placed alongside and file for perusal. Transfer of scheme titled Financial Sustenance, Education and Welfare of Children of Incarcerated Parents 2014. Titled Financial Sustenance, Education and Welfare of Children of. The matter on this file relates to transferring of the scheme. Incarcerated Parents 2014, notified by Department of Women and Child Development, GNCTD to Department of Home, GNCTD. Stated scheme are handled by this department, whereas the, in this regard, it is asked that the budget provisions for the above. Department of Social Welfare, GNCTD is implementing this scheme, along with its one another scheme, namely, the Delhi Rehabilitation, Grant to Release Prisoners Rules 2012. Welfare, GNCTD has already moved a proposal for transferring both. In this connection, it is informed that Department of Social, the above mentioned schemes which are implemented by them, copy of the proposal note is placed at page no. Underscore to underscore for kind. Reference. Add DSLSA, the 22nd of October 2019 and the 30th of October 2019 and O, O Standing Council. It is also added here that in the meetings held on the 18th of October 2019, GNCTD, it has already been deliberated upon by the participants that for effective implementation and wide coverage of beneficiaries both, these schemes could be transferred to Home Department, GNCTD. Account head no. 22 trillion 350 billion 210 million 250 thousand 42 making budgetary allocation for it is to also submit here that this department has opened an implementation of the scheme titled Financial Sustenance, Education and Welfare of Children of Incarcerated Parents, 2014, wherein budget on yearly basis is provided to Department of Social Welfare, GNCTD, for implementing the scheme. Already moved by Department of Social Welfare for transferring both. Thus, in view of the above facts and in our the proposal, the schemes implemented by them to Home Department, GNCTD, Financial Sustenance, Education and Welfare of Children of Incarcerated Parents 2014 and the Delhi Rehabilitation Grant to Release Prisoners Rules 2012, if agreed, we may also request the competent authority for according approval on transferring of budgetary provisions made by this department to Home Department, GNCTD, ex post facto approval towards purchasing of 10 nos of Samsung, S for perusal P, 8295N model Android tablet amounting to ours, 1, 24,400, approval towards purchasing of 10 nos of Samsung 8295N model. The matter on this file relates to according ex post facto. Android tablet which has been distributed among 10 child welfare. Committees is per the orders of the Honorable High Court of Delhi. Dated the 23rd of August 2019. Branch on the above subject wherein it was informed that a proposal. In this regard, it is asked that earlier the file was sent to accounts. To be put up for finance department along with full justification in RO. Buying of Android tablet, its technical specifications, etc. Matter and for ensuring compliance of the directions of the Honorable. It is also s here that considering the urgency of the court court before the 27th of september 2019 matter was next fixed for hearing on the 27th of september 2019 following advice was received from accounts branch bidding process for amount for ours 1 24,400 cost of total 10. samsung tablets is a long process and will require 10 days time for procurement of tablets and o m of finance department need no f the 20th of august 2017 ac js FINA, 718 to 724 DT, the 24th of August 2017 has been given by accounts branch. Wherein as prepare E, it is stated that if DEPT face any problem for procurement of items available on GEM, the standard method of procurement as per rule 155 of GFR 2017 may be undertaken. Accounts branch had also advised to constitute a committee to 
Procure tablets from open market. The constitution of the committee is given under 1. Die, Director, CPU. 2. Die, Director, CTV and 3. DDO, all accounts branch. Samsung Tab at T295N amounting to ours. 12,440 each, including the purchase committee recommended purchase of 10 nos of GST and delivery charges from MS Solution Venture G minus 162nd first. Floor, Sector 16, Rahini, Delhi 89. The 26th of September 2019, page no. 212C. The total amount incurred on. The order for purchasing the Samsung tablet was placed on. Purchasing 10 nos of Samsung tablet was ours. 12,440 asterisk 10 equals ours. 1, 24,400 copy of bill placed at page no. 213, C, 214C. The Android tablets have already been distributed among all the 10. Child Welfare Committees. Director, WCD for according ex post facto approval towards. In view of above, if agreed, we may send the file to worthy. Purchase of 10 nos of Samsung tablet amounting tours. 1, 24,400. Rupees 1 lakh 24,400 only. May peruse the court order dated the 31st of July 2019 downloaded from. S for perusal and approval P. Website of High Court of Delhi wherein Honble Court has granted. Eight weeks time to file the counter affidavit to the respondents. The next date of hearing in the instant matter is the 20th of November 2019. 147 C. It has been observed that the petition is regarding. As per the prayers made in the petition, page no. 145 C. Implementation of RTE Act 2009 in the prayer at SL. No. E. Pertains to this department which speaks about making proper. Infrastructure like shelter homes, rehabilitation center, orphanage, women and children protection center in order to ensure that children and women cannot be bullied by the unwanted and unsocial elements and criminals. Homes, institutions being run for women had been obtained from the prayer made at SL. No. E. In the petition a list of WEC branch DWCD copy placed at page no. 165C, 167C. In addition to this a list of govet run child care institutions under this department is also placed at page no. Underscore C to underscore C for perusal. Prayers made in the petition if agreed and approved, we may forward. In view of the submissions made above and in light of the the details of homes, institutions for women and children to respondent no. 6I, E Director, State Project, Office of the UE. Mission, Lucknow Road, Delhi with a request to watch the interest of this department is most of the prayers made in the petition pertains to them. Alongside and file for perusal and approval P. Accordingly, a draft forwarding letter is prepared and placed. May peruse the puck along with order dated the 25th of July 2019 passed by the Honorable Supreme Court of India placed at page no. 20 C 25 C. Received from Principal Secretary, Law of Justice and L. A. Dept. of Law of Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD, which is in the matter. Suo Moto Writ Petition, CRL. No. 1 2019 before the Honorable Supreme Court of India regarding alarming rise in the number of reported child rape incidents. Marked as A, B, and C in the court order dated the 25th of July 2019 demands. As directed by worthy director, WCD on the puck para. Action and letters have to be sent to law department, secretary. Education, Delhi Metro, Delhi Transport Corporation and Adel. Chief secretary, home. File at page no. 25C, 26C and 27C for perusal and approval P. Accordingly, three draft letters have been prepared and placed in. Sub payment of honorarium of ours. Two locks each to both the amicus. Curia appointed by the Honorable High Court of Delhi and W. P. C. 11,187-2017's titled court on its motion versus GNCTD in ORS. ORS. Two locks each to both the amicus curiae appointed by the Honorable. The matter on this file relates to payment of honorarium of High Court of Delhi and W. P. C. 11,187-2017's titled court on its motion versus GNCTD in ORS is evident from Paris 65 at page 14 N. Received in this unit on the query raised by worthy director. This file originally belongs to litigation branch and was WCD, we're in status about finalization of guidelines for inspection. Committees have been sought para 97 at page no. 2221 N. Director, WCD, was provided wherein it was informed that on 19th. In this regard, it is asked that the information is sought by Worthy. November 2019, a meeting with Amicus Curiae was held in each. And every pair of the draft guidelines were discussed. The draft guidelines as discussed on the 19th of November 2019 are also placed in file at page 93 C to 107 C. Post discussion, as above, a fair draft will be given soon by Amicus Delhi on the 20th of November 2019 when the matter was listed. Thus, as per above, the same was being apprised to the Honorable High Court of stated facts. Finalization of guidelines will be done as draft received from Amicus. Agreed, the file may be returned back to litigation branch so that the. It is important to mention here that, in the meanwhile, if original proposal of payment of honorarium of ours, two locks each two, both the Amicus Curiae could be processed with finance. Department, S for perusal and approval P. 
sub filing of application for early hearing in the matter W. Feed C. 7342017's titled Light Life Freedom vs. GNCTD pending before the Honble High Court of Delhi. COVID. Counsel in the Honble High Court of Delhi seeking an early. The matter on this file relates to filing of application through hearing on the court matter mentioned above. Freedom vs. GNCTD is pending before the Honble High Court of in this regard. It is S that W. PC 7342017's titled Light Life. Delhi since 2017 and on most of the dates of hearing adjournment has been sought by the petitioner citing various grounds. On the last two dates also i.e. the 30th of August 2019 and the 13th of September 2019 adjournment was sought by the counsel for the petitioner. Organization has not been renewed on receipt of various non. It is important to mention here that the license of the satisfactory inspection reports from Child Welfare Committee. District Officer, the matter is sub judice and the CCI is still housing the children, boys and girls in the same premises. It would be also worthwhile to mention here that whenever the department has initiated any action for cancellation of registration and shifting of children, either the NGO files a CMAPPL in W. PC 7342017s to take stay or does not appear before the Honble Court seeks adjournment. Simply adjourned the matter for the 2nd of December 2020. This long date will lead on the last date of hearing, i.e., the 13th of September 2019, the Honble Court, to delay the process of cancellation of registration and shifting of children from NGO in the best interest of children. Director in one of the meetings wherein he had instructed to seek in. The above mentioned matter was also pointed out by Worthy. Early hearing in the instant matter so that the children residing in the institution could be shifted from the keeping and view their best. Interest in the process of cancellation of registration can also be completed. Send the file to litigation branch for doing the needful so that in. In view of the submissions made above, if agreed we may. Early hearing in the instant matter is provided by the Honble High. Court of Delhi. May peruse the bill placed at page no. 93, C received back from OO. S for perusal and approval P. COVID. Counsel, Ms. Propsahe Kaur. The bill has been raised by the counsel towards her appearance in case no. W. P. C. 2600-2017. Title Shish. Salat Chant Jain vs. Govit. Of NCT of Delhi and ANR. Branch at pre-page para 94. The bill was returned to Ms. Propsahe. In this regard, it is S that as per the comments of accounts. Kaur for providing copy of BTF issued towards her. The said bill is... Now received back again, which has been verified by Shish. Ramesh. Singh, Standing Council, Civil, GNCTD, May see page no. 93, C, as. BTF is not issued in the name of Ms. Propsahe Kaur. Court of Delhi order dated the 12th of December 2013 passed in the matter W. P. It is also important to submit here that as per Humble High. CRL. 1549-2009 title court on its own motion versus state copy. Placed in file at page no. 95, C, 97, C, the cases where the BTFs have not been issued by the law department, the payment shall be made by these departments on the certification of the concerned. Standing counsel on the bills. Accounts branch for clearance of the verified bill received back from. Thus, in view of above, if agreed, the file may be res to. Oh, oh, Ms. Propsahe Court, Govit. Counsel, no. 85C passed by the Honble High Court of Delhi in the matter. May peruse the court order dated the 27th of August 2019 placed at page. CRL, Rev. P. 283-2016 titled Delhi State Legal Services Authority versus. State and ORS, a communication was sent from this office to the concerned child. In this regard, it is S that in connection with this court matter. Welfare Committee IE, CWC2, Lodge Padnagar through which court? Order dated 10.04.20109 was forwarded for doing the needful, if any. And to apprise the Honble Court accordingly before the next date of. Hearing being the 27th of August 2019, may see page no. 26C, has granted some more time to LD. Apt to place on record the status. On the last date of hearing IE. The 27th of August 2019, the Honble Court. Report in terms of the last order dated the 4th of October 2019. S for perusal and information P. 229, C to 231, C received from Adel. Secretary, Law of Justice in LA. May peruse the puck along with enclosures placed at page no. Theft of Law of Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCT of Delhi. Has forwarded the copy of letter dated the 23rd of September 2019 of Registrar Delhi. Through the above mentioned letter Adel. Sessi, Law Dept. High Court along with copy of extract of the minutes of the meeting. Of Honble, the Information Technology Committee held on 28th, August 2019 at Larger Conference Room, Delhi High Court. Point 3 of Agenda, any other matter of the extract of the minutes of the letter of battle, Sessi, Law Dept, draws attention towards the meeting dated the 28th of August 2019, which mentioned is under Committee, District Court, informs the committee that a request is Mr. V. K. Bansal, Chairman, Centralized Computer, pending before Govit, event of Delhi since long for allocation of Funds for installation of studio-based video conferencing systems in Juvenile Justice Boards and Observation Homes set up by Delhi Government. 
Funds as mentioned above is pending in this unit for establishment of. In this regard, it is s that no proposal regarding allocation of video-based conferencing systems in JJBs and observing homes, but it is important to mention here that the department has already issued necessary directions to the concerned suit DDO who to establish video conferencing systems in their respective JJBs observation homes PG no 209 C and 222 C and the same is under process S for perusal and further directions P no 146 C to 147 C passed by the Honble High Court of Delhi in the may peruse the court order dated the 12th of May 2019 placed at page matter Rekha Devi and ANR versus state NCT of Delhi and ORS Order of competent authority in our or release of young lady, namely Ms. As per the directions of Honble Court dated the 12th of May 2019, the Simran from Nirmal Chaya complex has to be placed on record on the next date of hearing, the 12th of May 2019, a copy of proposed guidelines prepared by LD. Amicus. In this regard, it is S here that on the last date of hearing, i.e., curiae for care and protection of minor victims housed in state run shelter homes were handed over to department for examination. The same is placed at page no. 136 C to 145 C and file for perusal. On the 12th of May 2019 during the court proceedings a draft status report is in view of the last court order and as per the discussions held prepared and placed alongside and file at page 148 C to 151 C for perusal and approval P in the matter WP 13118 2019 titled Dr. K. C. Bermani and Ors versus may peruse copy of petition placed at page no. 1 C 129 C. Department of WCD and ORS listed next for hearing on the 18th of December 2019. The case has been filed by the chairperson, members of the Child Welfare Committee being aggrieved by the transfer posting order. Dated the 12th of May 2019. 106 C 119 C and the prayer of the petition is mentioned at page no. The facts of the case and the grounds are placed at page no. 104 C 105 C for perusal. Didn't pass any stay order and further impressed upon the fact that on the last date of hearing i.e. The 12th of December 2019, the Honble Court, a dialogue be made with the petitioners in order to resolve the issue, and gave the 18th of December 2019 as next date of hearing. Petitioners on the 12th of December 2019, and they attended the meeting under the. Subsequently, a meeting order was issued for all the chairmanship of director WCD GNCTD on the 13th of December 2019. Copy of meeting notice and attendance sheet are placed at page no. 130 C and 132 C. Subsequently, draft status report along with relevant annexures is prepared in. In this regard, it is S that as per directions of DD, CPU, uh, placed alongside and filed for perusal and approval P, received from O, O additional standing counsel, GNCTD informing, may peruse the copy of email placed at page no, 141 C, the directions given by the Honble High Court on the 18th of December 2019 after, hearing both the parties, the office order dated the 12th of May 2019 through which transfer posting. In this regard, it is S that the Honble Court had put stay on, among chairperson, members of CWCs was done. Now the department need to resolve certain issues is till the next date of hearing the chairperson, members who were transferred will have to go back to their initial place of appointment ultimately leading to creating conflicts between them. DD, CPU, comments of the litigation branch may be sought in. As per the discussion held along with AD, CPU, in the OO, order to resolve following issues arising out after the stay on transfer. Orders, there is a complaint in CWCI under sexual harassment of Women at Workplace Act made by one of the members against a male member and now with the stay on transfer order the complainant and the alleged will have to work again together from the same committee copy of the complaint is placed at page no 142 c 147 c and thus the complainant is unable to discharge her duties at her designated workplace there is again now no women member in cwcx alifor the chairperson appointed for cwcx alifor has a conflict of interest as it has been learned that he was closely associated with a ngo in the same district Miscellaneous application is required to be filed in the Honble Court. Accordingly, to resolve above mentioned issues, a uh, seeking an early hearing in the instant matter and also to go into appeal in the double bench against the stay given by the court branch for their comments on the above issues. The next date of, in view of above, if agreed, we may send the file to litigation. Hearing in the instant matter is the 2nd of June 2020. Page no. 238C240. C received from Under Secretary to Govit. Of, may peruse the copy of email along with enclosures placed at. India, Ministry of WCD in relation to W. P. C. 749-2018's titled Speedy Trial of Under Trial Pending Before the Honble Supreme Court of India. Current status of the video conferencing facilities available in the The MWCD through email has requested to provide the Juvenile Justice Boards and Observation Homes on the Enclosed. Perform a latest by the 31st of December 2019. Honmove. 
conferencing facilities in JJB's, OHB's, OHG, and Special Home Place. In this regard, it is asked that the installation of video. If safety is under process and in this connection a state branch, DWCD has also communicated copy placed at page no. 237C with the concern souped DDO to obtain preliminary estimates from PWD at the earliest in order to obtain approval of the same from competent authority for installation of EC facilities, chairmanship of special director along with officials of a state. It is also s here that a meeting was held under the branch and concerned souped DDO in our O installation of video based conferencing facilities. Furthermore, in this connection on the 31st of December 2019 information WRT no of institutions from where preliminary budget estimates have been received in a state branch was also obtained may see note placed at page 242 C MWCD that the installation process of EC facilities in juvenile accordingly in view of above if agreed we may inform justice boards and observation homes is under process and is being taken up on top priority basis as for perusal and approval of DFA placed at page no 243 C Three page following is SWRT to the opinion of litigation branch at. In reference to the comments of SPL, director at para 34 on, para 32 and 33, placed at page no. 1, C to 3, C passed by the Honorable High of Delian. May peruse the copy of the court order dated the 25th of July 2019. The matter W. P. C. 8036-2019's titled Judith Amma vs. GNCT of Delhi. Through Secretary Anors, the present case has been filed by the Ms. Judith Amma, in charge of organization Padre Pio Bhavan, Divya, Karuna Charitable Trust Care occurred, New Delhi after the license of that child care institution was cancelled as per the provisions of Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children Act 2015 by the Department of WCD, GNCT DV order dated the 16th of July 2019. The 25th of July 2019 is also reproduced below for reference. The directions of Honbo High Court V order dated. They have been residing since birth may be traumatic to them. Eight. Undeniably, removing the children from a shelter where, although this court is of the view that CWC would be the appropriate body to take an informed decision, it would be opposite. If the CWC examines the matter regarding the deficiencies and recommends the course to be taken in the interest of the children, the petitioner is directed to appear before the CWC to present its contentions. The CWC shall consider the same and submit a report before this court within a period of two weeks from today. Produce children before the CWC. As stated above, CWC can depute. 9. In the meanwhile, there would be no requirement to a team to carry out the visit to the home and interview the children and to make such further inquiries as considered necessary. The 8th of January 2019 of ICPS unit through which the court order dated. In this regard, it is as that, in response to the email dated, the 25th of July 2019 was forwarded to CWCX for doing the needful as per the directions of Honble Court. The CWC on the very same day passed an order thereby constituting a team which included members from NGO Hawk, mental health expert, child psychologist from IHBAS Hospital, DCP Outer North District, CCI Bal Sayagan, DCPO of DCP UV and sought their report on or before the 8th of September 2019. Original and also through email on ICPS, CPU Dell at Gmail, Kamina. It is also asked that on the 16th of August 2019, the CWC access its report in. Copy to additional standing counsel, ASC, on email id. Sanjoy Chambers at Gmail, Common Irva Mohan at Gmail. Com. The same. Report in hard copies was asked to govet. Council on the 17th of August 2019 being the 19th of August, the next date of hearing. The copy of report of CWC is also placed at page no. 4 C to 26 C. The 14th of January 2020 was given as the next date of hearing. Copy of court. On the 19th of August 2019, the Honble Court did not assemble then. Order placed at page no. 27 C. Dated the 23rd of August 2019, placed at page no. 28C to 29C, the child welfare. It is further asked that, read letter no. CWC, L4, 2019 minus 2360th. Committee has also requested to provide them the copy of writ. Petition in order to know whether they are party, respondent or not is. During the telephonic conversation held with the Govet, Council on, the 16th of August 2019 around 5 p.m. it was informed to them that CWC is. Respondent no. The copy of writ petition is yet to be received from the. O, o additional standing council. The next date of hearing in the instant matter is the 14th of January 2020. As for perusal and further directions in the matter P, placed at page no. 1. C passed by the Honble High of Delhi in the may peruse the copy of the court order dated the 16th of December 2019. Matter W. P. C. 12,843-2019 since CM 52,441-2019's titled Praise Jack. Society versus Union of India and ANR. The order of Honble Court is also reproduced below for reference. On behalf of respondent no. One and Ms. Shobana Takir, advocate on. Issue notice. 
Notice is accepted by Mr. Nikhil Gold, CGSC. Behalf of respondent, no. Two, they pray for and are granted four weeks to file counter affidavit. Rejoinder, if any, be filed within a period of three weeks thereafter. List on the 29th of April, 2020. Shobana Takir, Govet, Council, in the late evening of the 15th of December, 2019. In this regard, it is asked that a message was received from Ms. Wherein she informed that a fresh case filed by Prayas Jack Society is listed for hearing on the 16th of December, 2019 in the Honble High Court of Delhi. Covet. Council to seek time on the 16th of December, 2019 before the Honble High. Accordingly, as the time was too short, it was requested to Court of Delhi in order to let the government file a response to the petition. The department is yet to receive the writ petition. The next date of hearing in the instant matter is the 29th of April, 2020. As for perusal and information P, placed at page no, 1, C to 3, C in the matter W, P, C, R, L, 2551-2019 sin, may peruse the letter along with court order dated the 11th of January, 2019, C, R, L, M, at 3587-2019's titled Terra Home for Boys on Your Trust versus State, and ORS, the court order dated the 11th of January, 2019 is also reproduced below. For reference, Master A, aged about 10 years and Master B, aged about 9. Present writ of habeas corpus had been filed for release of years from the illegal custody of respondent no for biological mother and to hand over their lawful custody to the petitioner a registered children's home trust to whom lawful long-term custody of the aforesaid two minor boys had been granted by the child welfare committee beat orders dated the 30th of january 2019 and the 20th of february 2019 for a period of one year of both the minors to the biological mother for three days only on the the child welfare committee had granted temporary custody occasion of eid however the two minor children were not returned by the biological mother and she was not traceable. Investigation to crime branch and infer was directed to be. On the 12th of September 2019, this court has transferred the registered forthwith. The maternal uncle and parents of the two minors produced the. On the 14th of October 2019, the maternal grandfather as well as missing children before the crime branch. Statements under section 164 CR P. C of both the minor children have already been recorded. Minor children are now in the custody of the petitioner under the learned counsel for the petitioner trust admits that the two Orders of Child Welfare Committee. He, however, prays that certain directions be passed to facilitate recovery of the missing children, whose custody is not returned to the child care institutions in pursuance to the orders passed by the Child Welfare Committee, treated as a representation to be considered by the principal. The directions sought by the petitioner are directed to be Secretary, Department of Women and Child Development, Govet, of NCT of Delhi. The principal secretary is directed to pass a speaking order on the said suggestions within a period of four weeks. 2. N. Department of Women and Child Development, Govet, of NCT of, let a compliance report be filed by the principal secretary, Delhi within a period of six weeks from today. In view of the above, present writ petition and pending application are disposed of. List the matter for compliance on the 13th of January, 2020. Disposed of the matter, but a compliance report is required to be filed. In this regard, it is asked that although the Honble Court has, by the worthy secretary, WCD before the next date of hearing I, E, the 13th of January, 2020, and also a speaking order is to be passed to on the following directions sought by the petitioner. Missing children whose custody is not returned to the child care. Certain directions be passed to facilitate recovery of the institutions in pursuance to the orders passed by the Child Welfare Committee. Care and Protection of Children Act 2015 provides for leave of. In this regard, it is asked that Section 98 of the Juvenile Justice. Absence to a child placed in an institution. The contents of Section 98 are also reproduced below for ready reference. The committee or the board, as the case may be, may permit leave of. 98. Leave of absence to a child placed in an institution. 1. Absence to any child to allow him, on special occasions like examination, marriage of relatives, death of kith or kin or accident or serious illness of parent or any emergency of like nature, under supervision, for a period generally not exceeding seven days in one instance, excluding the time taken in journey, where he is placed, in pursuance of such permission granted under 2. The time during which a child is absent from an institution. This section shall be deemed to be part of the time for which he is liable to be kept in the children's home or special home home or special home, as the case may be, on the leave period. 3. If a child refuses or has failed to return to the children's, being exhausted or permission being revoked or forfeited, the board or committee may, if necessary, cause him to be taken charge of and to be taken back to the concerned home. 3. N. Affairs GOI has also issued an office memorandum dated 31.01.202. In connection with this subject matter, Ministry of Home, which is placed at page no. 4. C to 8. C for perusal. It is also observed. That, in some cases, the child on being granted leave of absence do not return back to the child care institution within the stipulated time period granted by the concerned child welfare committees. Court in the matter W. P. C. R. L. 
2551-2019's titled Terra Home for Boys. Thus, as per the observations and directions of Honville High, Honville Trust vs. State and Ors dated 111.209, all the child care institutions, CCIs coming under the purview of Department of Women and Child Development, GNCT of Delhi may be directed to report all the cases pertaining to missing children in the concerned police station including the cases of those children also whose charge is not handed back over to the concerned CCIs. Court a draft compliance report along with a draft order is prepared. Accordingly, in view of the directions passed by the Honbal and placed in file for perusal and approval, SP, received from Central Administrative Tribunal in the matter, may peruse the petition placed at page no. 1. C. 44. C. O. A. 103,648. 2019 titled Suda Sharma vs. Govit. Of NCT of Delhi. And ORS. In the said court matter there are three respondents given as. Under. 1. GNCTD through the Chief Secretary. Respondent no. 1. 2. Secretary. WCD and SW. GNCTD. 3. Thai. Director. ADMN. DWCD. GNCTD. Respondent no. 2. Respondent no. 3. House mother on contract basis in December 2012 by Dept. Of. In this regard, it is asked that Ms. Suda Sharma was appointed as. WCD, GNCTD. It is pertinent to mention here that Ms. Suda. Sharma was posted at Sanskar Ashram for Girls Dilshad Garden. Delhi and on the intervening night of 1st and the 2nd of December 2018 an. Incident of escape of inmates took place wherein 09, 9 female. Residents managed to escape from the institution. Branch DWCD v order dated the 12th of May 2018, a fact finding inquiry. Subsequently, on the directions of administration, vigilance was assigned to Ms. Kiran Gandhi, district officer, east and north. East, along with Ms. Humber Khalid, asked, director, WEC in a state, and they asked their report on the 18th of December 2019 to the worthy director, WCD, which was marked by the then joint director, admin, WCD, directly to senior, asked, vigilance branch of DWCD, HQ, asked, vigilance branch, DWCD, v file notings dated the 1st of February 2019. Subsequently, draft termination orders were put up by senior, and the same was approved by the then worthy secretary, WCD. Dated the 1st of March 2019 with specific direction as the termination must go. From DD, admin, working on contract basis was terminated via office order dated. Accordingly, the services of Ms. Suda, house mother, the 1st of March 2019 issued under the signatures of DI. Director, admin, branch bearing no, F, 61, 1255W, P, CRL, 2728-2018. In view of above, it is asked that only the court matter file of CPU. DD, CPU, DWCD, 2018 titled Suku Lal Sunar vs. State was involved. In the process till termination of contractual employee namely Ms. Suda Sharma, house mother, may be sent to admin branch DWCD for defending the matter in. If agreed and approved being totally a service matter the file. Honvel Central Administrative Tribunal, NDOH is the 17th of January 2020. The 1st of September 2020 along with enclosure placed at page no. 13, C14, C. S for perusal and approval P. May peruse the U. O letter dated. Received from O. O the worthy chief secretary wherein it has been. Informed that as per copy of news item dated the 1st of September 2020 published. In Rashtriya Sahara, the Honvel Supreme Court of India has issued. Notices to the Delhi Government, Delhi Commission for Protection. Of Child Rights DCPCR and South Delhi Municipal Corporation. SDMC on the petition regarding policy on children's sports. Activities in parks of Delhi. Obtained from the website of Honbal Supreme Court of India, May. In this regard, it is asked that as per the status report of this case. See page no. 11, C pending there are total 11 respondents which. Includes South Delhi Municipal Corporation, SDMC, Delhi. Development Authority, DDA, NCPCR, DCPCR, Delhi Police. Delhi Parks and Garden Society, DP and GS, Defense Colony. Welfare Association, DCWA, Ministry Housing and Urban Affairs. MHUA, Govit. Of NCT of Delhi, GNCTD through Chief Secretary, Ministry of WCD, MWCD, and Ministry of Labor and Employment, Supreme Court of India in SLP C 28795 2019 arising out of the court order dated the 1st of August 2020 passed by the Honbal. Impugned final judgment and order dated the 20th of September 2019 in WPC No. 5021 2018 passed by the Honbal High Court of Delhi titled Rajiv. Surrey versus South Delhi Municipal Corporation, SDMC, and ORS is also placed at page no. 12th C for perusal. Honville High Court of Delhi and W. P. C. No. 5021 2018 is also the final judgment and order dated the 20th of September 2019 passed by the placed at page no. 1 C. 10 C for ready reference. The Honville High Court of Delhi while disposing of the case has stated as under PG. No. 1 C. Second para. Are already developed by the respondents for children. If they can. The respondents shall continue to maintain the parks which 
A lot more play areas for children, they should evolve a policy and execute that policy at the earliest. That the matter regarding policy on children's sports activities in. In view of the above facts and submissions, it is understood. Parks of Delhi and its development maintenance does not fall under. The purview of Department of WCD, GCNTD. Delhi Commission for Protection of Child Rights, DCPCR 4. Thus, if agreed and approved, we may forward the matter to. Looking into this matter and taking appropriate action as deemed fit. In light of the directions of the Honorable Supreme Court of India in. The matter SLP C 28795-2019's titled. Rajiv Suri vs. South Delhi Municipal Corporation, SDMC, and ORS. And also in reference to the note received from Worthy Chief. Secretary, GNCTD. Forwarding letter is prepared for Chairperson, DCPCR for ensuring. Accordingly, a draft. Compliance of the directions of the Honorable Apex Court. S for perusal and approval P. Opinion of litigation branch given beat para 32 and 33, with reference to para 35 at page 6, and following is S on the. Of Women at Workplace Act 2013 it is S that the same is already. With regard to conducting inquiry under sexual harassment. Under process in WEC branch. The desired notification may be seen. At page 169, C 170, C and 173, C 174, C. The selection committee is it could not find a suitable woman. It is S here that the male chairperson was recommended by. Candidate while making selections to the three vacant posts of. Chairpersons and thus subsequently shish. Sanjay Joshi was appointed. As chairperson, CWCX. Documents is also prepared and placed alongside for perusal and. Furthermore, a draft affidavit along with supporting. Approval is the same had to filed in the Honorable Court through the. LD. Additional Standing Council. NDOH in the instant matter is. The 2nd of June 2020. SP. Draft affidavit in the matter of WPC, no. 13,118-2019. Prepared and placed alongside for perusal and approval is the same. The draft affidavit along with supporting documents has been. Had to be filed in the Honorable Court through the LD. Additional. Standing counsel. NDOH in the instant matter is the 2nd of June 2020. May peruse the query raised by worthy director WCD at page 32. 33, and with regard to the matter regarding payment of honorarium of. Rs. Two locks each to both the amicus curiae in the matter W. PC 11,187, 2017's W. PC 2,495, 2018's W. PC 46,889, 2018's case titled. Court on its own motion versus Govet. Of NCT of Delhi and ORS. Standing counsel by the department with regard to payment of. In this regard, it is S that no instructions were given to the. Honorarium to both the amicus curiae. Chish. H. S. Fulka, amicus curiae, senior. Counsel present in the court for. During the course of court proceedings itself on the 23rd of May 2019. NGO Bhakpan Bachao Andolan proposed before the Honorable Court. To award honorarium of ours. Five locks each to both the amicus curiae. However, Mr. Rahul Mera, standing counsel, GNCTD on being. Asked by THE Honorable Court S that the same amount may be reduced. After which the Honorable Division Bench fixed the amount of ours. Two. Locks each for the amicus curiae. Committees have already been discussed at length in the O. O. Die. The draft guidelines of state and district inspection. Director, CPU, along with both the amicus curiae. In light of the observations, examinations made by assistant director, litigation. DWCD at pages 24 and 28 and with regard to draft guidelines placed. At page 93, C. 107, C. The same is now required to be discussed. Further with amicus curiae considering the detailed observations. Made by AD, litigation. Payment of professional charges in R. O. Ms. Propsahay Kor and Mr. S. For perusal P. Ashok Popley. R's. 12. O. 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 To Ms. Propsahay Kor and R's. 300. To Mr. Ashok. The matter is regarding payment of professional charges of Popley. In this regard, it is S. That the proposal of payment was sent. From Accounts Branch, DWCDH. Q. To Finance Department through. Honble Dai. Chief Minister, Minister in Charge Seeking. Administrative Approval and Expenditure Sanction of the Same. Page. 23 N. The finance expenditure V. Department had returned back. The file after making following observations at page 24 N. With regard to payment of professional charges to Govet. Council. Honble Dai. Chief Minister in the matter, the administrative. In view of the directions dated the 20th of October 2019, issued by. Department may be advised to take appropriate action with regard to release of payment. Dated the 21st of October 2019 after approval of the Council of Ministers and its. As per the directions issued by Honble Dai. Chief Minister. Meeting dated the 16th of October 2019, copy placed at page 99, C, the payment of fees of councils be released with the approval of minister in charge and no file related to engagement of AOR, council, senior, council for appearance in high court, supreme court, whether empaneled or not empaneled with the GNCT of Delhi need to be S to the finance department for its concurrence, routed through accounts branch seeking approval of competent in view of submissions made above, if agreed, the file may be authority for payment of professional charges of ours. 
12,000. Towards Ms. Props A. Core for appearing in W. PC 2600-2017. Titled Salat John Jane vs. GNCT of Delhi and ANR and R's. 300. Towards Shish. Ashok Papli in the suit no. Appeal no. 32,018 titled. Shish. Manas Mahajan vs. GNCT of Delhi and R's for obtaining certified. Copy of the judgment. Payment of honorarium of R's. Two lakh each to both the amicus. S for perusal and approval P. Kiri I namely Shish. Anang Kumar Astana and Ms. Bardi Ali. The issues flagged in New Delhi edition of Times of India which the Honorable Delhi High Court took Suo Motu cognizance of referred to an inspection of the Preyas Children's Home for Boys in Jahangirpuri and registered the writ petition W. P.C. 11187-2017. Title Court on its motion versus GNCTD and ORS. On the 12th of November 2017, the next date of hearing was fixed as the 1st of April 2018 by the Honorable Court. Honorable Court appointed Shish, Anand Kumar Astana, advocate in Simultaneously, V. Para 8 of the order dated the 12th of November 2017, the Ms. Barty Ali from NGO Hawk is a Maikai Kiriai in the instant matter and permitted them to visit the Preyas Children's Home, Jahangirpuri, and to submit a report thereafter. Preyas Children's Home for Boys, Jahangirpuri was S in the Hanbal. Then V. Order dated the 1st of April 2018, a report with regard to court by the Amaikai Kiriai, which was taken on record. V. Para 6 and 7 of the same order, the Hanbal Court directed the engineer in. Chief PWD to ensure that physical inspection is carried out at observation homes in place of safety in order to verify the status of the facilities and infrastructure available in these homes and also directed that the same inspection would be accompanied by both the amicus curiae. NDOH was fixed as the 30th of January 2018. Pass along with the copy of three reports filed by the LD. Principal. On the 30th of January 2018, the inspection no WRT to 2 OHBs in 1. Magistrates of JJBI 2 and 3 was being handed over to both the Amicus Curiae with directions of the Honble Court to examine the same. The NDOH was fixed as the 3rd of January 2018, wherein the Honble Court vied para 5 and 6 directed the Govit. The matter was then taken up for hearing on the 22nd of March 2018. Counsel in both the Amicus Curiae to jointly and severally visit the child care centers and inform the court about the status of deficiencies noted by them in their report and also vied para 10 of the order dated the 22nd of March 2018 appreciate the assistance given by both the Amicus Curiae to the court in the instant writ petition. NDOH was the 4th of September 2018. That Mr. A. K. Aston, Amicus Curiae has visited the premises of drug. Then, B. Para 9 of the order dated the 4th of September 2018, it is learned. The addiction center functional at Sewa Kudir Complex pursuant to last directions of the Honble Court and informed about the status of infrastructure available there. NDOH was the 15th of May 2018. Curiae to draft guidelines on the issue regarding manner of on the 31st of July 2018, the Honble Court directed both the amicus functioning of the Inspection Committee for inspecting the child care institutions and also directed them to visit the CCIs in Delhi so as to ensure that the repaired work in the CCIs is being undertaken. NDOH was the 27th of September 2018. Committees were received in the department from the Amikai Curiae, the draft guidelines for state and district inspection. As per the directions of the Honble Court dated the 31st of July 2018 and same was also discussed during the court proceedings on the 27th of September 2018. NDOH was fixed as the 13th of November 2018. Department had forwarded the same to Govit. Council 4. After receiving draft guidelines from the Amikai Curiae, the examination and simultaneously the 36 N. Department had also examined the draft guidelines. Later on, after discussing the draft guidelines with Govit. Council on the 2nd of August 2019. The department forwarded its comments in tabular format to Council. For further examination, Discuss the guidelines with Amikai Curiae on the points which still. On the 2nd of November 2019, the Honble Court directed the parties to need acceptance, correction, justification, and to inform the Honble Court after three weeks. NDOH was fixed as the 26th of March 2019. Committees a meeting was held with both the Amicus Curiae and the in relation to formulation of guidelines for inspection. O. O. Dai, Director, CPU, on the 22nd of March 2019, wherein the draft guidelines were discussed at length and it was decided that LD, Amikai Curiae, will give their suggestions on the comments given on draft guidelines by the department. On the 7th of October 2019, the department through email had received the revised and finalized draft guidelines for inspection. Committees from the Amikai Curiae, Kumar Astana, advocate with regard to finalization of guidelines. The meeting was again held on the 19th of November 2019 with Shish Anant for inspection committees and subsequently on the 20th of November 2019 through email guidelines as discussed in the meeting on the 19th of November 2019 was received from the LD. Amicus Curiae, Shish, H, S. Fulka, Amicus Curiae, Senior, Counsel present in the court, during the course of court proceedings itself on the 23rd of May 2019, for NGO Bhatpan Bachao Andolan proposed before the Honble, 
court to award honorarium of ours. Five locks each to both the amicus. Curiae for their tireless work. However, Mr. Rahul Mera, standing. Counsel, GNCTD on being asked by THD Honble Court as that the same amount may be reduced after which the Honble Division bench fixed the amount of ours. Two locks each for the amicus curiae. The next date of hearing in the instant matter is the 4th of January 2020. Payment of professional charges in our Oshish. Now should Ahmad Khan. S for perusal P. Additional standing counsel, Govit. Of NCT of Delhi. Charges to Shish. Now should Ahmad Khan. Additional standing. The matter on this file is regarding payment of professional. Counsel, Govit. Of NCT of Delhi amounting to ours. 75, 400 rupees. 75,400 only, in case no. W. P. C. 3,269 of 2014 titled R. K. Kapoor, Advocate versus High Court of Delhi. And ORS. Issued by the Law Department, GNCTD, ORS. 8,000, per effective. In this regard, it is S that, as per the O. M. Dated the 12th of March 2015. Hearing in ORS. 2,000, per non effective hearing, up to five hearings. Had been fixed for additional standing counsel for appearance in the Honble Court. In addition to this 10% clerkage charge subject to maximum ORS. 5,000 is also allowed. Copy of the O. M. Is placed at page no. 31, C. 35, C. Bill placed at page 192, C. S. No. Particulars. Amount. 1. Professional fee for effective hearing, up to five hearings, undated. The 28th of August 2017, the 24th of November 2017, the 1st of December 2018, the 3rd of January 2018, the 22nd of March 2018, and the 5th of September 2018. 40,000. 2. Clerkage at 10%. 4,000. 3. Professional fee for non-effective hearing, up to five hearings, on. Dated the 15th of September 2017, the 22nd of September 2017, the 11th of October 2017, the 15th of December 2017, the 17th of April 2018, and the 7th of May 2018. 10,000. 4. Clerkage at 10%. 1,000. 5. Drafting of writ petition, status report 7. 14,000. 6. Clerkage at 10%. 1,400. 3. MISC. Expenses. Including typing, photocopying of judgments, courier, speed post. For service, postage, etc. On actual basis. 5,000. Total. 75,400. BTF which has now been verified by Shish. Ramesh Singh, standing. In this regard, it is also asked that the bill was received without. Council, civil, govet. Of NCT of Delhi as BTF is not available for. Making payment of professional charges to the additional standing. Council. Court of Delhi order dated the 12th of December 2013 passed in the matter W. P. It is also important to submit here that as per Honble High. CRL. 1549-2009 titled Court on its own motion versus state the cases. Where the BTFs have not been issued by the law department, the payment shall be made by these departments on the certification of the concerned standing counsel on the bills. 27N. File may be routed through account functionaries DWCDH. Q4. Keeping in view the submissions made above, if agreed, the examining the bill and taking approval for payment of fees of ours. 75,400 to Shish. Now should Ahmad Khan, additional standing counsel. GNCT of Delhi. SMWPC 1 2020th contagion of COVID 19 virus in prisons. S for perusal and approval P. The 16th of March 2020 passed in the matter SMWPC 1 2020th contagion of. May peruse the Honble Supreme Court of India order dated. COVID 19 virus in prisons placed at page no. 1 C to 6 C wherein. The Honble Apex Court had taken suo motu cognizance regarding. Spread of COVID 19 virus in prisons. The Honble Court on the above mentioned issue had issued. Notices to all the states, UTs to show cause as to why directions should not be issued to for dealing with the present health crisis arising out coronavirus and to suggest immediate measures which should be adopted for medical assistance to the prisoners in all jails. Juveniles lodged in the remand homes. Development Govet of NCT of Delhi under the juvenile justice. In this regard, it is S that Department of Women and Child Care and Protection of Children Act 2015 provides services to the children in need of conflict with law who are being kept at Observation Home, Place of Safety, Special Home. Observation Home for Boys, Sewa Kudir, Delhi and Place of. As on date, in these above mentioned two juvenile homes, i.e. Safety, Special Home for Boys, Majnu Katila, Delhi the actual. Strength is high i.e. against a total sanction strength of 150. Juveniles respectively, a total number of 126 and 75 juveniles. Respectively are residing. GNCTD on the 3rd of April 2020 and the 17th of March 2020 had issued guidelines for. The Department of Women and Child Development, Child Care Institutions for Prevention and Control of Coronavirus, wherein various measures to reduce the risk of novel coronavirus, COVID-19, had been detailed, page no. Underscore, C underscore, C. Juvenile Justice Boards after taking into account the present number of, this department had also communicated with all the six inmates residing in Observation Home for Boys, Sewa Kudir, Delhi. 
In place of safety, special home for boys, Majnu Pati Lift Delhi. With a request to pass appropriate orders, directions as per law to expedite release of children on bail, which will help in reducing the present high strength of children from above mentioned institutions. Page no. Underscore C. Agreed and approved a reply may be sent to Shish. Balram Das AOR. In view of the above mentioned facts and circumstances, if Central Agency Section, Honble Supreme Court of India with a request to apprise the same to Honble Court. Accordingly, a draft letter is prepared and placed at page no. Underscore C to underscore C for perusal. And approval P. May peruse the Honble Supreme Court of India order dated. The 3rd of June 2020 placed at page no. 67 C 71 C passed in the matter suo. Motu writ petition CRL. One of 2019 and Ray. Alarming rise in the number of reported child rape incidents. Court the matter is regarding setting up of exclusive POCSO courts. In this regard, it is asked that as per the directions of the Honble, an issue of payment of compensation to victims of offenses under the POCSO Act, scheme on fast track special courts, FTCs for expeditious disposal. The Ministry of Law and Justice, GOI, has already issued the of cases of rape and protection of children against the Sexual Offenses Act 2012, as per second pair of point no. Nine of the said scheme, it has been stated that at the state UT level, the registrar. General of High Courts and Law Secretaries shall be responsible for the implementation of the scheme and achievement of targets. A. Nodal officer from the High Court as well as the Law Department will be appointed who will assist the High Courts and States, UTs, respectively in different tasks under the scheme such as identification, the premises for FTC's preparation of contracts for staff compilation, and submission of reports, etc., notification, and the issue of providing compensation to the victims, the setting up of exclusive POCSO courts except only for does not fall under the purview of this department as the same are being covered by Department of Law, Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD and Delhi State Legal Services Authority respectively. Action on part of this department is required to be taken in the instant. In view of the submissions made above, it is observed that no matter status in the matter Suo Moto Writ Petition C, 1 of 2020. S for perusal and further directions P. Contagion of COVID-19 virus in prisons. The 16th of March 2020 passed in the aforementioned matter had directed all the the Honble Supreme Court of India beat order dated states union territories to file their reply with regard to the dealing the present health crisis arising out of coronavirus and also to suggest various measures to be adopted for medical assistance to the prisoners in jails and juveniles lodged in remand homes in the country development covid of NCT of Delhi under the juvenile justice in this regard it is s that department of women and child care and protection of children act 2015 is providing services to the children in need of conflict with law who are being kept at Observation home, place of safety, special home. Of Delhi Veed letter dated the 19th of March 2020, page no. 24, C to 25, C, has. The Department of Women and Child Development, GNCT. Sent its reply through email on the same day, i.e., the 19th of March 2020, to Shish. B. B. Balram Das, additional govet. Advocate, GNCTD, Central. Agency section, Supreme Court of India requesting him to apprise. The Honda Apex Court accordingly. Herself present in the Supreme Court on the next date of hearing, i.e., the Deputy Director, Child Protection Unit, GNCTD, was the 23rd of March 2020, wherein she handed over the hard copies of the reply. Dated the 19th of March 2020, earlier sent through email to Ms. Swati, Advocate O. Oshish, B. B. Balram Das, Adil, Govet, Advocate, GNCTD, and afterwards she was in continuous touch with the O. Oshish, B. B. Balram Das, but later on it was learned that the reply sent by this department was not brought on record of the Honble Court. Email was made to ADV. Swati O. Oshish, B. B. Balram Das, Adil, Govet. Then on the 4th of January 2020, PG. No. 67, C. A. Communication through. Advocate, GNCTD, through which affidavit to be filed in the instant. Matter was sent again with a request to file the same so that it could be brought on record of the Honble Court. Mentioned affidavit was also sent through email on the 4th of June 2020 to Shish. It is important to mention here that the, the copy of above. To Sharmeta, LD. Solicitor General, Union of India, PG. No. 68 C. For perusal and record and on the very same day, i.e. the 4th of June 2020, the signed copy of affidavit was again sent through email to Shish. B. V. Balram Das, Adil, Govet, Advocate, GNCTD, Supreme Court of India, PG. No. 69 C. With a request to file the affidavit and to ensure that it is brought on record. Email communication to Shish. B. V. Balram Das, Adil, Govet, Advocate. Thereafter, this department on the 4th of September 2020 has sent in another. GNCTD, Supreme Court of India, PG. No. 70. C. Requesting him to provide the updated status WRT to the filing of affidavit and also to inform whether the filed affidavit was brought on record of the Honble Court, the 13th of April 2020, wherein no specific directions with regard to department. The last date of hearing in the instant court matter was 
of WCD, GNCTD were found and no information about next date of hearing is found on the website of Supreme Court of India. S above in relation to SMWPC 10F 2020 and directions of the thus in view of the above mentioned facts and circumstances. Worthy Director, WCD at para 48 on page 9, and, if agreed in, approved the file may be sent to Law Department, GNCT of Delhi. For their perusal, comments, and further directions, WRT to the handling of this court matter by the Adil, COVID, Advocate, GNCTD, Central Agency Section, Honble Supreme Court of India, S for perusal and approval P, Sub, Urgent Requirement of Staff, Office Fixtures, Daily Essentials, and Funds, Director, ADMN. DWCD, GNCTD joined OHBI Pray as JJB2 do. The undersigned veto order dated the 24th of April 2020 issued by DI. Central on the 25th of April 2020. Phase of novel coronavirus emphasis is much required towards. It is very important to mention here that due to this ongoing. Ensuring availability of all the daily essentials, office fixtures, staff. And sufficient amount of funds to run and manage any officer. Institution. Sensitive nature catering to children in conflict with law under the. It is also worth mentioning that institution OHBI is a very Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children Act 2015. Presently, there is lack of PWD, civil and electrical, staff and also the staff of NGO Price are not available as per their strength. Following the lockdown imposed in the country, care following is required of urgent basis. Thus, in order to smoothly manage this institution of utmost, staff, 1, Welfare Officer 01, 2, LDC, Junior Ast, 01, 3, Peon 01, Office Fixtures Funds, 1, Computer with printer 01, 2, photocopier 01, 3, high speed internet, other than MTNL, 4, contagant fund, emergency fund, S for perusal and approval on urgent basis P, sub, regarding allocation of budget in R, OOHBI praise for the financial year 2020 minus 21, order dated the 4th of July 2020 had allocated budget estimates for the, the accounts branch, department of WCD, GNCTD VDITS, financial year 2020 minus 21, the observation home for boys I praise. Delegate is being run and managed by the NGO Preas and the Department of WCD, GNCTD provides 100% grant for running the said observation home. Undersigned has been assigned the charge of OHBI Preas and presently, as per the directions of competent authority, the therefore budget is required on urgent basis for running and managing the day-to-day -day expenses of the observation home, managing the institution budget of ours, two locks under O, E and R's, five, thus it is requested that for purchasing different items in Locks under material supply may be allotted at the earliest for smooth functioning of the institution. Undersigned to presently manage the day-to-day -day affairs of the. It is also asked that the above demanded budget will help the institution and simultaneously later on, as per need detailed, requirement of budget will also be asked to the department seeking approval and sanction. O. E and material supply on urgent basis P. S for perusal and approval of above demanded budget under. Bill of Ms. Viva Mahajan Seth, Advocate Page No. 108 C. Subject, payment of professional charges in R. O. Ms. Viva Mahajan. Seth Council, GNCTD. Ms. Viva Mahajan, Seth Council, GNCTD, amounting to R's. 16. The matter is regarding payment of professional charges to 600, rupees 16,600 only, in the case no. W. P. C. 5331, 2015's titled Honorata Vashish Denors. Versus, COVID, of, NCT of Delhi and Ors. Department, GNCTD, R's. 2000 per case per day had been fixed for. It is asked that as per the OM dated the 12th of March 2015 issued by the law. Panel advocates for appearance of effective hearing in ours. 504. Non-effective hearings. In addition to this 10% clerkage charge. Subject to maximum 2,400 is also allowed. Copy of the OM is. Placed at page no. 16. C20. C. Details of bill. S. No. Particulars. Amount. 1. Professional fee for effective appearances on dated the 18th of May 2018. The 27th of July 2018, the 9th of December 2018, the 21st of February 2019, the 19th of August 2019, at 2000 per appearance. 10,000. 2. Professional fee for non effective appearance on dated the 24th of April 2019. At 500 per appearance. 500. 3. Counter affidavit of the amended writ petition. 2000. 4. Status report on behalf of women and child development debt. GNCT of Delhi. 1000. 5. Clerkage at 10%. 1350. 6. MISC. Expenses. Including typing, photocopying of judgments, courier, speed post. For service, postage, etc. On actual basis, 1,750. Total, 16,600. Fuck 2, Bill No. SG, 19 minus 2012, so 36 of Shish. Sanjoy goes, Adel. Standing Council, page No. 115, C. Subject, payment of professional charges in R. O. Shish. Sanjoy goes, additional St. Nating Council, GNCTD. Shish. Sanjoy goes, additional St. Nating Council, the demounting. 
The matter is regarding payment of professional charges to two R's. 11,000 rupees 11,000 only in the case no. W. P. C. 8036 2019's titled Judith Amma versus COVID. Event CT of Delian. Ors. Department GNCTD. Ours. 8,000 per case per day had been fixed for. It is S that as per the OM dated the 12th of March 2015 issued by the law. Additional standing counsels for appearance of effective hearing. And Rs. 2,000 for non-effective hearings. In addition to this 10%. Clerkage charge subject to maximum 5,000 is also allowed. Copy. Of the OM is placed at page no. 16. C. 20. C. Details of bill. S. No. Particulars. Amount. 1. Professional fee for effective appearances on dated the 25th of July 2019 at 8,000 per appearance. 8,000. 2. Professional fee for non-effective appearance on dated the 19th of August 2019 at 2,000 per appearance. 2,000. 3. Clerkage at 10%. 1,000. Total. 11,000. 30. N. Be routed through account functionaries DWCD for taking approval. Keeping in view of above POC I and 2, if agreed, the file may. For payment of professional fees of ours. 16,600 to Ms. Viva. Mahajan Seth Council GNCTD and ours. 11,000 to Shish. Sanjoy. Goes ASC GNCTD. May peruse the copy of petition along with annexures placed at page. No. 1. C38 C received today afternoon from litigation branch. DWCD in the matter W. P. C. No. Underscore of 2020 titled Harpal Singh. Rana versus Union of India and ORS likely to be listed tomorrow in any other day. In the said court matter, the petitioner has made following four respondents as parties. 1. Union of India, Rashtrapati Bhawan, New Delhi through its secretary, New Delhi. 2. GNCT of Delhi through Chief Secretary, Delhi Secretariat, New Delhi. 3. Ministry of WCD through Secretary, Shankar Market, Connaught Lane, Barakamba, New Delhi. 4. Dept of Social Welfare, GNCTD through Secretary, Balmiki, Basti, Vikram Nagar, New Delhi. The petitioner informs that, after seeking information from various, in this regard, it is S that as per the synopsis of the petition, districts of Delhi through RTI Act for the Welfare Schemes, launched, introduced by respondents for the welfare, education, living, arrangement of the orphan children, Tay information received by him, through RTI Act has some variations, PG, no, 30, C, the petition are given under for reference, the prayers PG, no, 21, C, 22, C, made by the petitioner in, I, Writ of mandamus may P be allowed directing the respondents to submit detailed scheme provision for the education, living in, other prospects of life for orphans. E. Quota should be given to orphan kids while applying for admission in schools under the EWS quota. E. There should be a provision for the financial assistance to be given to the persons who are looking after the orphans. IV. Any further order, S. That the Honble High Court may deem fit and proper in the facts and circumstances of the present case. In the copy of the petition for IP which reflects reply received by the the annexures P1 to P5 are placed at page no. 2, C to 11, C. Petitioner under RTI Act from the Dept. Of Social Welfare and Dept. Of WCD, GNCTD on the schemes provisions related to orphan child. May request litigation branch to follow up the matter with Govit. In view of the facts mentioned above, if agreed, at present we. Counsel and seek time, orders, directions of the court for complying. With orders, directions, if any, in due course of time. May peruse the copy of order dated the 6th of November 2020 along with annexures. S for perusal and further directions in the instant matter P. Passed by the Honble Supreme Court of India in the matter W. P. C. For 2020th in Ray, contagion of COVID-19 and children protection. Homes. Provided a performa on which updated information W. R. T. C. W. C.'s. The Honble Supreme Court while passing the order has. JJB's CCI's DCPUs have to be prepared latest by the 30th of June 2020. Concerned for providing their reports data as desired by the Honble. Accordingly, the said performa was circulated among all. Supreme Court on the prescribed performa. Now, the information had been received from all district child protection units wherein information in our O children placed under different facilities in their respective districts has been gathered PG. No. Underscore C to underscore C. Been received through souped. JJB2 delegate PG. No. Underscore C2. Among six JJB's functional and Delhi information has only. Underscore C. Whereas as per information received from concerned DCPO. The Honble JJBI and three have stated that it will take time to provide. The desired information. Information is also awaited from souped. JJB, IV, B and B. May peruse the copy of email along with court order dated. The 19th of June 2020 placed at page no. 42, C44, C received from Ms. Hichu. Aurora Sadi, Adel, Standing Council, GNCTD, Delhi High Court in. The matter W, P, C, no. 3622, 2020th titled Harpal Singh Rana vs. Union. Of India and ORS, DLD. Council, the respondents have to file reply as to what schemes. As per the court order dated the 19th of June 2020 and is informed by 
are available for orphans, how they can be taken care of and why. There is a different stand of districts with regard to the schemes. The said reply has been filed before the next date of hearing, i.e. the 7th of February 2020, through email on the 19th of June 2020 to the concerned district offices with a accordingly, as discussed and directed, a letter was sent, request to provide their comments on the RTI reply provided by them. To the petitioner, copy of letter placed at page no. 40. C. Replies received from concerned district offices in our ORTI reply. In response to the above mentioned communication, the provided to the petitioner are placed at page no. Underscore C. To underscore C4. Perusal. District offices and accordingly inform the court that this department thus, if agreed, we may compile the reply received from all. Is not running any scheme specifically meant for orphan children and the reply obtained by the petitioner through RTI was prior to the bifurcation of Department of Women and Child Development and Social Welfare Department, GNCT of Delhi and the records pertaining to the RTI reply are not available with this department. Alongside at page no, underscore, C to underscore, C and file for perusal and approval. In view of above, draft status has been prepared and placed. P. May peruse the copy of email along with court order, petition and annexures placed at page no. 1. C. 74. C. Received from assistant. Registrar Pill, Writ Supreme Court of India in the matter W. P. C. No. 483 2020 it's titled Bhatpan Bachao Andolan versus National Disaster. Management Authority and ORS. The NCT of Delhi is respondent no. 11 inches the instant petition. Of India order dated the 9th of May 2017 PG no. 33 C to 38 C passed in the. The petitioner has annexed a copy of Honble Supreme Court. Matter Bhatpan Bachao Andolan versus Union of India and ORS. The said. Court order directs the Ministry of WCD, GOI to inform all state. Commissions for Protection of Child Rights, SCPCRs, to monitor the standard operating procedure on missing children issued by Ministry of WCD, wherein the persons who suffer the most are children, since the the order dated the 9th of May 2017 further speaks about disaster. National Disaster Management Authority, NDMA, was not a party in that petition the Honville Apex Court requested NDMA to look into this issue and to give special attention to the children in the event of disaster, which is also given below for reference. The prayers of the petition are placed in file at page no. 49. C. To issue an appropriate writ order or direction in the nature of mandamus directing the respondent no. 1. NDMA to Freeman. Appropriate policy, guidelines on prevention of trafficking in children, and their rescue and rehabilitation in the wake of COVID-19 at the earliest. Issue an appropriate writ order or direction directing the respondent no. 1 to 3. NDMA, MHA, Ministry of Labor and employment to circulate the policy so prepared under I to the Chief Secretaries of all states and governors of all UTS for action and mandatory implementation, direct the respondent no. 2. MHA to mandatorily direct all states to activate their anti-human trafficking units to prevent and take appropriate action on child trafficking, including but not limited to identifying known and potential traffickers, monitoring and sharing information and intel with the respondent no. 2. MHA as part of coordinated response and action and pass such other order or orders as deem fit in the facts and circumstances of the case. Public interest for enforcement of fundament rights of children under. It is also asked that the petitioner has filed the instant petition in Articles 14, 19 and 21, 23, 24, 39, 43 in order to prevent them from becoming victims of human trafficking in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic and extended lockdown may peruse the copy of email along with court order dated S for perusal and further necessary directions in the matter P. The 7th of February 2020 placed at page no. 96 C100 C received from LD. COVID. Council GNCTD, Honville High Court of Delhi in the matter W. P. C3622 2020. It's titled Harpal Singh Rana versus UOI and ORS. The relevant portion of the said court order dated the 7th of February 2020 are also reproduced herein below for ready reference. Shall furnish further data in a tabular form for various districts as to 6. Nonetheless, learned counsel for the respondents know. 2 to 4. How many orphan children have been given admission in the nearby schools and name and other details of at least 25 such students? Respondents know. 2 to 4 will also point out in a tabular form for at least. Similarly, learn counsel for WP. C 3622 2020. It's the 25 orphan children specifying therein, the names, the nature of employment and the names of the institutions in which these orphans have been given employment. The schemes which are pointed out by respondent know. 3 in its report. This data will be supplied, if possible, for few districts so that can be verified as to whether the schemes have been implemented or not in its true letter and spirit. Weeks time to file the additional affidavit report. 7. Learn counsel for the respondents know. 2 do 4 seeks 2. Also seeks time to file the affidavit report. 8. Learn counsel for the respondent know. 1. Union of India. Hearing. 10. List on the 17th of July 2020. 9. Let the affidavit report be filed before the next date of 
the status to her by the 10th of July 2020 so as to make any. In this regard, it is S that the LD. Council has desired to send. Addition, correction in the same within the stipulated period of time. The next date of hearing in the instant matter is the 7th of October 2020. May peruse the reply received from DD, FAS, and ICPS branch. S for perusal and further necessary directions in the matter P. Placed at page underscore, C to underscore, C respectively. The said reply has been received in response to this office U. O letters placed at pages underscore, C to underscore, C respectively. Dated the 7th of February 2020 PG. No. 105 C 106 C A draft status report has. As per the directions of Honble High Court of Delhi order. Been attempted and placed in file at page no. Underscore C to underscore C to B. Sent to LD. COVID. Council for onward filing of the same in the. Honble Court before the next date of hearing i.e. The 17th of July 2020. As for perusal and approval of draft status report placed. Alongside. May peruse the copy of petition placed at page no. 1 C 161 C. Received from Mr. Satyakam, Adil. Standing Council, GNCTD in. The matter titled Prayas Jack Society versus GNCT of Delhi likely to be. Listed this week, the petitioners have filed the instant writ petition. Challenging the orders of this department dated the 22nd of April 2020. The 23rd of April 2020 and the 27th of May 2020 being aggrieved by the following. Decisions taken by the Department of Women and Child. Development, GNCTD. Posting Mr. Anil Kumar, DDO of OHBI as Superintendent. OHBI. Dispensing the services of MD, brief superintendent of the Praise Observation Home for Boys I delegate in taking over the management of the Observation Home for Boys, delegate from the NGO Praise, run and managed at Pharaoh's Shakotla, delegate is entirely a it. In this regard, it is s that the Observation Home being recognized institution under the J. J Act and the this department had only handed over the management of the said it institution, OHBI to the NGO Praise way back in 1997 for running in managing it for welfare and well-being of children in difficult circumstances. The said management was initially handed over to the NGO for a period of three years, placed in file at page no. 115, C 117, C for perusal. The prayers, the grounds and prayers of the instant petition are made by the petitioner are also given below for reference. A for a writ order or direction to quash the three orders of the respondent dated the 22nd of April 2020 PG. No. 42, C, the 23rd of April 2020 PG. No. 41. C, and the 27th of May 2020 PG. No. 7. C. B. Pending hearing of the writ petition for the order staying orders. Of the respondent dated the 22nd of April 2020, the 23rd of April 2020, and the 27th of May 2020. C. Any other such orders as the Honble Court may deem fit. May peruse the copy email along with writ petition placed at page no. S for perusal and further necessary directions in the matter P. Underscore, C to underscore, C received from litigation branch WCD which is Regarding a public interest litigation filed in the Honble High Court of Delhi by the NGO Bakpan Bachawandolan against GNCT of Delhi and others, there are a total of five respondents which are as under. As per the memo of parties placed at page no. 154, C to 155, C. 1. GNCT of Delhi, Delhi Secretariat, New Delhi. 2. Commissioner of Police, Police Headquarters, New Delhi. 3. Child Welfare Committee, Mayor Vihar, New Delhi. 4. Subdivisional Magistrate, Vivek Vihar, New Delhi. 5. SHOP. S. Gandhi Nagar, New Delhi. As per the synopsis of the writ petition placed at page no. 151, C2. 153, C. It is found that the present pill has been filed by the petitioner. Being aggrieved by the actions on the part of respondents especially. At the first place, Delhi police who physically took out five out of a total. Ten rescued child laborers for recording their statement under section. 164 before the LD. Metropolitan magistrate which ultimately. Exposed the children to be at high risk getting infected with corona. Virus. The said children were placed at petitioner's child care institution, namely Mukti Ashram. The child labor rescue operation was conducted on the 7th of September 2020 by SDM Vivek Vihar in coordination with Labor Department, DCPCR, police and the petitioner. As per the orders of SDM Vivek Vihar, all the 10 children were kept at CCI Mukti Ashram on the 7th of September 2020 and on the next day, i.e. the 7th of October 2020, their production before Child Welfare Committee, Mayor Vihar was ensured through video conferencing wherein CWC directed the I. O to get the statements of children recorded under. Section 164 in the Court of LD. Metropolitan Magistrate. Karkarduma Courts and also to get the COVID-19 test conducted. For all children from a government hospital, the petitioner mentions in the petition that the staff of CCI Mukti. Ashram requested both the police and CWC concerned in relation to the children be at high risk if physically taken out of the CCI for recording their statements under Section 164 but neither the Delhi police nor the CWC concern change their view in this connection. The prayers of the petition are placed at page no. 134, C to 135, C. 
which are also reproduced here under for ready reference. A. Issue an appropriate writ order or direction directing that. Statements under section 164, CR, P, C of children in need of care and protection are recorded by the LD, Metropolitan Magistrates over, video conferencing, and further that the children are not to be physically taken to court premises for the said purposes. B. Issue an appropriate writ order or direction directing the respondent no. 1 and 2 that all proceedings by different authorities under the Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children Act. 2015 be held by audiovisual means video conferencing to keep children in need of care and protection safe from contracting the COVID-19 infection. C. Issue an appropriate writ order or direction directing the respondents that no authority dealing with children in need of care and protection will pass an order requiring a child in need of care and protection to physically be taken out of the children's home, child care institution where he is housed till his her repatriation in accordance with law. D. Issue an appropriate writ order or direction directing the Respondent no. One to take measures and propose a mechanism. Ensuring that a rescued child is tested for COVID-19 at the earliest on. His her rescue, preferably before the child is sent to a children's. Home, child care institution. E. Alternatively, issue an appropriate writ order or direction. Directing the respondent no. One to make arrangements for COVID-19. Testing of rescued children to be done at the children's home, CCI. And not by physically taking the child to a govet. Hospital. F. Issue an appropriate writ order or direction directing the. Respondent, no. Two-fifths to add section 370-374th Inferno. 0278 dated. The 7th of October 2020 at P. S. Gandhi Nagar in accordance with the SDM's order. Dated the 7th of September 2020. G. Issue an appropriate writ order or direction directing the. Respondent, no. Five to not take the five child labor rescued in the raid on. The 7th of September 2020 and currently housed at the petitioner's home, Mukti. Ashram to Karkarduma courts for recording of statements. H. Issue an appropriate writ order or direction directing that the directions passed herein are also applicable mutatis mutandis for children in conflict with law housed in observation homes, special homes, place of safety. I. Pass any such other further orders as may be deemed fit in proper in the facts and circumstances of the case. As per the brief facts of the petition and prayers placed above, it is observed that basically the instant petition is in relation to two major points. 1. Children in need of care and protection and children in conflict with law be physically not taken out of their respective CCIs for recording of statements, production, etc. 2. Their COVID-19 test be done at the respective CCI itself instead of taking them physically out to a govet hospital in relation to the allegations made against CWC Mayor Beher by the petitioner, a report has been received from Chairperson CWC Mayor Beher wherein it has been informed that the allegations made by the petitioner regarding non-cooperation from CWC is denied. The CWC only allowed continuing the stay of children at Mukti Ashram is. There were only 10 inmates in the CCI and thus there was no threat to. Their health and social distancing norms could be maintained as such. Chairperson, CWC Mayor Viher in her report has further stated that. CWC only allowed the application moved by the I. O concerned of. P. S. Gandhi Nagar for recording statements under section 164 CR. P. C. Of all the children, it is clearly a lapse on the part of said CCI, NGO. To let children be physically taken out of the institution by the police. Personnel for the purpose of recording of statements under section 164 CR PC. It is further stated here that Department of Women and Child Development GNCTD being the nodal department for CNCP CCL. Children be stop dated the 16th of April 2020 has already designated separate isolation quarantine wards for boys and girls in child care institutions for dealing with new admission and suspected cases. Children of CNCP CCL category. Thus, the child labors rescued on. Raid dated the 7th of September 2020 should have been placed for Karen. Protection at designated isolation, quarantine facility for first 14 days. And after completion of that period, they might have been shifted to any other CCI. It is also important to mention here that the Department of Women and Child Development being the nodal department for implementing the provisions of Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children Act 2015 in the NCT of Delhi keeping in view the best interest of children during this COVID-19 pandemic has issued Various guidelines, advisories, SOPs for all the concerned agencies. Dealing with children, i.e. CCIs, CWCs, JJBs, DCPUs to prevent and control the possible spread of COVID-19. The details of guidelines, advisories, SOPs are given under. All the child care institutions have been kept open and functional during lockdown with utmost care and protective measures being implemented. Staffs attending the child care. Institutions and offices have been given orientation so as to ensure social distancing, use sanitization and to identify and attend the Suspected cases appropriately. On date of the 3rd of April 2020 and the 17th of March 2020 advisories guideline a shave. Been issued for all CCIs with directions to follow the protocol. 
Advisory to prevent the spread of COVID-19 in the CCIs. Doctors and paramedical staffs posted in CCIs have been sensitizing the staff and children on the preventive measure and social distancing. Posters of do's and don'ts have been placed in the prominent places of CCIs and protocol laid down by the government of India is being followed. In the prevailing situation of pandemic of COVID-19 in India, a communication was issued on the 17th of March 2020 specifically to person in charge of all institutions where children in conflict with law are kept to take up matters of all children with JJBs seeking grant of parole or interim bail to children wherever possible, keeping in view their health and safety issues in the prevailing situation. Guidelines issued v order dated the 20th of March 2020 for all child welfare committees wherein they were advised to communicate with CCIs through the video conferencing and to downsize the functioning of committee by reducing the bench to three members at one time by way of rotation, roster of duties among the members. Committees were formed v letter dated the 31st of March 2022. Monitor the government and NGOs run CCIs. These committees, comprising of district officer of WCD, DCPO, and chairperson, member CWC in every district for visiting all institutions to see their arrangements for prevention of COVID-19. Another committee was constituted comprising the DI director at the state HQ level v letter dated the 4th of January 2020 for continuous monitoring of government run CCIs. The inspections of all the child care institutions have been carried out and no child has been found with infection of COVID-19. Staying in any CCIs and nothing adverse have been reported so far. Cases suspected of COVID-19 if tested positive are shifted to hospitals immediately coordinating with district administration. SOP stated the 4th of August 2020 were issued to enlist operating procedure to CCIs for prevention and containment of COVID-19. A public notice on the 13th of April 2020 was published in three English and three Hind newspapers for information to general public regarding setting up of a central COVID-19 cell at DWCD HQ level to address issues related to COVID-19 and management of CCIs. This cell can be approached either by email or over the phone to Ms. Namrata Baruli, Assistant Director, ICPS, minus 9,910,013,417. SOP stated the 16th of April 2020 were issued by the department to all COVID NGO run child care institutions for dealing with new admission and suspected case during COVID-19 in respective children and women. The DWCD GNCTD has designated separate isolation quarantine ward for boys and girls in CCIs for dealing with new admission and suspected case children of CNCP CCL category. The advisory dated the 25th of April 2020 was issued to all juvenile justice boards and child welfare committees to mitigate fear of COVID-19. Among children, juvenile and CCIs, masks, sanitizers have been distributed to child care institutions. With the help of Directorate General of Health Services, all the district child protection officers have been directed to be in regular touch with child care institutions and to ensure that every child care institutions has all necessary items and following the advisory guidelines, the DCPOs are regularly in contact with all the CCIs through video conferencing and also by visiting them to monitor the current situation. In view of the above mentioned details of the instant petition report, of Chairperson CWC Mayor V. Her and the various actions already taken by the Department to prevent and control spread of COVID-19. In all the CCIs, if agreed, the Govet Council may be briefed accordingly for defending the stand of this department and CWC is. And when the instant petition gets listed for hearing before the Honble High Court of Delhi, status in the matter W. P. C. 13118-2019's title Dr. K. C. Vermani versus DWCD and ORS. The matter on this file relates to present status report in the matter. W. P. C. 13,118-2019's title Dr. K. C. Vermani versus DWCD and ORS. In this regard, it is S that on the first date of hearing, i.e. the 18th of December 2019, the Honble Court stayed the order DT, the 12th of May 2019 issued by this department in R. O. Transfer posting among chairperson members from one CWC to another and gave next date of hearing is the 2nd of June 2020. Copy of the order is placed at page no 166 C 168 C in compliance to directions contained in the order dated the 18th of December 2019. The Department of WCD GNCTD had filed its affidavit prior to the next date of hearing being the 2nd of June 2020. Copy of the affidavit filed along with annexures are placed at page no 316 C 362 C 4 perusal on the next date of hearing I E the 2nd of June 2020 copy of order placed at page no. 364 C. The Honble Court was P to order is under. The Learned Counsel for the Petitioner submits that the counter affidavit filed by the respondent no. One has been received yesterday. He prays for and is granted two weeks to file the rejoinder. List on the 2nd of March 2020.
Thereafter, on the 3rd of February 2020, copy of order placed at page no. 365C. The Honble Court directed as under. At joint request of the parties, relist on 22 and April 2020 before the regular bench. Interim order, if any, to continue. It is pertinent to mention here that due to lockdown imposed in the month of March 2020 and in the wake of COVID-19, the Honble High Court has suspended its functioning and the matters already fixed for hearing on various dates are adjourned for some another dates. In the present matter, as per the public notices published from time to time on the website of High Court of Delhi regarding suspended functioning of High Court, the matter was adjourned to the 22nd of June 2020. From the 22nd of April 2020 and thereafter further adjourned to the 17th of August 2020 from the 22nd of June 2020. As for perusal and information P. Sub. Status in the matter W. P. C. 8348-2017 titled Anand Kumar. Astana vs. Union of India and ANR. Matter W. P. C. 8348-2017 titled Anand Kumar Astana vs. Union of. The matter on this file relates to present status report in the. India and ANR with respect to draft and framing of state rules for NCT. Of Delhi under the JJ Act 2015. The 20th of February 2020 placed at page no. 243. See wherein the court had adjourned. In this regard, may peruse the Honble Court dated. The matter to the 5th of November 2020. It is pertinent to mention here that due to lockdown imposed in the month of March 2020 and in the wake of COVID-19, the Honble High Court has suspended its functioning and the matters already fixed for hearing on various dates are adjourned for some another dates. In the present matter, as per the public notices published from time to time on the website of High Court of Delhi regarding suspended functioning of High Court, the matter was adjourned to the 6th of August 2020. From the 5th of November 2020, the 29th of July 2020, from the 6th of August 2020 and thereafter further. Adjourned to the 23rd of September 2020 from the 29th of July 2020. The department has already filed an affidavit in the present petition, stating that the department is in process of framing, drafting of state. Rules for NCT of Delhi under JJ Act 2015. Copy of affidavit placed at page no. 124C to 128C. In this regard, may peruse the Honble Court order dated the 10th of October 2018. Placed at page no. 210C211. See wherein the Honble Court read. Para 3 of the said order directed is under. In the meanwhile, the committee constituted by the GNCTD should continue to function and in case any officer have been transferred or on leave, the committee should be reconstituted by renominating the officers in place of the said officers who are not available. The details of chairperson and members of last constituted committee beat order dated the 10th of December 2018 PG 245 C followed by core agenda dated the 11th of February 2018 PG 244 C is as under 1. Director, WCD. Chairperson, 2. Ms. Gidanali Gol, SPL. Secretary, DSLSA, Member. 3. JT. Director, CPU, Member. 4. Dai. Director, CPU, Member. 5. Chish. Anand KR, Astana, Advocate, Member. 6. Chish. Rajmangal Prasad, X Chairperson, CWC, Member. 7. Ms. Sunita Gupta, Member, CWC, V Member. 8. Ms. Seema Kandakar, Chairperson, CWC, V Member. It is important to mention here that the above mentioned committee needs to be reconstituted as Ms. Gidanali Gol, member, has been transferred the position of Dai, director, CPU, as lying vacant in Chish. Rajmangal Prasad, member, has resigned, copy of email is placed at page no. 247C from the committee. File is S for perusal of facts as above. As desired, OOLD, COVID, council was contacted seeking information regarding filing of rejoinder by the petitioners wherein the office staff informed that a rejoinder has been filed by the Petitioners, in this regard, it is asked that the copy of rejoinder filed by the petitioners have been received through a mail from O. Oshish, Sanjoy Goes, Adel, Standing Council, GNCTD, and the copy of email along with copy of rejoinder affidavit is placed at page no. 367, C to 383, C at the correspondence side. The petitioners have filed the rejoinder affidavit in response to the affidavit filed by the department in the Honble High Court. The copy of the affidavit along with annexures filed by the department is placed at page no. 316, C to 362, C for reference. S for perusal and information P. Payment of honorarium of ours. Two lakh each to both the amicus curiae namely Shish, Anand Kumar Astana and Ms. Bardi Ali. The issues flagged in New Delhi edition of Times of India which the Honble Delhi High Court took suo moto cognizance of referred to an inspection of the Preyas Children's Home for Boys in Jahangirpuri and registered the writ petition, civil, 11,187-2017s titled Court on its motion versus GNCTD and ORS on the 12th of November 2017. The next date of hearing was fixed as the 1st of April 2018 by the Honble Court PG. No. 108C 111C. Honble Court appointed Chish, Anand Kumar Astana, advocate in. Simultaneously, V. Para 8 of the order dated the 12th of November 2017. The 
Ms. Barney Alley from NGO Hawk is a Maikai Curiae in the instant matter and permitted them to visit the Freya's Children's Home, Jahangirpuri, and to submit a report thereafter. Freya's Children's Home for Boys, Jahangirpuri was S in the Hanbal. Then the order dated the 1st of April 2018, a report with regard to court by the Amaikai Curiae which was taken on record. Bead Paris 6 and 7 of the same order, the Hanbal Corps directed the engineer in Chief PWD to ensure that physical inspection is carried out at observation homes in place of safety in order to verify the status of the facilities and infrastructure available in these homes and also directed that the same inspection would be accompanied by both the Amicus Curiae. NDOH was fixed as the 30th of January 2018 PG. No. 112 C. 114 C. On the 30th of January 2018, the inspection note WRT to 2 OHBs in 1. Pass along with the copy of three reports filed by the LD. Principal. Magistrates of JJBI 2 and 3 was being handed over to both the Amicus Curiae with directions of the Honville Court to examine the same. The NDOH was fixed as the 3rd of January 2018 PG. No. 115 C. 117 C. Wherein the Honville Court beat pair of 5 and 6 directed to the Gubbit. The matter was then taken up for hearing on the 22nd of March 2018. Council and both the Amicus Curiae to jointly and severally visit the child care centers and inform the court about the status of deficiencies noted by them in their report and also vid para 10 of the order dated the 22nd of March 2018 appreciate the assistance given by both the Amicus Curiae to the court in the instant writ petition. NDOH was the 4th of September 2018 PG. No. 118 C 121 C. That Mr. A. K. Aston, Amicus Curiae has visited the premises of drug. Then, feed para 9 of the order dated the 4th of September 2018, it is learned. The addiction center functional at Sewa Kudir Complex pursuant to last directions of the Honville Court and informed about the status of infrastructure available there. NDOH was the 15th of May 2018, PG. No. 122 C. 125 C. 40 N. Directed both the Amicai Curiae to visit the CCIs in Delhi so as to the Honville Court Vid Para 4 of the order dated the 31st of July 2018. Ensure that the required work in the CCIs is being undertaken. PG. No. 126 C 130 C. The 23rd of May 2019. Shish. H. S. Fulka. Amicus Curiae. Senior. Council present in. Thereafter, during the course of court proceedings itself on. The court for NGO Bhatpan Bachao Andolan proposed before the. Honville Court to award honorarium of ours. Five locks each to both the. Amicus Curiae for their tireless work. However, Mr. Rahul Mera. Standing counsel, GNCTD on being asked by the Honble Court S. That the same amount may be reduced after which the Honble Division bench fixed the amount of ours. Two locks each for the Amicus. Curie IPG, no. 133, C 136, C. N had already examined the proposal with regard to payment of the accounts branch, DWCD V para 126 to 130 on page 32. Honorarium of ours. Two lakh each to both the Amicai Curie and proposed to forward the proposal to Finance Department for. Administrative approval and expenditure sanction of ours. 4000000. Rupees 4 lakh only as honorarium and ours. 2 lakh each to Shish. Anand Kumar Astana, advocate and Ms. Bardi Ali, NGO Hawk. Worthy director, WCD at para 165 on page 38, and if agreed, the file. In view of the facts as above and as per the directions of. May P be sent to Finance Department, GNCT of Delhi seeking. Concurrence of payment of honorarium of ours. 2 lakh each to both. The Amaikai Curiae, namely Shish. Anand Kumar Astana, Advocate, and Ms. Bardi Ali, NGO Hawk. S for perusal and approval P. 3N. Sub, monitoring of quarantine, isolation centers designated by Department of Women and Child Development, GNCTD. Matter on this file relates to monitoring of the quarantine, isolation. As desired and directed by JT. Director, CPU, the instant. Centers designated by Department of WCD, GNCTD. WCD, GNCTD, and R. O quarantine, isolation centers as is under. The details of various SOPs orders issued by Department of the Department Vid SOP dated the 16th of April 2020 had designated separate isolation, quarantine ward for children and women in CCIs. For dealing with new admission and suspected case children of CNCP, CCL category for all government NGO run child care institutions. In continuation to SOP dated the 16th of April 2020, another SOP has been issued by Department on the 23rd of April 2020 for dealing with new Admissions and situation of emergency during COVID-19 in respective children, boys, in conflict with law. An order was issued by the department on the 5th of June 2020. Designating one-stop center and medical care unit, Nirmal Chaya. Complex as isolation center since isolation center I, Nari Nikodin, was kept under quarantine as per the orders of D. M. West between the 5th of April 2020 to the 18th of May 2020. In continuation to SOP an office order dated the 16th of April 2020 in. 
The 5th of June 2020, an order was issued on the 18th of May 2020 designating OHBI, OHB2 and POS, SPL, home, OHBNX as isolation centers to operate on rotational basis in order to facilitate the process of new admissions of boys and considering the safety and security of inmates already residing in juvenile remand homes. On the 26th of June 2020, the department in supersession of earlier order dated the 18th of May 2020 issued a modified schedule for dealing with new admission in respect of CCL boys. Another stop for dealing with new admission and suspected case during COBID-19 in respect of children and women was issued on the 7th of January 2020. Strength, occupancy of quarantine, isolation centers are obtained. In this regard, it is asked that the daily data regarding through WhatsApp group and the same is placed in file for perusal. Five months now since first stop was issued designating. It is also important to mention here that it has been almost quarantine, isolation centers and afterwards another five. SOPs orders have been issued by department in this connection. The quarantine, isolation centers already designated by the, thus, a need is felt to strengthen the monitoring process of department, constituted for monitoring the facilities, conditions of, in view of the facts as above, if agreed, a committee may pb, quarantine, isolation centers and further suggest measures for, improvement of the same, as and when required, s for perusal and approval p, f, 61, 1259, w, p, c, 1082, 2018, dd, cpu, dwcd, 2018, 14, n, downloaded from the website of Supreme Court of India in the may peruse the case status report placed at page no 151 c matter w pc 1082 2018 titled independent thought versus union of india and anr the tentative date of hearing computer generated is shown as the 9th of april 2020 patty ld covet council the scanned copy of akalad nama and writ in this regard it is s that is desired by the shish shu branchu petition have already been sent to him through email copies of the emails are placed at page no 147 C 148 C for perusal. No. Communication has been received from O. O. Govet. Council till date. Implementation of Prohibition of Child Marriage Act 2006 N. The instant writ petition focuses on the effective appointment of child marriage prohibition officers. Directed, a draft para wise counter affidavit in the above matter has. In relation with the content of the petition, as desired in. Been prepared and placed at page no. 164 C 169 C for kind perusal. S for perusal and approval P. 42. The Govet. Council was contacted regarding filing a review to, as directed by worthy director, WCD on page 10, N at para. Directions contained at para 6, C of the judgment passed by the Honble High Court on the 28th of July 2020 in the matter W. P. C. 4361-2020. Titled Bokpan Bachawandolan vs. GNCT of Delhi and Ors. These are temporary arrangements till situation is normalized. P. The Govet. Council replied as under. State the reasons as I don't find any ground for review. Please send a comprehensive mail at Samir Bashisht, ASC at Gmail, com. In view of the above instructions received from the Govet Council, a draft email has been prepared and placed in file at page. No. 240, C to 242, C for perusal and approval P. SP. Payment of professional charges in R. Oshish. Sanjoy Goes. Additional Standing Council, Govet. Of NCT of Delhi. Charges to Shish. Sanjoy Goes. Additional Standing Council, Govet. The matter on this file is regarding payment of professional. Of NCT of Delhi amounting to R's. 2350 2003 150 only in case no w p c 5011 of 2017 titled rena john a n r versus union of india and ors issued by the law department gnctd rs 8000 per effective in this regard it is s that as per the o m dated the 12th of march 2015 hearing in rs 2000 per non-effective hearing up to five hearings had been fixed for additional standing counsel for appearance in the Honble Court, in addition to this 10% clerkage charge subject to maximum Rs. 5,000 is also allowed. Copy of the O. M is placed at page no. 31, C, 35, C. Bill placed at page underscore C. S. No. Particulars. Amount. 1. Drafting and filing on the 2nd of June 2019. Status report deposed by Dai. Director, WCD, Department of WCD, GNCT of Delhi. 2000. 2. MISC. Expenses towards photocopies of short affidavit and attested in. The above mentioned, etc. 350. Total. 2,350. 205. C. 206. C. Received from Dept. Of Law, Justice and Legislative. In this regard, may also peruse the puck placed at page no. Affairs, GNCTD regarding immediate clearing of bills in light of the directions passed by the Honble High Court of Delhi on the 25th of August 2020. In appeal titled Payesh Gupta vs. GNCTD wherein the Honble Court had directed to make the outstanding payments of the professional fee, retainership fee bills of lawyers which have been received by the Respondents honor before the 2nd of January 2020. Keeping in view the submissions made above, if agreed, the file may 
Be routed through account function areas DWCDH. Q4. Examining the bill and taking approval for payment of professional. Fees of ours. 2350 to shish. Sanjoy goes. Additional standing. Council. GNCT of Delhi. S for perusal and approval P. May peruse the two PUCs along with enclosures placed at page no. 166 C to 168 C and 169 C to 171 C received from O. O the worthy. Chief Secretary, Delhi and S. O to Director, DWCD respectively. The details of both PUCs are given as under. Puck I. From O. O worthy Chief Secretary, Delhi is regarding a news item. The first puck placed at page no. 166 C to 168 C received. Dated the 19th of August 2020 published in the Times of India mentioning the direction of the Hanbal High Court of Delhi to continue with welfare initiatives for orphan children in the NCT of Delhi including admitting them to private and public school. Action taken by the department in pursuance of the orders of the an ATR is to be sent to O. O worthy Chief Secretary on the Hanbal High Court of Delhi. Puck 2. A letter received from S. O to Director DWCD which is regarding the second puck placed at page no. 169 C to 171 C is a copy. List of important references is received from OSD to Secretary. WCD, an ATR in respect of point no. 9 and 12 pertaining to this unit. Has to be sent to OSD to Secretary latest by the 9th of July 2020 by 3 p.m. About news news item dated the 19th of August 2020 published in the Times of. The point no. 9 of the list of important references speaks. India regarding welfare initiatives for orphan children in the NCT of. Delhi including admitting them to private and public school on. Which an ATR is to be sent to CS office in pursuance of orders of Hanbal High Court of Delhi, passed by the Hanbal High Court of Delhi while disposing of W. P. In this regard, it is S that in compliance of the directions. C. 3622 2020 It's titled Harpal Singh Rana vs. UOI and ORS, if agreed. The operation part of the judgment dated the 18th of August 2020 mentioned it. Para the 7th of may be circulated among all the Govit NGO run child care institutions for implementation of the same in letter and spirit. Accordingly, a draft to this effect is prepared and placed at page no. 172, C for perusal and approval. Accordingly be prepared for sending to O, O worthy CS and OSD2. Furthermore, upon issue of above mentioned letter and ATR. Secretary for perusal, as directed on pre-page, the scanned copy of letter addressed to all. The child care institutions functional in NCT of Delhi has been sent. Through email for complying with the directions of the Hanbal High. Court of Delhi, copy of the email is placed at page no. 174, C4. Perusal. Furthermore, in respect of Puck I and Puck II is detailed on pre-page, an ATR is to be sent to O, O worthy Chief Secretary in RO. News item dated the 19th of August 2020 published in Toy regarding welfare. Initiatives for orphan children in the NCT of Delhi including admitting them to government as well as private schools. Page No. 175 C to 176 C for perusal and approval P. Accordingly, a draft ATR is prepared and placed in file it. May peruse the Puck placed at page No. 169 C 171 C received from S. O to Director WCD on which ATR in respect of important references received from O. O Secretary WCD mentioned at serial no. 9 and 12 pertaining to this unit has to be sent to OSD to Secretary WCD under intimation to the O. O Director WCD. Accordingly, a draft ATR along with relevant enclosures addressed to OSD to Secretary WCD is prepared and placed alongside in file for perusal and approval P. May peruse the puke placed at page no. 119 C131 C received from litigation branch which is regarding CRL MP no of 2020 in the matter WP CRL no 232 of 2020 titled as Rama by Kushwaha Ad Lali versus state of NCT of Delhi and Ors and in the matter of Rambon is marked on puck the next date of hearing is the 9th of September 2020 matter WP CRL no 232 of 2020 titled as Rama by Kushwaha Ad. An application has been filed by the father of minor girl in the Lolly versus state of NCT of Delhi and Ors seeking her custody. The prayers made by the applicant before the Hanbal court and his miscellaneous application are as under the to implant the petitioner applicant in WP CRL no 232 of 2020 be kindly order for a status report from the CWC of South Delhi where the petitioner has been put up since the 27th of January 2020. C kindly restore the petitioner's relation with the father. B. Kindly allow the petitioner to reunite with her family as her parental home. E. Kindly allow the father of the petitioner to take her to her father's home. F. Kindly order CWC South Delhi to release the petitioner. Immediately. G. Kindly quash all the proceedings, if any, against the petitioner and her family members and allow her to start a new life afresh. And H. Pass such order or further order, orders as this honorable court may deem fit and proper in the facts and circumstances of the case. 
the 9th of March 2020 and as per court order dated the 9th of March 2020 downloaded. The above matter was heard through video conferencing on from the website of Honville High Court PG. No. 132 C 133 C in the matter WP CRL no 232 of 2020 titled as Rama by Kushwaha at Lolly versus state of NCT of Delhi and Ors and CRL MA no 12163 2020 the Honble court had directed as under one the hearing has been conducted through video conferencing two this application is moved by father of the petitioner to be implanted as a party in the present matter it is s by the learned Counsel for the applicant, the petitioner came from Karnataka to save herself from her brother's biz. Respondents know, 8 and 9 and the petitioner was thus produced before CWC, South Delhi and Vedits. Orders, the petitioner was lodged in critical care center, Dwarka. Delhi and per last status report of March 2020 and as per the submissions of the learned ASC, the child is still residing and said, children home and her age is verified to be 16 and a half years. 25 N. 3. The learned ASC for the state, however, has no objection in. Implanting the father is a party in the present case, hence the application is allowed. 4. The learned counsel for the applicant submits the applicant has met the petitioner herein and she is inclined to return to her family and had settled all her differences with her brothers and other family members. 5. Let this fact be verified by the state and a status report complete in. All aspects be filed prior to the next date. 6. List on the 9th of October 2020. Mentioned court order, the instant matter seems pertaining to child. In this regard, it is S that as per point no. Two of above, Welfare Committee, South District, i.e. CWC 8, by whose order the minor girl was sent to a child care institution, namely Critical Care Center, Dwarka, Delhi, for further care and protection. As per point no, five of the court order dated the 9th of March 2020, a status report. Now, the matter is listed next for hearing on the 9th of October 2020, and complete in all aspects has to be filed prior to the next date. Thus, in view of the directions of the Honble Court and submissions made above, if agreed, the order dated the 9th of March 2020 of the Honble court may be forwarded to concerned CWC with a request to submit the status report before the Honble Court through the LD. Additional, Standing Council, GNCTD before the next date of hearing, i.e. the 9th of October 2020, alongside and file for perusal and approval P. Accordingly, a draft forwarding letter is prepared and placed. May peruse the copy of the email along with enclosures placed at page no. 222, C to 231, C received from Govit. Council in the matter. Suo Moto Writ Petition, Civil 4 of 2020 and Ray, Contagion of COVID-19 virus and children protection homes. The Govit Council, through his email, has desired to send any further instructions in the matter. In this regard, it is asked that the enclosure received along with the above mentioned email PG No. 222 C 230 C is the scanned copy of the compiled note pertaining to Delhi prepared by LD Amicus Curiae, which does not demand any comment. The above mentioned comments reply on the note prepared by LD Amicus Curiae in the aforesaid matter were sent to Govit Council. Through email dated the 8th of November 2020, page no. 216, C, for perusal of Amicus Curiae. Furthermore, may also peruse the court order dated the 14th of August 2020. Placed at page no. 217, C to 220, C, passed by Honville Supreme Court. Of India in the matter Suo Moto Writ Petition, Civil 4 of 2020 in Ray. Contagion of COVID-19 virus and children protection homes. The relevant portion of the above court order is also reproduced. Below for reference. Pursuant to the order dated the 21st of July 2020, the Union of India has filed an affidavit giving particulars of the funds that are available in the states and union territories. After receiving the inputs from the states and union territories, the learned amicus curiae has essay note in which he has recommended uniform directions which can be given to the states and union territories. Learned amicus curiae is requested to compile the responses to the proposals made by him relating to the directions to be issued by this court and circulate the same within a period of one week, list after two weeks. As per Honvel Apex Court order dated the 14th of August 2020, no action is found pending on the part of this department. As per the case status, downloaded from the website of Supreme Court of India, the matter is likely to be listed on the 31st of August 2020, page no. 221, C. As for perusal and information, P. As per the directions of worthy director, WCD on prepage. Following is S. 1. Prior to the last date of hearing, i.e., the 25th of August 2020, asked, Director, CPU had telephonic discussion with the Govit Council wherein the Govit Council did not desire for anything at that time for the hearing. Listed on the 25th of August 2020. Later, on the 25th of August 2020, the hearing was attended through video conferencing mode by the AST Director, CPU, along with Welfare Officer, CPU. 2. On the issue of release of payment to Praya's NGO, it is S that the grant and aid is released to Praya's Children Home for Boys at Jahangirpuri and Praya's Children Home for Girls at Tuklakabad.
for my CPS unit, whereas the funds to OHBI delegate are released. From back branch DWCDHQ, accordingly details of funds released pending till date in our OPREAS Jack Society are being sought. From concerned units, draft letters addressed to AD, back and AD. ICPS DWCD seeking details of GIA released pending till date are placed at page no underscore C to underscore C for perusal. Three, regarding the deficiencies and shortcomings in staff. Deployment at OHBI, the administration branch is being requested. DFA placed at page no. Underscore C to post following staff and priority. Basis in addition to those already posted at OHBI after taking over. The management of OHBI from Praise Jack Society. Part-time Doctor 01. Staff Nurse 01. Welfare Officer 01. Cook 01. Furthermore, may see the court order dated the 25th of August 2020 placed at page no. Underscore C for perusal. The Honble Court beat its order dated. The 25th of August 2020 had directed as under. This petition has been heard through video conferencing. The respondent is granted three weeks to file a response to the additional affidavit filed by the petitioner. Rejoinder, if any, be filed. Within a period of one week thereafter. List on the 9th of October 2020 at the end of the board. S for perusal and approval of three drafts as mentioned above placed. At page knows. Underscore C to underscore C. SP. As per the directions of AD, CPU may peruse the copy of the note. Sheet of file bearing CD no 00031518 placed alongside at page no 250 C to 251 C in relation to the drafting of Delhi State Juvenile Justice Rules. In this regard, may refer to the para marked as X on page no 250 C, which contains the directions of worthy director WCD dated the 9th of September 2020, which are as under to resubmit the file within a week with draft rules based on deliberations held so far and a final meeting will be held with stakeholders thereafter. The same be marked to all committee members to ask for their comments within this week. In connection to the framing, drafting of Delhi State J. J. Rules, the file, was moved on the 8th of April 2020, page 27 and 28, and stating the latest position of the rule drafting committee members of the last committee constituted beat order dated the 10th of December 2018, PG 245C, followed by core agendum dated the 11th of February 2018, PG 244C, as presently. The position of Dai, Director, CPU, member is vacant, Shish, Raj, Mongol Prasad member has resigned, PG, no, 247, C, after the transfer of Ms. Gidanali Gol, SPL, Secretary, DSLSA, member, in reply to this office letter dated the 19th of December 2019, the DSLSA, beat its communication dated the 14th of January 2020, had nominated Ms. Namrata Agarwal, Adil, Secretary, DSLSA, to attend the meetings, regarding framing, drafting of Delhi State Juvenile Justice Rules, which she had been already attending since September 2019 PG. No. 248C 249C. The then director, WCDV directions at para 134 on page 28N. Had directed to finalize the draft rules, then to send it for ministers. Approval whereupon it will be sent to the law department for vetting. S for perusal P. Sub transfer of scheme titled Financial Sustenance, Education and Welfare of Children of Incarcerated Parents 2014. Titled Financial Sustenance, Education and Welfare of Children of the matter on this file relates to transferring of the scheme. Incarcerated Parents 2014, notified by Department of Women and Child Development, GNCTD to Department of Home, GNCTD. In this regard, it is S that be this office letter dated the 1st of June 2020, PG. No. 93C, Home Department was informed that as per the approval provided by the Honble Dai, Chief Minister, Delhi V. Diary, no. 3212 dated the 11th of January 2019 in our O transferring of above mentioned. Scheme to Home Department, GNCTD, this department does not have any objection if this scheme is taken over by Home Department for implementation, but the reply of Home Department is still awaited. Furthermore, may also peruse the copy of the letter dated the 29th of January 2020. Placed at page no. 96, C received from Dai, Secretary, Home, GNCTD addressed to DG, Prisons, seeking comments in RO, transferring of scheme titled Financial Sustenance, Education and Welfare of Children of Incarcerated Parents, 2014, to Home. Department, in view of above, as directed, a draft reminder seeking comments towards transferring of scheme titled Financial Sustenance, Education and Welfare of Children of Incarcerated Parents 2014 to Home Department, GNCTD is prepared and placed in file at page no. 127, C for perusal and approval P. May peruse the copy of email placed at page no. 381, C received back from Govet, Council in response to this office email dated the 9th of September 2020. PG, no. 380C, beat which the approved draft reply to the additional affidavit filed by the petitioner was sent to Govet, Council for vetting. The fair copy of the affidavit is received back from Govet, Council is placed alongside and filed for perusal and approval P. May peruse the puck placed at page no. 
246, C247, C placed it. Page no. Received from Shish. Harpal Singh Rana R, OA1, Phil. Katapur, Delhi 36, which is regarding formulate a scheme for children residing with guardians and orphan children same in line with the pension being given to a woman after the death of his husband. In this regard, it is S that Shish. Harpal Singh Rana in his representation has stated that there are many orphan children in Delhi who live either with their relatives or guardians after the death of their parents. But there is a lack of pension scheme for them. He further states that, accordingly, a scheme based on the needs of orphan children be formulated which could help the children residing with guardians and orphan children in living a happy life. Thus, in view of the contents of the representation as the subject, matter seems more closely related to FAS branch, if agreed, the same. May P be forwarded to FAS branch for further necessary action. Accordingly, a draft forwarding letter is prepared and placed alongside and file at page no. 248C for perusal and approval P. Verification of professional fee bills received from Department of Law Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD. May peruse the three PUCs placed at page no. 220, C242, C243, C252, C and 253, C256, C received from Dept. of Law Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD. The details of three PUCs are given under Puck I, the first Puck placed at page no. 220, C242, C received from Dept. of Law Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD is regarding verifying the nine bills for payment of professional charges to Mr. Mrs. Permega Second B. Mohana, Sr., Advocate, Honvel Supreme Court of India. In this regard, it is S that the advocate has appeared before the Honvel Supreme Court of India in IW. P. C. R. L. No. 102 2007 titled Exploitation of Children in Orphanages in the State of Tamil Nadu versus UOI and ORS on dated the 23rd of August 2016, the 27th of February 2017, the 29th of January 2018. The 20th of February 2018, the 4th of March 2018, the 4th of October 2018, and the 7th of November 2018, ESLP, C, no. 20,634 minus 20,694, 2014, titled Chatravis Chandra Arya Vidya Mandir. Versus, Der, Dept, of Women and Child Development, undated. The 14th of December 2018, Puck 2, the second Puck placed at page no. 243, C 252, C received from, Dept, of Law Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD is regarding, Verifying one bill for payment of professional charges to Mr. Mrs. Permega Second Pinky Anand, ASG, Honble Supreme Court of India. In this regard, it is S that the LD, ASG has appeared before the Honble Supreme Court of India in M. A. No. 2069-2018 and W. P. C. No. 473-2005 titled Sampurna Berua vs. UOI and ORS on the 8th of July 2018. Puck 3. The third puck placed at page No. 253-C-256-C received from Dept. Of Law Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD is regarding verifying one bill for payment of professional charges to Mr. Mrs. Permega Second Vikas Bansal, Advocate, Honvel Supreme Court of India. In this regard, it is S that the LD, ASG has appeared before the Honvel Supreme Court of India in SLP, C, No. 20,634 minus 20,694, 2014. Titled Chatravis Chandra Arya Vidya Mandir vs. Der, Dept, of Women and Child Development on the 26th of March 2015. In view of all the three PUCs as detailed above, if agreed in, approve the bills and original may be returned back to Dept. of Law, Justice and Legislative Affairs, GNCTD with a forwarding letter. Accordingly, a draft to this effect is prepared and placed in file at page 257, C for perusal and approval P. Payment of professional charges to Shish, Chirag M, Shroff AOR 4, appearing before the Honble Supreme Court of India Reg, may peruse the three PUCs along with enclosures placed at page no. 3, C4, C5, C6, C and 7, C8, C received from Shish. Chirag M. Shroff AOR, Honvel Supreme Court of India and I. Director, Lit. DWCD, which is regarding memo of fees and expenses in R.O. Shish. Chirag M. Shroff AOR, Honvel Supreme Court of India. The details of three PUCs are as under. Puck I3, C to 4, C. The first puck placed at page no. 3, C to 4, C is received through. Email from O. O. Shish. Chirag M. Shroff AOR, Honvel Supreme. Court of India, which is regarding memo of fees and expenses dated the 21st of July 2020 in the matter Suo Moto Writ Petition, Civil, No. 4 of 2020, in raid contagion of COVID 19 virus and children protection. Homes amounting to Rs. 136,200. The particulars of the bill are given here under Senior, No. Particulars, Amount, 1. Fee for finalizing the affidavit in the matter filed on the 29th of June 2020. Done on urgent basis, Rs. 25,000. 2. Fee for filing the same on the 29th of June 2020 personally. Rs. 8,000. 
3. Fee for appearance before the Supreme Court on the 6th of November 2020 Court. 6. Item 2. Rs. 25,000. 4. Fee for appearance before the Supreme Court on the 7th of July 2020 Court. 6. Item 1. Rs. 25,000. 5. Fee for appearance before the Supreme Court on the 15th of July 2020 Court. 7. Item 1. Rs. 25,000. 6. Fee for appearance before the Supreme Court on the 21st of July 2020 Court. 6. Item 1. Rs. 25,000. 7. MISC. Expenses. Rs. 3,200. Total. Rs. 136,200. Puck 2. 5C to 6C. The second puck placed at page no. 5C to 6C is also received. Through email from O. Oshish. Chirag M. Shroff AOR, which is regarding memo of fees and expenses dated the 31st of July 2020 in the matter. Suo Moto Writ Petition, Civil, No. 4 of 2020, in rate contagion of COVID-19 virus and children protection homes amounting to Rs. 34,200. The particulars of the bill are given here under. Senior, No. Particulars, Amount, 1. Fee for finalizing the affidavit in the matter on the 29th of July 2020 done on. Urgent basis, Rs. 25,000. 2. Fee for filing the same on the 31st of July 2020 personally. Rs. 8,000. 7. MISC. Expenses. Rs. 1,200. Total. Rs. 34,200. Puck 3, 7, C to 8, C. The third puck placed at page no. 7, C to 8, C is received from DI. Direction, lit. DWCD, GNCTD, which is regarding memo of fees. 2, N. And expenses in R, Oshish. Chirag M. Shroff AOR, amounting to Rs. 59,400 for six appearances at Rs. 9,900 each for appearing before the Apex Court on behalf of Department of WCD, GNCTD in the Matter W. P. C. No. 503-2018's titled Polomi Pavini Shukla vs. Union of India and Ors. The details of appearances is mentioned in. The bill or is under. Senior. No. Date of appearance. Court details. Amount at Rs. 9,900 each in the aforesaid matter. 1. The 12th of March 2018. Court R1. Item 67. Rs. 9,900. 2. The 22nd of January 2019. Court R1, item 56. Rs. 9,900. 3. The 25th of February 2019. Court R1, item 64. Rs. 9,900. 4. The 4th of August 2019. Court R1, item 54. Rs. 9,900. 5. The 15th of July 2019. Court R1, item 46. Rs. 9,900. 6. The 20th of January 2020. Court 1, item 40. Rs. 9,900. Total, Rs. 59,400. The compliance is to be made in a time-bound manner before the in connection with Puck I and II, it is asked that due to urgency of Honorable Supreme Court of India, prior approval of the competent authority could not be obtained in our O appointment of AOR, Govit. Council to represent the department before the Apex Court in the matter SMWPC, no. 4 of 2020 in Ray, contagion of COVID-19. Virus in children protection homes. The department had approached Shish. Chirag M. Shroff AOR. Supreme Court already appearing for the department in some other matters for representing the department in the aforesaid matter in order to comply with the directions passed by the Honorable Court is and when required. Notes of Law Department, GNCTD, copy placed at page 1, C to 2, C. Further, in connection with Puck 3, it is asked that as per the the department had approached Chish, Chirag M, Shroff AOR from the list available in the order, notification dated the 12th of November 2015, the 1st of June 2016 issued by Law Department, GNCTD, copy placed at PG, no, 9, C, 13, C, for appearing in the matter W, P, C, no, 503-2018's titled Polomi Pavini Shukla vs. Union of India and Ors. Before the Honorable Supreme Court of India, AOR, Govit, counsel who is appearing on behalf of GNCTD is made. It is important to mention here that the payment of, by the law department, GNCTD after verification received from,